Okay. Ready? Pow! Oh, Michael, never letting the team down there. He's, I don't know, is it Mr. Tickle? Is it Mr. So I don't know who he is, but he's just, he's doing it, he's doing it right. There we go. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Storymaker. I'm Carol, I'm with you for the next five hours. We've got Michael on cameras. Yeah, there he is. We've got Kinga on floor. Uh. Yay! There she is, Kinga, who has been uh, just going on about her amazing trip to Wales this, gone, this weekend just gone. Sounds amazing. Sounds amazing. Being at one with nature. Uh, we've got producer Neary Nunu. He's going to be producing the show today. Hello, my lovely. Production manager Ollie. Hello, my lovely. Uh, are we, is Abby in there? Ah, Abby. Hi, hello. This is Abby. She's going to be, oh my word. We are very, 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 very excited. We have got the relaunch of Polymer Clay coming up today at 9 a.m. I can't wait. It's been absolutely ages since we bought you Polymer. This is going to be such an exciting kind of reintroduction to this amazing media. That's coming up at 9 o'clock. 10 o'clock, um, I'm going to be joined by Monica, uh, who is bringing with her... All of the gorgeous hematite stars. Hematite stars, we've got seed beads, we've got lots and lots and lots of uh, gorgeous pieces with stars and with moons, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So lots of lovely celestial things coming up today. We've also got a planet necklace as well, which is going to be incredible. Um, now, before the show, I did a Facebook Live on, our, on the Jewelry Maker Facebook page. If you could do me a favour, if you could, sorry, say that again, lovely. Yeah, so exactly, Neary. So go to our Jewelry Maker Facebook page and uh, find the clip that I've just done, uh, the, uh, the Facebook Live that I've just done. What I need you to do is to like the post, share the post, and tag a friend in the post. Uh, and everybody who does that is going to be... There she is! Everybody who does that is going to be uh, in uh, the ch aim of the chance of winning £50 credited to their Jewelry Maker account. You get to see kind of behind the scenes a little bit, me making my porridge. There it is. There's the porridge. Very nice. Making my porridge. It was a horrible porridge this morning. It was dreadful. Yeah, I missed it. I missed it with the water. Oh, fun times, guys. Uh, yes, yeah, so <laughs> if you like that post, share that post and tag a friend in that post, you're going to be entered into a prize draw to win £50 credited to your Jewelry Maker account. We will pick somebody at random uh, 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 and announce the winner in the 12 o'clock hour. There we go. Perfect, 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 perfect. Well done. So you can head over to uh, the Jewelry Maker Facebook page and do that now. Okay, right. Now, deal of the day today. How about a bit of this? 60 meters of, elast of, of, of Elon Beadalon elastic. Absolutely amazing. 60 meters in total. Because it's this slightly finer uh, gauge elastic, it'll go through your finer drill holes. Now, uh, if you do have those finer drill holes, you will know sometimes that trying to get elastic through those finer drill holes is a little bit of a challenge. So, we got these. These are really ingenious little hooks, almost like a crochet hook, but an, but an elastic hook, which you get with your um, elastic. So that will really help you to get your elastic through those finer drill holes. That's coming up as your deal of the day today at 10 a.m. Very excited about that. Coming up in the 11 and then peppered throughout the rest of the show as well, we've got best of birthday. Uh, things like, well, all of these, basically, all of these. So we've got lavender pearl. We've got gorgeous um, lavender jade as well. I know that, yeah, proper lavender jade, which is going to be absolutely incredible. Uh, we've got the Guatemalan old neck blue jade as well. That's going to be coming your way. Gorgeous Guatemalan uh, jade ring as well. We've got the gorgeous donuts coming up as well. Um, also, this gorgeous necklace, which I'm wearing, which I can't seem to get to get, get to grips with, but it's this necklace here. And we've got this in silver. We've also got this in yellow gold plated silver as well. Gorgeous lariat star necklace with a star in it. Uh, so we've got those coming up uh, maybe in the 11, maybe a little bit before. It'll just be peppered throughout the show. So that's going to be absolutely incredible. Right, your early bird special. Hang on. 
Now, hang on, just hang on a minute. Early bird special. I think we need to put this on pre-order. This is coming up in about 25 minutes. Black opal. Oh, my word. The most amazing Ethiopian black opal cabochon set. It's coming up at about half past eight. It is incredible. The price is ridiculous. So it's going to be amazing. What an incredible show. Right, let's get going. Get those messages sent through. Let us know what you're up to today. We'd love to hear from you. Right. Uh, our text number is 78070. Start your text with the word JM Studio. Your name, where you're from. Blah, 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 blah. Right. Text us now. Are we starting off with gorgeous um, hematite Buddha heads? <gasps> oh, my word. Starting off with the best today. You're the best. Ha, ha, ha. There we go. Your gorgeous copper hematite Buddha heads. There you go. An amazing collection. I had a lovely weekend. I had a lovely weekend. I went to uh, Santa Pod yesterday uh, to watch the drag racing. <laughs> it was absolutely amazing. We had, uh, there were jet cars there. There was an electric bike. There was all sorts. It was, it was absolutely brilliant. I had a good old day. I had a good old day. Seven ninety nine. did I hear you say, Neary No No? Amazing. Enjoy. Go, go, go. There's three different ways you can get involved with Jewelry Maker, either by calling us on our free phone number, which is 0800 644 655, or by getting involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com, or indeed you can download our app and you can watch us on the go. 799, already people coming through to get this. That's great to see. Well done, everybody. It's a go, 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 everyone. Well done. You get your 30 day money back guarantee. You're also only paying 3.95 p and p per order. By the way, 7.99, although that's brilliant, it's not your price, no. No, we're gonna go lower, because we can. Um, also, put it with the gorgeous kits we've got coming up in the 12th. Good morning, Carol. I'll be going to see my friend as she's just had a baby. Uh, and uh, we'll still be watching on the app, looking forward to the day. That's really interesting. So, Leah's basically gonna go and see her friend. Her friend's gonna say, look at your lovely, uh, look at this beautiful baby. And you're gonna, yeah, just hang on a minute. Bye, bye, bye. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, yeah. Bye, bye, bye. Single figures left, everyone. I'm sure you won't do that, Leah. Or when you're holding the baby worse. Oh, yes, you're such a lovely little baby. And then you get your phone out. Yeah. Do you know what? Just, you yeah, know what? Well done. Yes, well done for nine months hard work. And I'm not even going to look at you because I'm going to be looking at my phone. Uh, but well done, 4 99 Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. I've got some more of them. Yes, Neary. I've got the multicolour ones. Multi. Yes, you may have just, you may have just uh, procreated, but uh, yes, I'm going to be looking at the jewellery maker app, love. <laughs> Do you know, to be honest, baby, newborn, I mean, newborn babies are great, aren't they? I mean, they're beautiful. They're little bean baggy things, but they don't really do much, do they? So, they're not that interesting until they kind of get to it three, four, five months, are they? Here we go. Rainbow hematite Buddha heads. Here we go, everyone. 0800 644 Go, 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 everyone. Well done, Wendy. Well done, Maker in Dumfries. Fantastic. Hi, Carol. What time is the star necklace on? Working today, but we'll be watching, says Pauline. Oh, what do you mean this? <gasps> we'll look with the lariat. Ah. About 11 o'clock. We've got it in yellow gold-plated silver as well. About 11. There we go. By the way, you need to go to our Facebook page, Jewelry Maker Facebook page. You need to like the post, that, uh, the Facebook Live, uh, which, which I just did. You need to like it, share it, tag a friend, and you'll be in a prize draw to win £50 credited to your Jewelry Maker account. There you go. Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. Right. Yes, green. Greeny blue. Green, blue, bluey green. Oh, look at that. Bluey, bluey, bluey green. Gorgeous hematite Buddha heads these are. Absolutely gorgeous. Definitely your serene Buddha. Uh, your kind of uh, the serenity of these is absolutely gorgeous. They're beautiful, aren't they? Just stunning. 350 carats in total, £6.99. pence. Absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Just stunning. And you can really see the detail of those Buddha heads as well, can't you? Gorgeous. That one's pretty much gone as well. Well done. 
I'm so excited about today's show. And honestly, relaunching polymer clay is just going to be so fantastic. It's going to be brill. Uh, so very, very excited about that. Yeah, the black opal, by the way, the early bird uh, is flying out on pre-order. Uh, gorgeous cabochons of your uh, black opal. Stunning. Yeah. Ethiopian opal graduated smooth square heshies. I believe I've seen this strand before. I think it was on Scott Stone Find them on Facebook's uh, birthday show. 13th April? Well, possibly. I don't know. Might have been. Might not have been. I don't know. Here we go, everyone. Here's the price point that we were supposed to go to. I know. Hey. Oh, you like. 29.99. That's where we should have gone. We didn't stop there. We didn't stop there. Scott Stone Farnham on Facebook, very upset with the prices that we were doing. But you know what? Let's just do it. Pretty much half price. I know. It's incredible. It's crackers. It's crazy. What are you going to be making with this? Are you going to be making uh, these into beautiful little spaces, maybe in between your pearls? Are you going to be making, yeah, indeed, your gorgeous bubble star bracelets, bubble star necklaces or rings with these? Gorgeous idea. Because we do have a load of head pins coming up. Pop them onto your head pins. Yeah. Amazing, hey? Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. £14.99 for your incredible uh, opal today. Well done, Gabrielle. You've got five in your basket. Oh, she's gone for it. Well done, lovely. What's she going to be making? You're going to be making a bubble necklace, maybe, Gabrielle. Or maybe, uh, or maybe you're going to be making a little mini mosaic out of it. I don't know. Have a little think. Morning, Carol and all at JM. I'm going to sort out my craft space. That is our lounge table in readiness for the new JM storage bag. Take care. That's from Patsy. Oh, now that sounds like a good doing day. That sounds like you're going to be doing. Does anyone here like lists? I love a list. And you know what I also write on my list? I write things that I've already done on my list on my list. Just to have, the, just to have that satisfaction of just crossing them off. Breathing, cross that one off. Blinking, cross it off. Thinking, cross it off. There we go. Nah, nah. <laughs> Act first, think later. Yeah. Okay, what are we doing now? We're going to be doing Tanzanite pebbles, anyone? <gasps> Absolutely phenomenal. Oh, my word. Look at that colour. Look at that incredible tone you are getting there. They are unbelievable. You're looking here at a total of 50 carats of your Tanzanite cabotons. They are unbelievable, aren't they? 48.99 for your Tanzanite cabotons here. They are absolutely huge, aren't they? The colour is so deep and so saturated and so intense. Gorgeous, gorgeous quality. Oh, my word. Just stunning. Go, 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 go. Well done, everybody. 0800 644 655. I can't believe that. That's, that, that's under 50 pounds. I can't believe it's under 150 pounds, let alone under 50. That is amazing. Not your price point today. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but today you, you can get this incredible, this very strand of Tanzanite for 29.99. That is incredible. You know it, I know it. It's one of the rarest gemstones on planet Earth, and you know for a fact that 29.90, that is incredible. Carola, well done to you, Angela, that bin. Go away. Um, hilarious. I can like it, but no idea how to share it or tag Facebook. Uh, can we have a comp for the prehistoric ancients like me, says Susan. How do we, how do we share? Oh, I'm, uh, do you know, I'm going to, I'm going to go into it now and just, uh, well, I say I, Neri's going to go into it now and see whether, see whether we can help you with that. So tag a friend, put their name on there, I think. There we go. Yeah, you should be able to share it. So the, underneath the post on the bottom right hand corner, it says, just says share. There we go. There we go. So you just uh, click on share and you can share it. Tag a friend. You just put someone's name in there, I think, don't you? At symbol. At, the at symbol. And then, and then put their name in. So then, th there you go, Neri. You type in the at, the, no, Neri, you can't enter the competition. <laughs> oh, and the winner is Tom Neri. <laughs> Can you imagine that if he picked himself? Gee whiz. 
and then to share uh, so you don't put at or you just put someone's name he's just typing people's names in I've, I've no idea what he's doing uh I don't know I think you either do at and then put someone's name in or you just type someone's name in I don't really know we'll see whether we can clarify that Veronica Carola Marie why well don't you Angela there we go well done everyone what a great deal for you today 0800 644 What incredible deals you've got coming up today. Oh, my word. And this is just the beginning. Check out, Marie. Check out, uh, my love, in Surrey. Well done to you. Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Go, 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 go. What an opportunity. <laughs> well done, everyone. Go. 29.99. Fantastic. A chain. Gorgeous chain. Oh. <whistles> that is amazing. You are looking here at a rosary linked chain. Hand made. Hand rosary linked. All of it. You are looking here at incredible quality opal. It's all 925 sterling silver. The most astonishing quality of opal there. I mean, that is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? It's just stunning. Isn't it beautiful? Literally, just by adding a clasp onto the end of your uh, chain, your rosary link sterling silver chain, You've got yourself a gorgeous necklace. You've got yourself a beautiful bracelet, a gorgeous anklet maybe. It's absolutely phenomenal. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my word. With your incredible opalescence coming. And this is how opal likes to be seen. If you start spreading it out and putting light in between it, it will really help to accentuate and magnify all of that beauty within each stone. It gives each stone a chance to shine. $14.99. Amazing. Well done. Three opportunities in the building. That is it. Once they're gone, they are gone. Maker, Erica, Wendy, Corolla. There's absolutely tons of it. Yeah, I mean, the sterling silver wire on its own, you know and I know, $14.99 is absolutely incredible. Because, by the way, although it's a metre length that you're going... Sorry, I beg your pardon. Although it's a 20-inch length that, you, that you're going to be getting here, you're getting far, far, far more than 20 um, uh, kind of inches worth of your gorgeous sterling silver wire because of all of the little tiny bits which have cut off. We've taken all of that into consideration. That's pretty much gone. Well done. Gorgeous. Oh, my word. Look at all these gorgeous necklaces. Oh my, what is this? I love this. <gasps> I've got the rose gold one here. Right, this is amazing. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop that there and then I'm going to show you how it open and closes, but on the gold one, just purely because it's just going to be easy. You can see it there. If I just move that, sorry, Michael, that's annoying, isn't it? So there we go. So here's your, here's your ring. Has anyone else seen this? I haven't seen this before. Can you see how it opens? Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that amazing? That is absolutely beautiful. So you open it just by depressing that part there, sliding the rings that you've got on here off the uh, larger ring. That is unbelievable. We've got it in rose gold plated silver, yellow gold plated silver. I am abs. I am absolutely amazed at that. Oh my gosh. We've got rose gold plated sterling silver, yellow gold plated sterling silver. The chain that this is on as well is beautiful. It's a 20 inch chain, although it does have an extended chain on it. So you, 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 you'll be able to wear it a little bit. Oh no, can you wear it longer? I don't know whether you can actually. Um, how much is this one? 14.99. That's not right. That is a complete bargain. I can't believe that. 
Maker Kim, Nora, well done. 14, I just love the way, the, I love the way this is all put together. It's absolutely, it's sublime. You can clearly see the 925 stamp on there as well um, to kind of denote that it is precious metal as well. Let's do the yellow gold one, shall we? Exactly the same, but with the yellow gold. Isn't that beautiful? It's got such a lovely smooth finish and it's got such an ingenious way of opening and closing as well. It really is a, um, it really is a brilliant, kind of feat of jewellery engineering, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. It's beautiful. That kind of spring-loaded quality is just gorgeous. I love that. I think that's absolutely amazing. Also, if you wanted to, you could attach the rose gold one and the yellow gold ring together and you could have the two of the rings in the centre of your necklace, couldn't you? And then you've got, you know, you've got another chain there, you know, free to use for whatever you like. Gorgeous. I think that's absolutely stunning. I love that. $14.99 to get. That is such a bargain. If I show you, actually, I don't know, but this, I mean, this, this is, this is where, this is where I'm having a go. Oh, dear. I know. Disappointing. I know. I know. Well, I know. See, here we go. If I just take that, oh, she says. <laughs> Make that jewellery. Oh, man. If I try, oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in this ring here, but I want to add it into that ring there. Oh, do you know, this is just isn't going to. Yeah, so look, if I just add it, look, so if you add in that ring to that ring, and then you could have one ring on either ring. You know what I mean, don't you? You know what I mean. <sighs> no. So you have that ring on that one, and you have this little ring here on the silver one. You have them side by side. Yeah? Thank you. Michael's nodding in agreement. He understands what I'm talking about. The rose gold one. The silver and the gold together. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what I mean. That's exa See, that's what I'm talking about. I know. Yeah, come on. Gabrielle, well done to you, my lovely. Oh, my word. I can't even get that. I know. Well, it's sold out. And, you know, it, if you can keep up, <laughs> if you can keep up with all my crazy, amazing ideas... See, now, I've, now my hands are all hot and sweaty because I've got too much hand cream on. I put my, my, my hand cream on too close to the beginning of the show. I now can't pick anything up. You don't need to know any of this, do you? Just look at the recording. It's much better. Much better than looking at me. My idea sounds very similar to the Cartier one. And I can imagine it's going to be a lot more affordable than the Cartier one. How much is that, bad boy? It's over a grand. Or you can do it with my very simple explanation. <laughs> oh, Michael, no, don't, no, don't, no. Just don't. Just, just, oh, no. I literally can't hold anything. Do you know what it feels like, actually? It feels like I'm having one of those dreams. You know those terrible dreams that you have? Where I'm going to give it to Michael. Michael can not only operate cameras, but he can also put things like this together as well. It's so like one of those, I know most people, like my, my six-year-old could. My Labrador could, and he hasn't even got thumbs. I think that um, I'm having one of those moments where I do feel like I'm in a dream. One of those dreams where you go and you're in a play and you don't know any of your lines, or you turn up at something and you're completely naked. And it's a dream. No, I'm having a very difficult start to the day with that necklace. I'm sorry. I'm sorry got no one to blame but myself see it, it is tricky isn't it Michael might see Michael he's got a PhD dr. Michael Groves oh he's got the technique down do you literally just push it on oh look at him he's a mate right there we go I really hope these are going because otherwise it's just a complete waste of time <laughs> Sorry, if you were missing parts for what? Sorry, if you were rock climbing, yes, it's like a, very much like a kind of like a carabiner kind of thing. <laughs> They're gorgeous. Well, well done, Jackie, Gabrielle, Alison's got two, Gloria, Brenda, Fiona, Maker, Marie, Kim, Karen. Oh gosh, he's bought a clock on now. Okay, well, okay, so we've got the clock on. I, I feel like it's out of pity for me. What are we doing? What are we actually doing? Oh no, what? Okay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, no. So have I devalued this, basically, this morning? Is that totally my fault? It's my fault. This is my fault. Well, no, it, I mean, it's good. It's good. 
It, I mean, this is great for everyone watching today. My stupidity. It's okay, Carol. It's okay, Carol. You're hilarious. <laughs> um, do I detect a hint of sarcasm in your voice there? Twelve ninety-nine. We should not be doing that. The only reason why we're doing it is because I made such a pig's ear of uh, showing you how easy it was to. Uh, <laughs> it's so simple. Karen's got two. Well done. Maker in uh, Greater London. Well done to you. I feel like that part of the show could maybe go viral. With, with like a voiceover. Watch this uh, shopping telly presenter struggle with the simplest of clasps. Veronica, April, Kim, Lynn, Carola, well done to you. Maker, well done. Maybe we can send it to You've Been Framed. They'll send it back and we won't get £250. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. We are about half an hour away from the relaunch of Ponder McClay with the lovely Abby. That's going to be amazing. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Gorgeous. This just feels like it's been an eternity since we've had beautiful polymer. It's going to be brilliant. I love this medium. It's going to be fantastic. And the pieces are unbelievable. Should we go to the Wall of Fame? Let's go to the Wall of Fame. Let's see some of your incredible designs. So, make sure you are staying with us all day today. Um, if only to get this. This is coming up in the next few moments. Genuine Ethiopian black opal coming up within the next few minutes. It's your early bird special. It is on pre-order. It's going nuts on pre-order. The price we're going to be ending up at is unbelievable amazing also if you uh, go to our jewelry maker facebook page if you could like and share the uh face uh, the facebook live that i did just before the that's all right love you have to uh, uh the facebook live that i did just before the show on the jewelry maker facebook page tag a friend like it share it anybody who does that you're going to be entered into a prize draw we'll announce the winner in the 12 o'clock hour we'll pick somebody at random who's done that and uh, whoever wins is going to win 50 pounds credited to their jewelry maker account Amazing, simple. We'll be doing that all week this week, I think. Uh, right, okay, here we go. Wall of Fame, it's a chance for you to showcase your incredible designs that you've made using Jewelry Maker items. Take a photograph of them, email them to studio at jewelrymaker.com. Every, uh, every Wednesday we pick a winner and a runner out pool will win 100 pounds or 50 pounds credited to their Jewelry Maker account. Anila, you're number 195. Anila Kapadia, good name. Dear JM, I made this pendant using all products, including instructions from JM. Hope you like it. That is gorgeous. I love that. Very, very regal, Anila. That's beautiful. David Wilson, you're number 196, my lovely. Hiya. JM, my wife Leslie has been busy again making lovely jewellery, so here's another of her creations. Amethyst rounds and uh, seed beads inspired by uh, Mark Smith. She does love it when you show her work and read out her name. Thanks. Keep up the good work, says Dave. Oh, Dave, you're an absolute legend. And so is your lovely wife, Leslie. Leslie, gorgeous design. Well done, sweetie. Thank you for entering that for, on her behalf, David. Uh, Laura, you're number 197. Oh, my gosh. That's incredible amount of work. Here's my entry to the Wall of Fame, made uh, from jump rings and clear quartz, all bought from Joy Maker. I love this design. It's one of it's on one of your DVDs. Took a bit of concentration, but really, really worth the effort. Good luck. That's from Laura. Laura, that is absolutely phenomenal. That is like, that is incredible. That looks kind of almost Turkish. I love it. Trisha Bell, hello, my lovely. Good morning. You're number 198. Dear JM, please find attached my entry to the Wall of Fame. An orchid chainmail weave bracelet. I hope you like it. With kind regards, Trisha from Allendale. That is absolutely gorgeous. And you know what? Love the um, uh, different colour of jump rings you've gone for there, lovely. Really, really lovely. And finally, Claire Chappelle, you're number 199, my lovely. Shibori! Oh, we haven't had Shibori for ages. Hope you're all okay. Here's my first attempt with Shibori silk. Only had for uh, numerous, only had for numerous years. Done in a Royal Jubilee celebrations. Uh, don't, uh, sorry, done for the Royal Jubilee um, celebrations. Not planning on uh, the design, just went with the flow. Yes, I think that's what happens with them, um, Shibori, a lot of the time. Includes opalite rounds, shell pearl marquees, clear quartz nuggets, garnets, eyelight, red and white blue chain. Hope everyone has a great celebration. That's from Claire. Claire, that is absolutely gorgeous. Love it. You've done a brilliant piece of work there. Well done, sweetie. Gorgeous. Okay. 
I think this is the best early bird we've ever had. It's your chance to own and to get in your collection genuine black Ethiopian opal. This one is an absolute winner. This early bird special. Where do we even start with this? It is, it is something so, so special. It is something which so many of us love. And I have to say as well, when you're looking at images, maybe online or maybe in textbooks, gemological papers, magazines about, you know, your highest echelons, your, 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 your priceless, um, material pieces of opal that recording there for me just that is the kind of image that you see incredible body color of deep 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 greeny blacks and with an overall theme of the most amazing opalescence. Now, the, the video that you're looking at there, the little clip of the recording, I should say, that you're looking at there, Ollie prepared for it. It's an abs it really shows off the opal at its very, very, very finest, uh, in its very finest light. I want to show you another recording as well. This is a really lovely recording as well. And this shows you the deep black kind of qualities of the opal. And you can see leaping out of that opal, reds, greens, blues. But you will notice, yeah, absolutely. The play of color here, the main colors you're seeing here are those reds, those money reds as we would describe them. It's gorgeous. And Red in opal, whether it's black, blue, white, whatever color it might be, it is the absolute rarest color that you can get. It's when the, um, when the silica balls inside the uh, opal are over a certain size. And we're talking like literally a micron thicker, uh, bigger than what creates a blue or a green color. So the difference is ever so slight, but it gives you a completely different color. Everything from pin fire to your gorgeous kind of patchwork harlequin fire. It is absolutely phenomenal. Now, you're getting two in the pack. They are sensational. They are the most beautiful black opal pieces I've ever seen. If you love your black opal, then you're gonna be very excited. Tomorrow, we've got black matrix opal coming up with Dave. That's gonna be really exciting. We're going to give you a minute clock to graphics. This is amazing. Now, obviously, you don't need me to say this. The studio lighting is not great for, uh, for, for Opal. Uh, you need a much more direct light source. But you will see here that although it's not the best light source for your Opal, you are still getting opalescence. You are still getting those incredible reds. You are still getting those incredible qualities. It's absolutely superb. Now, I'm, I'm literally just using a direct light source on it just so you can see the kind of colors you can expect to get. In the studio, we've got, oh gosh, 50, 60 lights pointing at us in the studio. I mean, it, it's not what you have at home. You don't have 50, 60 lights in your you know, but sunlight, direct light, that is amazing. Yeah. Graphics alive, best of luck. This is your chance to own some of the world's finest Ethiopian black opal. Now, this is unusual for opal. Why? It's calibrated. Normally with opal, it, it's very, very difficult to calibrate it. You don't cut it like an ordinary gemstone as it were, because it's a very, very delicate stone. 
So for us to be able to bring you a calibrated size is amazing, okay? You can see those gorgeous colors. You can see the gorgeous um, um, uh, tone you're getting there. By the way, the S in brackets means that this has been smoked. And all that that, all that, that means is it goes through a very simple smoking process. Smoking gemstones uh, has, uh, has uh, been done for uh, a millennia, pretty much. And you get it with a lot of gemstones uh, where you want to darken that body color. So you get it with your opals. You can even get it with things like your smoky quartz as well. Um, and other varieties of quartz and even chalcedony to really help darken that body color. And what you're left with is incredible amounts of uh, uh, play of color coming out the stone. Um, but the body color does get darker. So it, it really heightens and, uh, and really kind of refines that play of color. Play of color that you're seeing there is all completely and utterly natural, naturally occurring color. You can see you're getting that lovely Harlequin patchwork quilt there. Can you see that with the orange and the green and the, um, and, and, and the yellow, that kind of platelet almost inside the gem. Whereas on the other side of the gem, on the far side, on, uh, as you're looking at the um, image there, on the left-hand side, you can see much more of that pin fire, but it moves. It's that transient kind of quality. As you move the stone, look at it. Look, there's more of your patchwork quilt. It's, it's absolutely amazing. And you can see it's not just on the surface of the gem. It's actually all the way through. I'll turn the opal over and we can see what we can see from the other side, if you like. And, 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 and I'll also show you the other opal as well again. But look at this, this one's got much more of your greens going through there. That, that's your flat side of the opal there. And you can see those incredible greens, those gorgeous oranges and yellows, all giving you the most amazing, amazing quality. That display is beautiful. Now, of course, what, I mean, this is an obvious thing to say, but one of my, but one of my favorite things about opal is the fact that each and every one of these is gonna be unique. Each and every one of these is gonna be different. Each one has got its own character. Now, we are nowhere near our price point, 97.99. I can absolutely imagine it in a piece of jewelry though, 100%. We've got semi-mounts for seven by five millimeter opals as well. This is 100%, uh, this is 100% calibrated as well. Look at this color here. It's like confetti almost going through the stone, isn't it? It's just incredible. It's just beautiful. Let's have a look at the other side of it as well. You can see those gorgeous colors there. Look at that, beautiful. Uh, got some of your black opal. If you take it out into the sun, it's a wow moment with all the colors, uh, says Maureen in Nottinghamshire. Thank you, my darling. Yeah, I, do you know what? I couldn't agree more. It's absolutely phenomenal. Oh my word, look at that. It's just on fire. I have a black opal ring from Gemporia. It's um, in the sunlight. It's stunning with flashes of red and green. Uh, studio lights don't show it as its best. Thank you, Jane. That's really helpful. You're absolutely right. Um, it's just superb, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. And black opal, you know, a lot of people think that it's just going to be the black that they see. But my word, as you can see here, we've got all of those incredible colors going through, all of that incredible play of color giving you so much. Now, I would say as well, great for anybody maybe who isn't too keen on the white kind of fairiness of, of, of opal. They want something maybe a little bit more masculine, a little bit more eveningy. And I think uh, with your black opal, it's much more universal. I think it's also, for me, it's a more interesting variety of opal because uh, you don't expect to see these levels of color. You don't expect to see all of this color coming out of what is quite, you know, inherently quite a dark stone. A in Cheshire, Norma, Mona, Julie, Margaret, Elaine, Norma, Julie, Maker. We're at 49.99. We are no way near our price point today. I don't know how to prepare you for this today, but honestly, the deal you're about to see is incredible. Can I just say to you, if you're even a little bit interested, you know, you like what you see, you like what you see. You like the quality of what you can see. We can all appreciate this is really, really gorgeous stuff. You like what you see. Can I just say, put it in your basket. You don't have to check out until you're happy with the price, but just put it in your basket. Just put it in your basket, and then you can check out when you're happy with the price. How about $29.99? $29.99. For the most incredible Ethiopian black opal, Claire in Oxfordshire, Gabrielle, Dawn, Nina, well done to you, Julie, Margaret, Elaine. Oh my word, there's absolutely loads of you coming through to get this. Well done. So if you get the semi mounts for $9.99, gold plated 95 sterling silver, get a couple of those mounts. That means per ring. That means per ring. I mean, that, yeah, that is absolutely, I mean, that is just superb, isn't it? Just incredible. Now, Joni, Maker in West Midlands, Cheryl, Heather. Do you know what? There's enough of you. I know that you want this. I can tell that you really want to get this. I can tell that you really, really. Sorry, say again, love. No, we're definitely not going to have enough. Nowhere near enough. Because it's not your price. Yeah, exactly. 
50 seconds, the price point is going to go down again to your incredible early bird price. It is already amazing. It is already incredible what you're getting. It's already absolutely superb. And at 29.99 today, it is not your price. Enjoy this moment because honestly, we are going to break the phone lines today. It is, we've got such a phenomenal show lined up for you today. We've got Polly McClay in the next hour, the relaunch of Polly McClay with Abby. It's going to be so exciting. 10 o'clock, we've got the deal of the day, which is all that gorgeous multicolor elastic. We've got all of the best of the birthday bits coming up as well in the 11 o'clock hour and the rest of the show. And 12 o'clock, we've got gorgeous masterclass with Monica with hematite star kits. It's honestly, today could not get any better. Your price is going to go all the way down. Enjoy, 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 enjoy. Get it, add it to your order. Get as many as you can. Multi buy. Speak to our call center team. £19.99. Can you actually believe? what we have done here. 10 pounds per stone. It is unbelievable. Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. You get a pack of the opal, you're gonna be getting two of your opals. You get two of your semi mounts um, as well. That means it's gonna be what, like 40 pounds and you can make two rings for 40 pounds. How amazing. Wendy, Joni's got two. Gabrielle's got two. Lee's got three. Pat, make it well unto you. Uh, a in Cheshire. Cheryl, maker in Bristol's got two in their basket. West Midlands, you've got two in your basket. Well done. Yorkshire, you've got two in your basket. Cheshire, well done. Multi buying. That's great to see. You are literally going nuts for these today. Well done. Such an incredible gem. Now, like I say, you've got here a smoked variety of opal. So yes, it has had a treatment, but this is a treatment which has been applied to opal for a millennia, basically. Now, if, it, if this was completely 100% natural black opal, they would be priceless. Um, if, you, if you're familiar with the Forbes top 12 most expensive gemstones um, uh, uh, per carat weight list, uh, you know, the list that features grandidiorite, then black opal is on there. It is like number, I think it's like number th number two, I think, black opal. I can't, I can't, I can't remember exactly what it is. Uh, 500 times rarer than uh, some of your rarest stones out there, including your diamonds. You know, way, way, way rarer than your diamonds. The fact that this has had a little bit of smoking, which is exactly what is applied to the vast majority of opal out there to get that gorgeous kind of uh, depth of body color in there uh, means you can get your black opal today for 20 pounds. It's absolutely phenomenal. Well done, everybody. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through to get this. Absolutely phenomenal. Tessa's got two. Jennifer, well done to you. Catherine, Tracy, Maker, Jude. There's so many in baskets. Check out as soon as you can. It's absolutely amazing. Well done. Go, 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 go. Superb. Say again. Oh, gosh. Uh, that's not what we... Oh, dear. How, um, how many of these do we have, Neary? I thought... Okay, so we want all of these to sell out today. I, I honestly... Okay, so Neary, I'm not going to lie to you. Producer Neary wants to be able to make a ring for his... Um, Lovely fiance, Sam. And um, it's got the most beautiful, it's got the most incredible. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? He wants to be able to give this to you for the lowest possible price. But I'm, I'm a little bit worried. If we go any lower, we're not really, we're going to be losing money, aren't we? Yeah? We are going to be losing. Oh, great. Wayne's going to kill me. That Okay, that's great. Really, really comforting words there from Neary. Wayne's going to kill me. $14.99 for two of the finest Ethiopian black opals money can buy. That is absolutely unbelievable. Jennifer's now got two. Claire's now got two. And well done to you. Uh, Tessa, you've been multi-buying. That is absolutely super. I can't believe it. Loads of people there. Mayor, well done to Anne-Marie, Mona, Maker and Neathport Talbot, Alison, well done to you, Catherine, Belinda, Maker. You are going to be so, uh, when you get this home, you are going to be absolutely amazed that this only, uh, that, 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 that these two absolutely supreme black opals cost you less than 15 pounds. Not to mention which, you are going to be able to get these incredible gemstones, set them into jewelry. I can almost guarantee that, you know, whatever jewelry you make it into, if you make it for yourself, you're going to have so many people asking you, asking you about that jewellery, 
begging you to make that, um, uh, them a matching piece of jewelry. I would be multi buying this today. Not, you know, not only because they're beautiful gemstones, but also each one of these opals has its different personality. And you might find that, um, you know, there are some with more reds in, some with more greens in, some with more yellows in. And depending on which ones you want, you know, what your personal preference is, will depend very much on which ones you go for. So if you can multi-buy, you become part of that decision-making process even more. A's bought another one. Michaela, well done to you. Bristol's now got two. Well done to you. Corolla Maker, well done to you as well. There's loads of people with these in baskets. That is just superb. Well done. 0800 six triple four six double five go 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 well done superb quality well done beverly loads of you there well done that is absolutely phenomenal I, i'm literally over the moon with all of these incredible pieces uh, uh today we've got so much coming up and this you know being your early bird special what a special special deal this is it's absolutely fantastic isn't it well done to you well done to you. Cheryl's now got three. Yeah, this was the uh, this was the uh, this was the uh, the focus of Neri's uh, TikTok. JM, oh what what's your TikTok username again? JM producer Tom. JM producer Tom, or you can follow me, Carol Rose TV, if you want to. Do make sure that you uh, enter into our competition today. Go to our Facebook page, the Jewelry Maker Facebook page. Go to the Facebook Live that we did before the show. Like it share it, tag a friend, and you'll be entered into a prize draw, which we will announce at the 12 o'clock, uh, in the 12 o'clock hour. And whoever, um, and whoever uh, wins is going to win 50 pounds credited to their jewelry maker account. We'll try and run that every day this week, which is going to be brilliant. So well done, everybody. Keep on adding that to your order. That is a tremendous deal for genuine black Ethiopian opal. Start by, start by now. Okay, start by. This, this, oh, that is beautiful. Sterling silver end cap here to pop your cord in, your knot, your knotted pieces. This part here you can see un clicks Ooh. and then you're left with this this beautiful halo with a butterfly added into it that is just gorgeous now i'm going to turn this over so you can see here there's your loop there to be able to attach onto your necklace but that is one of the most gorgeous sterling silver clasps that is gorgeous all encrusted with your cabixiconia isn't that gorgeous brand new everyone isn't that gorgeous sterling silver butterfly clasp with cabixiconia now i have to say the kind of you know seeing pieces like this always makes me think right well i'm going to use that for something. I'm going to make that maybe into a little charm carrier, clip it onto necklaces, onto bracelets. I'm going to have something coming out the bottom there. Maybe one of the gorgeous Guatemalan uh, jades, maybe a gorgeous tassel, maybe beautiful pearls, whatever it might be. And then this part here, you know, putting this, I mean, the, the, literally the world is your oyster, putting it in the middle maybe of a bracelet, in the middle of a necklace, that could be a gorgeous pen. What I like about this as well, don't you think that that butterfly design there, it's quite a contemporary design, isn't it? Quite a lot of butterfly pieces are kind of quite classic, quite traditional. Um, some people might find them just, you know, a little bit old fashioned, but what's so nice about this is it's got that lovely kind of modern day classic look to it, hasn't it? Nancy's already got two in her basket, well done. That is really lovely. Just imagine that, I'm just gonna pop that on my wrist there. Imagine that as a beautiful, as a beautiful bracelet. I mean, that would just be gorgeous. Also, you've got the, all of these little apertures here to be able to, to be able to uh, put your cord in there as well. That is just gorgeous. Alison's already coming through to get this. Well done to you. Now it's all 925 sterling silver. You are getting countless cubic all set into this as well. It really is encrusted. 
Can I just, I mean, this is, this is, you know, suggestion after suggestion, I know. But if you do want to use these to, um, uh, together, wonderful. But using them separately, I just love that idea. I love the thought of breaking these down, using them exactly how you want them, finding uses in them. Don't feel bad if you look at something and you go, do you know what? I wouldn't use that as a class, but I'd use it as this or, or, or I'd sew it onto that or I'd do something, you know, you know, do something slightly different with it. Don't feel guilty about that because once it's yours, you do whatever you want with it. All 925 sterling silver, beautiful quality that you've got here today. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, is it a connector? Maybe it's a great shout. Well done, Marley. Well done to you, my lovely. Lots and lots and lots of people already coming through to get this. It's all 925 sterling silver you're going to be getting here. Two and a half grams of sterling silver as well. That is a big, big, big gram weight of sterling silver you're going to be getting there. Yeah, do you know what? I was thinking the same thing, actually, Ollie. I mean, I was thinking how many CZs there are in here because you've got here, there are countless amounts of them, aren't there? Countless amounts. Heather, well done to you. Alison, well done to you. There are so many there. And even the back of this piece, even the back, the quality, it's been finished off to such a high standard. Pamela, well done to you. And Devon, there's loads of people there. Well done. You are going to be shocked and amazed at the price point of this today. Here we go. All the way down. Enjoy. £19.99. pence. Well done, everyone. Gabrielle, you've got three there. Well done to you, my lovely. That's fantastic to see. Well done to you. Just gorgeous. Yeah, if you're going to be making a suite of jewellery, if you're going to be making that necklace, bracelet, earring suite, or if you're going to be breaking them down, using them separately. You know, th this is a lovely pendant, just this on its own, the butterfly and the gorgeous ring. You know, pop that in the middle maybe of a neckline piece and, uh, and you, know, you know, create an entire collection around that, around that gorgeous design. Then you've got a load of these gorgeous little carriers here. They are absolutely stunning, aren't they? Gorgeous, well done. 0800 644 We are not done. Are you sure? Okay, 30 second clock. Here we go, everyone. Ah! Okay, Pamela's got two. Well done, Nancy. You've now got two. Well done. Scott Stone found him on Facebook, put this one in our show. Did he really? I think he's gone. I think he's... I, I, I don't, yeah, he clearly wants us to take this down to something special. Yeah, is that, is that what we're saying? Clearly wants us to do a really, really special deal. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Let's just ignore the top note that says, don't go below 20 pounds. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Neary. Yeah, come on. Do it. Go lower than low. He says he's going to go lower than low. I like that low. Is he going to do it? Ooh. Ooh. 12.99. Joni. Sorry, Johnny. Well done to you, my lovely. Well done to you, Elizabeth. Well done. Gabriella. So she's going to come through for another one. Well done. Oh, my word. Carol. Well done to you, Kim. Well done to you, Elizabeth. Alison's got three. Well done to you. That is absolutely amazing. Gabrielle's got five now. Well done, sweetie pie. That's so good. Well done. 0800 644 655. This is so good. Today, we've got everything from polymer clay to seed beading to elastic to Guatemalan jade to lavender jade. It's going to be the most incredible, incredible show today. Kathy, you've got two in your basket. Check out my lovely Vivian. You've got two in your basket. Check out my lovely Debbie. Well done. Maker in Neathport Tobby. You've got two in your basket. Carol in Oxfordshire. Check out. There are so many people there. Elizabeth in the Highlands, well done to you. <coughs> yeah, just to give it a bit of kind of like a, a bit of an idea about how you might want to use these, actually. What about with the jade and the gorgeous pearls we've got coming up? Also, if I do this, look, here we go. Let's take that off. Let's take this one off. Hang on, I'm just going to pick it. Here we go. Here we go. Let's take you off. Can I fit the pearls through here? Might be something that you want to do. I don't know. Might be. Yeah. Use it as like a little, a little carrier, a little pendant, a little, just a little, a little thing. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Beautiful quality. I love that. As a kind of, as a little thing. Sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. I haven't got many words this morning. Sorry, gang. I know. I'm sorry. Yes, I know. Yeah. I use them all up on my 15 minute Facebook live. When our social media team said, do you think you'll be able to fill 10 minutes? Do you think I'll be able to fill 10 minutes? Seriously? No problem. Okay. <laughs> right. Should we do this one? Can we do the leaf? Feathery leaf? Is this a leaf or a feather, Michael? You tell me. It's a feather. 
I think it's a feather too. I think it's a feather. A feather. Oh, it's a leaf. Uh, wrong. I, th I, I think it's wrong too. I think it's completely wrong. I think it's definitely a feather. Or a flame. Oh, yes. Bright eyes burning like fire. Right, so there you are. Oh, Ollie. That is a beaut. Hey, eh? who did that? Was that you, Michael? You wouldn't have done that recording. Someone. Okay, here we go. A little hinge. Oh, I like that. A little hinge. You've got your loop at the top. Here we go. I'm going to put the pearls in. There we go. See? See? Look at her. Here we go. Clip it shut. <gasps> oh, yes. Doesn't that look good? Doesn't that look expensive? That looks really expensive, doesn't it? Sterling silver leaf feather clasp with... Kibik Ciconia, $29.99. I love this one. Pamela, well done to you, Lynn in Kent. There's lots of people coming through. I'm so excited about the relaunch of Polymer coming up after the break. We're so excited. Going to be joined by Abby as well. She's waiting in the wings. Very excited. Okay, 30 second clock. Let's just go for it. Come on, gang. There you go. Well done. Lots of people there. I love this. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love how sparkly this is. It's just, it's just so beautiful. Well done, Maker, Marley, Lynn, Gabrielle. Oh yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love it. Look, there you are. Just like that, you've got your little uh, bale there. And then the great thing about this, obviously, is that you can unclip it, clip it onto uh, things which have already been made, like necklaces, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, the great thing about that is you can make those kind of fully kind of transferable pieces, which get clipped onto uh, which get clipped onto uh, long line necklaces, you know, after you've made them. Earrings, that's a nice idea, actually. Yeah, I suppose if you put your, um, here we go. Yeah, if you put your, there we go. So, yeah, if you put your earring there with your loop, there you go. And then you can wear it like that. I suppose if you wanted to put the earring, for, actually, do you know what you could do? This is a good idea, everyone. Here we go. So, get your earring finding. After this, there's going to be no more ideas for the rest of the show, just so you're, just so you're aware. Um... You know the little loop at the bottom of the shepherd's hook earring? Put it on here, feed it all the way down to here. And then there's literally no jewelry, jewelry work at all, they literally just have it hanging down. On, like, yeah? $14.99, that, that idea there, that idea there is for free. Well done, Elizabeth, well done, Gabrielle, you've got two. Lynn, Marley's got two, well done to you, gorgeous. Okay, do not move a muscle. Coming up after the break, if you've never seen this medium before, you're in for a treat. If you have seen this medium before, this is the very, very welcome return of Paula McClay. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed 
and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hi, I'm Abby and my brand is Melrose Makes. I specialise in polymer clay jewellery which is inspired by nature. So I've been doing my business for about two years, started in July 2020 um, and have really refined that process and working with polymer clay, which I love because it's really versatile. Anyone can pick it up. Beginners, intermediate, advanced, whatever stage you're at with your jewellery, um, you can give it a go. So jewellery makers, I am really hoping you will join me for my first show on Monday the 30th where we will be exploring something brand new with polymer clay. See you then. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Welcome back. This is such an exciting moment here on Jewelry Maker. We're joined this morning uh, by the amazing Abby. We're just literally looking through your Instagram page. How are you? I'm really good. Very excited to be here. This is so exciting. Um, these, oh wow. Tell us, tell us a little bit about you, Abby, and uh, how long you've been working with Polymer. We want to know everything. All don't of it. We? Yes. Give it all of it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been working with Polymer Clay for about two years. Mm -hmm. um, came from a love of just being arty, oh wanting to do something that was similar to modelling. I used to do cakes. Mm. Um, and clay just lends itself to that because it is so versatile. Yes. Anything you can do with polymer clay, pretty much. Oh, how wonderful. How wonderful. The first thing that strikes me about these pieces, and I, and I, and I said this when we were on our uh, little break, is just, just how sophisticated, how modern these pieces are. I just, I love the, the kind of the animal print influence. I just think it's, it's so current, isn't it? Yeah, well, I do love a bit of animal print. So do I. I did, I did kind of match today. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can, I mean, whatever your style, if you like small and dainty clay suits, if you like kind of big and bold, anything goes. Wonderful. Uh, you're on uh, Instagram as well. So there you are on Instagram. Uh, Melrose makes. You're based in Worcester, did you say? I am. I am Worcester based. Oh, that's fantastic. So literally just up the road from us here at JM. This is this is just so lovely. What what are you what are you inspired by? Where do you get your inspiration from? Oh, um, so much. I mean, a lot of what I get my inspiration from is nature in my own work. So I use a lot of florals, um, but textiles, yes. art other you know gems anything just kind of pick up look in your wardrobe see mm. what's in there loads fabrics and things like that and mm. different textures as well because I've noticed as well some of the pieces you've made are really like these gorgeous earrings Michael's just showing there I mean that looks almost like a pony skin they're beautifully textured yeah so it's a versatile um, material so texturing is very in for polymer clay Ooh. at the moment so I shall show you a few bits with texture as well. If you've got any questions at all um, uh, for Abby, please please do let us know. Any questions at all about your polymer or your sculpt? We are going to be addressing lots of different things um, and you're going to be giving us some great tips as well, I'm sure. But if there's any questions that you have, please do let us know. Here's our text number. It's 78070. Um, we have had polymer clay before. It's been absolutely wonderful. Um, uh, it's so lovely to see this material back again because it is one of those things that just seems to inspire people particularly with the summer, um, summer holidays just around the corner we're obviously in half term at the minute but particularly with the summer holidays around the corner as well it's something which 
I think everybody can get involved with whatever your age as well. Um, and as you say, whether you want to make the smaller, daintier pieces or the bigger, bolder pieces, there is something for everyone in this medium, isn't there? Definitely. And what you were saying about school holidays, this is a great craft for children. Yes. Um, often you can't, you know, get your kids involved in all of your jewellery making. Yes. But polymer clay, you can give them a block. They can have a little play on the side as you make something. You can make a piece of jewellery together as well. Mm. So it's great. Gorgeous. So, right, OK, so we've got... We've got a few different kits. Which one are we going to do first, Neri? Which one should we do? This one, this one here. Okay, so we're starting off with this gorgeous kit here. Now, you are going to be getting it, and we'll talk about this clay in a minute as well and kind of what its kind of properties are. But we've got three big blocks of clay here. One thing that, the, the, one of the first things that struck me about clay is just how far these three blocks will go. They are literally, it's quite incredible, isn't it? Yeah, three blocks, you can get loads. Obviously, it just depends on the size of your earrings, but, you know, 30 pairs easy from a block. Goodness me. Yeah. That's incredible. Just very quickly, what, what, what are the main differences between your um, um, souffle and your Sculpey uh, Primo uh, um, clay? Yeah, so slightly different texture. Mm. Um, so the souffles have got a really beautiful suede-like texture. Yes. So very soft, very nice to work with, really hard to go wrong with souffle. Mm. I love that clay. Um, the Primo, so you've got a lovely metallic there. Um, mm. Again, really easy to work with, really easy to condition. Beautiful jewel tone you've got there. I love that colour palette. Isn't that a lovely palette? Yeah. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's kind of like uh, bright and poppy, but without being too kind of acidic and kind of overbearing. It's, it's a really, really gorgeous um, uh, palette to go for. So you've got this gorgeous, almost a magenta and then this beautiful teal. If you add little bits of this um, silvery uh, Primo, will it, will, it, will it alter the colour or will it just give a bit of kind of a metallic sheen to the souffle? Um, a little bit of both. So when you mix clays together, it yes. will slightly change the colours, but that is a massive bonus. I mean, mm. you're not just getting three colours there because you can mix it together. You can create different tones and shades. So, yeah, it will slightly change it. Oh, so we've had quite a few messages, actually, about about um, about the kind of the, the return of um, uh, polymer clay. It is mm. so exciting. Let me just turn these blocks around and you can have a quick look at them here. And it tells you about the temperatures you should be um, you should be um, um, uh, baking these at um, and and kind of for how long as well. This is kind of a rough guideline. And the more you work with your clay, the more you will find um, uh, what works for you and kind of gauging it on sizes, uh, the different sizes of pieces that you're going to be making. But these three blocks that you've got here will last absolutely um, ages. If I just move those there, I'll bring in your blanks. Now, you've got these gorgeous silver plated base metal uh, blanks here. These have uh, all got two little uh, holes which have been punched into these. Now, of course, to use them as those kind of individual coins, wonderful, but I can see here, you've actually used them to kind of put the polymer clay onto. I have. I so clever. I love using metals within my clay. Yes. Um, it's so versatile for using different mediums, so you can mix with your gemstones. Uh -huh. But I really love, yeah, using br um, kind of brass and metal connectors and the silver looks gorgeous with these sort of deep tones Do you know well. what it absolutely does doesn't it so you're going to be getting a pack of 10 of those um silver br um, silver colored brush uh, blanks now what are these what am i going to use these for so yeah these are some acrylic guides so if you are a complete beginner and you've got no tools you can definitely start polymer clay straight away you don't need a clay roller you know this is the end goal really mm. um but that will give you perfectly uniform pieces of clay so when you roll out of your clay yes. you can pop those under your rolling pin yes and it will give you the same thickness for that whole sheet of clay so all of your earrings are even see that's wonderful isn't it yeah so if you put your clay in the middle you roll it out you know that that is you know you're not going to go any um, uh, any deeper than that it's not going to be any thinner than that uh brilliant to see polymer clay back on jm that's from sue isn't it isn't it so it's just great isn't it now we've we've priced these kits accordingly they are very 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 low in price and the reason for that is we you know this is a relaunch we want to be able to get these kits out there we want to be for anyone who hasn't had a go with clay before it's you know it's really really important that we give you not just all of your clays but we give them to you for a really affordable price point so you can afford to maybe come through and get two of the kits maybe all three of the kits and we've got the rolling machine as well hooray my favorite medium thanks for bringing it back uh, welcome abby says isabel these are nice ah, thank this you lovely, isn't it okay so yeah uh, like we said these prices are very very low indeed and i think what's so fantastic as well is you will buy these guides once 
and these clays will last and last. I mean, you will literally, if, 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 if we were just using these three blocks of clay, you would literally just, we, we would have an entire desk full of jewellery, wouldn't you we? You would, yeah. You can go on forever for three blocks of clay. So these will really, really, really last. And um, uh, Oh, look at all these lovely messages. OMG, Polymer is back at last. Thank you, JM. Thank you, Josephine. This is so Yay. lovely. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> Good morning, Abby. Um, how did you go about putting your pieces out there and selling? Oh, Angela, Ooh. great question. Do you know what? A lot of it was word of mouth to begin mm. with. With, okay. um, I wanted to take a bit of time practicing and kind of perfecting them before I sold. But you know, it's, social media has been really wonderful, and just meeting other makers, other jewellery makers oh, there out she there. Is. There I am. <laughs> oh, make sure you like her page. Oh, this is just so lovely. Look at you there. You look so happy. This is yeah. just well, it's your happy place, isn't it? It is. Yeah, oh, my those florals. I love those. I do. Yeah, I do love a bit of a floral. It is. You know, that's kind of my thing. <laughs> nice screenshot there. Yeah, my face. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love how you've gone for all the same colours as well. It, you know, it's, oh my gosh, are those pans? They are amazing. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's a technique that I've been crafting. I suppose those are like my niche in the market, oh, I suppose. Oh, wow. Yeah. They, look, they actually look, are they actually pressed flowers? Yes, yeah, so real flowers. Oh my <laughs> gosh. You are, yeah. We're going to have to get her back, aren't we? Right, let's do the price point for this kit because this is crazy. I've got so many questions of my own, actually. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Just get involved. We're taking these as low as we possibly can, um, all the way down. £24.99, you've got... It's, it's going to be nowhere near that today. We're going to go much, much, much lower than this. So you've got all your guides. You've got your, uh, you've got your blanks. You've got your three blocks of clay. Yeah, I think that's going to be amazing, Neri. Let's just take it right the way down, all the way down. Here we go, Rob. Do make sure that you follow Mel Rose makes um, UK on Instagram um, uh, and, and, and just and just be inspired. And of course, there's such a wealth of um, uh, interest out there on things like Pinterest uh, and of course on Instagram as well. You will find so many, I mean, millions of different designs out there to be inspired by. Fabulous to see Abby and Sculpey back on JM. That's from Debbie. Thank you. Oh, gorgeous. Thank you from lovely Debbie. Um, all the way down, here we go. Yeah, that might be lovely Debbie Bulford, actually. I don't know, it might be. Ah, twelve ninety nine. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Well done. So we've got so for twelve ninety nine, you are literally how, how, how many how many pairs of earrings did you say you get from one block of clay? -ish? Probably about thirty, yeah. Oh my gosh. So you've got about nine, 90 pairs of that is that is absolutely crazy tracy mary maker jane maker linda maker lisa uh well into hayley absolutely what 30 30 pairs from each block yeah if you could do kind of small earrings because you roll them quite thinly you can get a lot clay so roughly, goes far. roughly 90 pairs of earrings and i suppose you know you know you know what you kind of sell them for as well mm. um and also length of time it's not going to take you it doesn't have to take you a long time to make earrings out of out of things like your um uh, clay it can be quite a quick medium can't it yeah i mean you're not having to wait for it to dry i think that's the great thing compared to mm. some of your other clays um you don't need a kiln um you can pop them in your oven at home so mm. yeah great for home crafting and that's it see, see this is what's so fantastic you've got these colors don't take these colors just on face value as well because of course when you start to add things like white and black to these colors they it will change the shade and the intensity of the clays as well won't definitely, it definitely yeah think of it like paint when you're sitting down with your clay Brilliant. think of your color wheel so if you add more white if you add more black if you swap the colors you can pretty much treat it as so paint. if we added so we've in the next kit so this is 12.99 just keep adding this kit to your order if we added the white to this gorgeous teal what color would we what colour would we get? So you'd get a nice lighter, nice lighter blue. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, if you start mixing um, your colours together, as I said, think of your colour wheel. So the opposite colours, you'll mix them together. So exactly yes. like you learn at school, mixing your paint colours. Yes, that's it, isn't it? And of course, if you add it to this really intense kind of magenta colour, you'll get a softer, lighter pink. We're mm -hmm. taking the price point down again. We don't want any of these left in stock just purely because this is going to be such a fantastic medium to get out there with. Um, I uh, did some polymer clay with my kids. Gosh, they're six and eight now. So I, I probably did it with them a couple of years ago. So they would have been four and six. And we were making little models and they were all so different. They were beautiful. And they, they sat so peacefully, which is really unusual for my children. But they sat, both of them sat so peacefully and they made little, little um, um, Hattie made little ice cream. Pippa made a, a little panda. It was just so, so beautiful. You've got a bit of nostalgia there as well. Yes. I think that's what's great about clay. There is something, when you pick it up for that first time, it's like a little bit of nostalgia of modern 
modelling when you were younger? I think you're right. Um, uh, the first time I was, I, I, I started working with clay. I was, I was probably about their age. Um, so, so it might be something which you come back to later in life. You know, maybe you're looking at this thinking, gosh, I remember doing that during the summer holidays or, you know, when I was, you know, 10 or 11. Come back to it. And as you, as you can see here, these pieces are modern. They're really sophisticated. Um, and it just shows you what you can do with your clay pieces. Also, they're very, very lightweight as well, aren't they? Very. So that is the question I get asked most is, yes. oh, they, you know, some of the bigger pairs, they must be quite they heavy. Must be heavy. No, not at all. These are extremely, extremely light. So you can wear them all day and you probably won't even notice you're wearing them. Oh, that's fantastic, isn't it? Nine ninety nine. well done. Yes, Carol, it was me. Oh, Debbie Balford. Hello, sweetie. So excited. You cannot buy Sculpey on the high street anymore. Mm. So JM is the best place to buy. That's from Debbie. I yeah. did not know that. It is quite hard to come by. I mean, last year it was nearly impossible, particularly Souffle, mm. which is a fabulous, fabulous really? brand. It was very hard to come across. Was it across. because uh, the manufacturing kind of ground to a halt or everyone was having a go at it? Both. Or, yes, yeah, I can both. imagine. Absolutely both. So it's Thank great you, to Debbie. see it here. Debbie Balford um, uh, kind of uh, bought Polymer Clay to us. She was, she was the first person to bring us Polymer Clay and did such a phenomenal uh, job with it. It's so good to see it back though. And I know yes. that Debbie's um, out there. Uh, we've um, had, had a message asking what the discs are for. So you added the, uh, the polymer pieces onto the disc, is that right? Yeah, you can do so. Just use it like a little connector. Um, mm. So you can put it in between your, if you had um, like a shepherd's hook and the clay piece, you could put it in between two clay pieces like I've done here. Use your imagination, just, yeah, connecting with jump rings. Nice, gorgeous. Okay, it's very, very popular kit, that one. We've now got, oh, this one. Are we going to do this one here? This one's going to be really, really, really popular. Popular for a couple of reasons, I think. I think you've most definitely got your kind of, your neutral kind of base colours here, haven't you? But also... I, I, I love all these pieces that you've created here using using I, this kit. Yeah, I jumped for this kit because black and white clay, oh. you will use it probably in everything you make. Um, so versatile because you can mix it. But black and white, it never goes out of fashion. You're Monochrome, right. you can always wear it. And I saw those colours and I thought leopard print. Yes, <laughs> most definitely. Also, when you're making things, um, I remember watching um, uh, guest designers making things like canes and to create that definition between different colors, those borders between two colors or two different pieces. Mm. And you need your black and white, don't you? You need the contrast. You need the contrast of a light and a dark to yes. really get those details out. We, we used to bring the black and white clay to it um, uh, in kind of brick sizes, actual house brick sizes, because you do yeah. use so much of it, don't you? Yeah, you do. You could. I mean, this is a great kit to get you going if you, you know, want to start out. You know, those nice simple colours, mm. give them a go. So you've got your black, you've got your white, and then you've got this really gorgeous colour called cowboy, uh, which is like a gorgeous kind of uh, tan. Uh, colour you're going to be getting here. Just gorgeous. These connectors here, these are gorgeous. I love how you've used these. I ones. love an arch connector. Absolutely. And these are mm. beautiful because they've got that brushed finish. Yes. Having that brushed finish, it's really, it, 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 it's really lovely because it adds yet another texture, I guess, to your, uh, to your design, doesn't it? Um, you can um, see how um, Abby's used them here. And uh, those pieces, are ju they're just so professional. They really just highlight and punctuate that jewellery nicely, don't they? Gorgeous. Yeah, they lift it up that little bit more to kind of make it even even pop even more. Yes, exactly. Oh, look at those. That's like a gorgeous, I don't know what, that looks like something in host rock almost. It's beautiful. Okay, we're going to get that price point straight down for you. Haley's taken three of this kit. If, you were, if you're going to multi-buy any of these kits, multi-buy this one for me. And uh, uh, just purely because the black and the white, you will do not underestimate how much you will be using these two colours. And also the, uh, the brown, the tan as well. Just incredible. Also, I know a lot of people who love making models and kind of little fairy trees and things. This is going to be, you know, the perfect brown if you're going to be using uh, this to maybe make um, uh, little little models of trees, things like that. Definitely, yeah, because, it's, you know, it's not just jewellery. You can, you know, mm. you can decorate things with polymer yes. clay. So pretty much anything you can put in an oven. Um, but, yeah, great for hair and animals, mm. everything you can use with the brown colour. And also, you don't need to, uh, some, some mediums you need to kind of invest in a special kind of, you know, uh, uh, like if you're doing glass fusing a lot of people buy a special microwave they're just going to do glass fusing it this can go in your oven in your in your home it's not it like can. a kiln that needs to go in is it it doesn't no it's completely toxic free um so it's absolutely perfectly safe to put in your oven um use separate baking trays yes um but you can put it in your normal oven 
See, that's brilliant, isn't it? That's wonderful. So very few tools uh, that you're going to need to make these pieces. And as you go through your polymer clay journey, you'll find that you'll want to maybe invest in the roller machine or the gorgeous Dremel or, you know, whatever it might be. Um, there are just very, very basic tools that you need. And it's just so much fun. And anyone can get involved. $9.99 for you today. Well done. That's incredible. Okay. Now, let's do the final kit that we've got here. This kit here has got the most gorgeous colours in it. Tropical. It is tropical, isn't it? What's that colour called? Is it royalty? Real. Oh, yes, royalty. So I was reading it in Spanish then. Uh, royalty pesto. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. And pumpkin. Oh, you're right. It is tropical, isn't it? It is. I love that palette. Oh. Um, but also great for um, going into summer if you want to create leaves and flowers. Mm. You've got that green base and all souffle clays, which will give that lovely, soft, suede finish. You're right, it is a suede finish. It's so tactile, isn't it? It's you really just need to, it's hard to explain until you kind of compare the two and you've run it through and rolled it. You mm. will feel it. It's almost, yeah, talcum powder like. Yes, yes, it's gorgeous. So you've got your, so you've got your three. No, just do it in your conventional oven, Neary. He's asking whether he needs a special oven. No, well, you're not listening, oven. Neary. Normal oven. Just your normal oven. At 130 degrees, so you're not roasting it, you're not nuking it, you're not putting it in a special, you know, it's just dead, dead simple. Um, you've, got here, you've got here your blanks as well in uh, these lovely square blanks. I like this, uh, these a lot. They're really, really nice, aren't they? Um, more messages coming through. Hi, Abby. How do you stop the clay bubbling in the oven, please? Yeah, so that's how you roll it. So you have mm. to be quite careful when you roll it, which I will show in my demonstration. You basically want to make sure that when you fold the clay and you roll it, you roll towards that open gap. So you're pushing the air out of the gap. Ah, perfect. But also, if you're talking from a kind of a heat point of view, you're only, you're only baking it at 130 degrees. It's not like a roasting kind of bubbling bake, like a cheese on toast kind of uh, heat. So don't worry about that. Um, OK, let's get that price point down. Maker in Bristol, Patricia, Hayley, Jay Marie. This is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to see your Wall of Fame entries over the next few weeks. Seven ninety nine. Goodness me. Woo! Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> that's ridiculous, <laughs> isn't it? It's amazing. And just going back to something that was um, kind of pointed out earlier on, very difficult to get these kind of clays on the high street, isn't it? Yes, yeah. It's become more and more difficult to get these clays, particularly Sculpey clay, mm. particularly the souffle clay. Yes. Um, I don't think, you know, I've seen these brands on the high street itself at all. Mm, yeah, OK. So, so, you know, absolutely get these. Have a go. Have a play. It's mm. seven ninety nine. You know, you make these pieces, you, 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 you know, you, and also the great thing is if you find that you've got loads of one color left over, a good thing is, is to kind of make, you can make beads out of them. They can become kind of the, in, the interior of a bead. Can't oh my they, gosh, almost? you can make so much with clay. Yes. I'm, you know, I really hope that everyone loves polymer clay and I can show you lots more different oh, things. Oh, I'd love that. That would be brilliant. Wouldn't, it? Wouldn't that be fantastic? Gorgeous. Well done. So seven ninety nine. This is absolutely flying out the door. Now, we've got various different tools and bits and pieces and, and, and accessories we're going to be bringing to air as Abby does a demo. But oh, please get into a demo. This is this is so wonderful to see this back. Definitely. Yeah. Mm. So what I'm going to show you is just something nice and simple to get you going oh, okay. with, which is a little bit of leopard print. Yes. So I have used the brown and the black and the white. So all I've done here is in the blocks of clay, you'll see there's four little sections. Oh, yeah. um, so I have used for the white, just one little section and then half of that section of brown just to make this lovely tan color that you'll mm -hmm. see in front of me. And as I said, you can treat it like paint. So with an acrylic roller, you just want to flatten out your clay a little bit. Give it a good squish. No particular technique, because what I'm going to do is roll it through my clay machine. Let's move these out of the way. And I've got this set on my lowest setting. Mm -hmm. So for me, this will be a number one. So it's just to get going, and it's just to condition the clay. So you just run it through. Brilliant. So we've got the bead roller on, uh, on uh, sorry, yeah, the bead clay, uh, polymer clay bead roller, which is the one you just used there. $4.99 for that. Oh, Fabulous. look at that. That's gorgeous. So you just want to start blending the colours together. Yeah. Um, and then when you push it through the machine, you want to fold it in half. And that question about bubbling, you always want to put it down with the bit that you folded. Ah. So don't put it down that way. Gorgeous. Roll it through. And you keep going. Keep glowing. Keep going. 
and then you'll know your clay is conditioned when you don't get the cracks. So you might be able ah. to see that you get these cracks. So when they're all gone, it's yes. nice and warm. You will have your clay mixed up. Oh! And this is the colour we've got. So what I'm going to do is show you a couple ways to do leopard print. It just depends what you like more. Uh huh. So the first thing we're going to do is do the tear and rip method. Oh, that sounds mm. good. Fancy. Sounds very animalistic. So what I've done here with these two types of clay, so the brown and the black, is roll it really thin. So paper, paper thin. Ooh, so yeah. for my pasta machine, I think that was like a number seven. Yes. But you can do that with a roller. Just keep going until it's kind of paper the, thin. The roller, by the way, is £1.49. There you go. That's a bit. That's a bit low, isn't it? Yeah. One forty nine for your polymer clay bead roller. Just add it onto your order. Go, 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 go. Oh. I can sense the sharp intake of breath from Abby that that's a little <laughs> bit too low, possibly. Oh, I want to go and get one. Can I run <laughs> off? <laughs> Brilliant. I love it. Uh, so all I've done here oh. is just ripped it all up. This is organic. You just have to play with it and just rip it up. Place your bits of clay down. Random patterns, different sizes. Really don't have to be neat and tidy oh, with it. And then you do similar with the black. So you okay. tear up your black. Little sections, kind of popping them around. So usually I'll do kind of two to three bits of black on either side of my little black, my little brown splodge. Okay. So you can see the building up at the moment, not too much. What does that look like? And then what we're going to mm -hmm. do on the other side is another different method. So this one is a okay. bit more uniform. If you don't kind of like this organic way, you can do something a bit more uniform. So I've just got a really small standard kind of metal cutter. Okay. Probably need my little pokey needle tool for this bit. To get it out. The clay rolling machine's on, on, on uh, screen for you, just so you're aware. Little pasta roller. We're gonna do something very, very low with this, far lower than we should be going, but anyway. Oh, that looks satisfying. Oh, it is. Yeah, I know yes. it is. That's why I needed to get my little pokey tool. Because, <laughs> you know, you've, got, you've just got to do it. Brilliant. So similar kind of thing. Just popping your little circles down. Yeah. This will be good if you're making quite a small piece of jewellery. Because these ones, you can get small, but it's better for a larger pattern. Yeah. But these ones down. And then you get a little fun little wiggly string like this. Is that clay? That is clay. Ooh. Oh, it's a versatile substance, isn't, isn't it? it? <laughs> I, mean, I love it. So I've actually used an extruder for this, but you can just roll it with your fingers. Okay, A bit brilliant. like you would have done with Play-Doh when you were younger. Yeah, finger. nice one. So cutting off little sections, do a little rolly-rolly. And then we're popping it around the edge. So it's obviously a little bit more fiddly than this one. Yeah. But, but completely different technique. Yeah, I like that. And it will give you something. Yeah, if you like your spots and your pattern more uniform, this is the one for you. Gorgeous. So just to, just so you know, the cheapest price point we have bought, uh, sorry, that we found for the clay rolling machine, which is this one here. This is your, your, your pasta rolling machine is £19.99. pence. OK, we're going to take the price point all the way down for you. This is great. It comes with a, a little vice so you can clamp this onto your work surface. Mm. It's absolutely, it is a brilliant, brilliant tool uh, to use. Well worth getting, um, especially if you're going to be doing larger pieces um, as well. Nine ninety nine. Ooh. Do you know what? Even if you don't do polymer clay, but you fancy making your own pasta, this is amazing. Yeah. That's incredible. Because you can. I mean, you could get one for your clay, one for your pasta. One for your pasta. I absolutely love it. Look at all these different, and, and you get so many different gauges to which you can roll your clay, don't you? It's just fantastic. Goes all the way up to number number nine. Goodness me. So very thin. So you could get some, yes. you could, um, so in the past with really thin clay, I've yes. sculpted roses. Um, you know, really get into your floral work for that as well. Yeah, gorgeous. Um, so yeah, when you've built okay, up all yeah. your pattern, it will look a bit like this one. Oh, look. Oh, nice. So you can see that's all 3D. Now, you yeah. could leave it like that. You could, you know, you have a little bit of 3D, a bit of kind of okay. texture. But what I like to do is give it a good squish. Nice. Now, what I would say, before you squish your clay, make sure you clean it up a little bit. Mm. Um, so clay will naturally pick up lint and fibres from the air. So what you can do is just dip a cotton bud in a little bit of rubbing alcohol, mm. wipe it over the top. You can pick up any of those bits of lint or any imperfections. 
but should we do some squishing? Yes. Let's do some squishing. So I've just got standard baking paper, so it's non-stick. I've got my acrylic roller, and we're going to do some squishing. And you'll feel it. Oh it will give us. That looks so. <laughs> okay, well, we're just going to blame Abby for something. Go on, Neary, just do it. Just blame Abby. Uh, yeah, yeah. She won't be asked back. <gasps> Check this out. I'm I know this excited. is embarrassing. This is embarrassingly low. Six ninety nine. <gasps> Just six ninety nine. There you go. Oh my gosh! Not thirty nine ninety nine. No, not nineteen ninety nine. Six pounds and ninety nine pence. Oh. This is a one off special. Do you know what I'm thinking? I want to be making myself some pasta now as well. This is absolutely amazing. I don't want to admit how much I paid for mine. <laughs> See, this is it. And it's all Abby's fault. There we go. Well done. There we go. Oh, oh now that Should looks we do amazing. The reveal? Yes. Shall we do a slow reveal? Oh, a slow are you reveal. ready? Dramatic. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I love that. So, I can't decide which one I like better. Yeah, that's, you know, I like a bit of both. So you've got your kind of organic large they're ones. Very different, see on aren't the they? There. <gasps> and then this kind of spotty pattern. Um, there's some over here that, you know, that kind of little bit more uniform. But yeah, when you've done that, it's time to start playing with it. So oh. what do you want to do? Um, you can add your texture. Yes. So well, I've got in my kit, hang on, bear with me. A little bit of sandpaper, which you can have just around your house. Uh huh. So you could pop that over the top. Oh. That's going to be, is that quite a subtle texture? Yeah, so this is quite a fine grit, but this is how you get that really beautiful texture. Oh. So you can do a bit oh, of that. Oh, I like that. Almost looks like concrete, doesn't it? Mm. That's this, beautiful. This is a very in texture at the moment. It's yes. just something a little bit different to your kind of your print. Um, you can play with it with needling tools, so you can kind of do some spots. Or what I've done on some of the pieces is kind of do marks. Brush marks. So yes, that kind of furry nice. texture. Yes. So whatever you fancy doing. At this stage, you could also add um, glitters. You mm. could add mica powders. You could add gold leaf, silver leaf. Unlimited. And you're doing this all before it gets, um, all before it goes into the oven. Yeah. So anything that involves texture or powders, mm. um, glitters, those sorts of things, do before. If you're using liquids, so mm. paint, paint pens, better to do it once it's baked. But yeah, anything that you kind of want set, um, you can put it into the clay because clay itself doesn't need varnishing. Um, you can bake it, and then it's pretty much done. But if you're using things like paints, ideally you want to top them with um, with a varnish. How long will the clay last if you leave it uncovered like you've done with with that clay that you've got there? How long will it stay? Well, it doesn't. Soft it doesn't. Or? Yeah, it doesn't really dry. I mean, you couldn't leave it for a year on your worktop. Mm. But I have gone away. I've made a you know a big slab of something like this. I've covered it with a bit of baking paper. I've gone and had my dinner. I've left it to the next day. It doesn't dry out like a lot of the air dry clays. So you can come back That's to great. it. You know, if you've got something really detailed, um, mm. you can leave it and go, oh, I'll come back another day because I've run out of time. Can you recondition it if it does dry out? You can. So there's a few different ways you can do it. You can buy liquid clay. Mm. Um, so you want to, if you've got kind of that crumbly texture, yes. if you've got older clay or for some reason you've just stored it incorrectly, um, yeah, you can. You can chop it up into little pieces and recondition it or warm it up. Clay is mm. best when it's warm, so pop it in your pocket in a bag. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Which seems like a funny tip, but that does work. Um, you can mix it with really soft clay. So if you've got a really soft clay and you're not too worried about the colour, roll it through the pasta machine with a really soft clay and that mm. should um, condition it up okay, again. Okay, brilliant. Soft. Thank you. We've got the extruder on screen, which of course you can make that kind of <gasps> lovely wormy with. So much you can do it's with an pound. extruder. So it's much. A pound. Yeah. Um, it's absolutely fantastic and you get these you can get all sorts of different uh, kind of shapes coming out of your extruder can't you you can um i mean there's loads of discs that you can get with it but mm. even if you've just got going with um like the strings there's so much you can just do with a string um you oh, can yeah. do hair hair yeah, yes leaves and vines so so much gorgeous so much beautiful okay right um, but yeah, once you've kind of you're happy with your slab, so the bit of clay, that's when you want to do start cutting out your shapes. Now, 
clay makers will collect these. We've got a bad habit of collecting cutters. <laughs> you don't need cutters. You could cut that by freehand. You could do it with a scalpel and just kind of cut any free mm. shapes. Any cutters you've got around the kitchen, if you don't have cutters to begin with, you don't need specialised mm -hmm. polymer clay cutters, cake cutters, cookie cutters. I've used a lot from my cake baking days. You yeah. can pick it up. So Brilliant. You want to cut all your shapes out um, and then you want to bake them in the oven and then they'll all come out. Your little shapes are see studio lights made that a bit toasty. Yeah. Like um, so yeah, you've just got all of your shapes cut out. Oh, no. These are just some simple ones that I've kind of got today. So you've got all your shapes ready. And then all you want to do is sand it. Um, mm -hmm. It's a vital stage you don't want to skip. Because okay. you want it nice and smooth. You want that quality finish. Okay. And you can do that by hand. So mm. you can just use general um, wet sandpaper. Ideally, you don't want to scratch your clay. Um, but you can also use a, like a Dremel or something like that. So how long would I bake those pieces for? Mm. If I've cut them out, how long would I bake them for? So on the packets of mm. the clay, it says on the back, um, cook at 130 That's for it. 15 to 30 minutes. I'd test it in the middle. Mm. Um, so probably go for 120 and try 20 minutes. Um, what you want when it comes out, you want the pieces to be a little bit flexible. Mm. Um, you don't want them to snap. If they've snapped, you haven't cooked it long enough. But yes. give it a bit of practicing first. You know, don't put your most treasured piece in that you've spent ages creating if you've yes. never baked clay have before. Have a tester piece. Always. Have some testers, yeah. I always yes. have testers around. If I've got scrap clay, I keep it. I make testers so I can practice new techniques. Now, one one thing some uh, that, that, that I remember being asked about a lot is about polishing, polishing... Polishing your pieces up to get that really lovely high shine and also drilling into your polymer pieces as well because I'd, I'd be I'd be quite frightened I think if I've got a piece of polymer out out of the oven it's absolutely perfect it's gorgeous and then I've got to drill a hole in it to create it you know a pendant or something yeah you know um, the great thing about clay is you know it is quite robust yes. um, once it's baked you know that's not going to snap it's not going to you know shatter. Um, but yeah, you can drill into it. You can um, you can use a hand tool. You can get hand drills. If you're really nervous and don't want to start, what you can do is poke a little hole before you bake it mm. with a cocktail stick, and that will be your hole. So technically, right. you can do it okay. that way. Um, but once you get comfortable, you can move on to using a hand tool like a Dremel. So the so the Dremel we've got here. This is a this is a lovely tool. Um, you've got with this. You've got your um, you've got your polishing. Um, uh, felts here which are absolutely fantastic now these you can polish up your metal pieces with this obviously I wouldn't use the same pieces uh, to, to polish up your polymer pieces but this is but these are wonderful you've also got these little sandpaper pieces as well which I can imagine uh, being very very useful as well um, not just for your not just for your polymer but things like your wooden pieces as well I mean th this I mean the Dremel tool just it just works in so many ways for so many different mediums doesn't it, it? does I mean I use I can do everything with it. So I will do my sanding and my drilling. I even drill the holes in my earring cards. Oh, <laughs> a little you? tip. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Save you hand poking each one. But yeah, that is a fantastic tool and that it will be really light so you can hold that for hours. So will you use this one to drill your holes? Would you use this one or um, would you use... I use a small drill bit yeah, um, okay. just to drill my holes. So something quite small. Perfect. Um, but yeah, those little cotton wheels at the front, those yes. will be for your sanding. Because you want something that's quite soft. Oh, right. So I will sand the edges um, of my piece with kind of one of those cotton wheels just to make them soft for one, but also yes. it makes all of the pattern neat. So okay. those little cotton wheels at the front. Perfect. So your Dremel um, is your, your Stylo Explorer Plus. It, it's a really nice light one. It's obviously got that classic kind of Dremel ergonomic design so you can hold it literally like a, I mean, it's like a marker pen, isn't it? The size of it. It's just wonderful. And I think that's one of Dremel's main kind of pulls is that it is such an easy tool to use isn't it yeah I'm a little bit jealous of that one mine's definitely a bit chonkier <laughs> oh, is it, really? <laughs> it is oh. that one would be perfect if you know if you are drilling or sanding for a long time you won't get yes. know, aches in your wrist because that one is so light yes um, yeah it's so even got a little it. stand as well does yours have a stand it does not have a stand. oh Abby you see it's just it's just a better tool I know it? It is. <laughs> Um, morning, ladies. Uh, please can I ask if you can paint on polymer clay with acrylic paint or add detail with alcohol pens or other pens? That's from Alison in Cheshire. Definitely. I mean, you can pretty much put anything on polymer clay, um, but with your paints and your acrylics, as I said, as it's a liquid, mm. you want to put that on 
after you've baked your clay. So when you've got okay. all your pieces dry and baked and sanded and as you want them, that's when you can start adding. So yeah, acrylic paints work great. Um, paint pens, which are a nice Ooh. way to add small details. Um, and yeah, alcohol, if you actually, you can use alcohol inks on clay. Mm. Um, I would use those before baking. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, pretty much anything you That's can use. That's fantastic. Your Dremel, by the way, $49.99. It's on two split payments of $24.99 as well, which is brilliant. I've got some more attachments for the Dremel as well. These are these are great. What have we got here? Oh, gosh, look at it. The thing I love about Dremel is down the side of the pack, it tells you kind of the materials that you can use these on. But these are really, really fine polishing pieces. Would now, would you use these to polish or to, or to sand your pieces? So I use mine to sand. You can polish clay. In fact, mm. with clay, you can polish it so finely that it will look like a gem almost. Oh, wow. If you kind of work up your uh, fineness of, um, of sandpapers yes. and then also to like just polishing cloths or denim even, mm. you can, but those are brilliant for, um, I mean, this is mostly what I use as these kind of felt pads, but you've got mm. small ones which can kind of go in your little curves of your jewellery. Yes. Um, really good pack. Yeah, gorgeous. Two ninety nine for this pack. Anne, Carolyn, Renata, Amanda, Maker, Helen, Joanne. Lots and lots of people coming through. Any more questions? Please do let us know. This is, you know, so good to see the welcome return of uh, of your polymer clay, and it's just so lovely to see it being it's so, so lovely to see it being demoed again. It's just great, and hopefully we can bring more uh, incredible accessories back as well. Please do go to our website as well. Everything is available on the website. Uh, things that we haven't even spoken about, like we've got the extruder, but we've got the um, uh, rollers. We've got all sorts of different things. If you want to add them to your order please please do but any questions please let us know as well uh well done helen joanne as well maker jacqueline lots and lots of people coming through to get these these are great to use with your dremel um yes now i've been asked to ask you about is it the the dura what this dura clear and high gloss yeah what 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 is this varnishes so oh okay Clay is a little bit finicky with varnishes. You have to really test and try. And I've done that testing and trying for you. you. Yes. And these are the varnishes that I recommend because they will set perfectly on your clay. They'll give a great finish and they won't leave a sticky residue. Um, so you've got two finishes. You've got the gloss and the matte. Yes. And I've used them on a couple pieces. Oh, have you? Brilliant. Let me bring these forward. Okay. So you can have a look at the finishes. So on these ones, I've used the matte. So okay. you can't really see well, it, can you? Maybe more. So no, not on really. On this one, if you don't want to see your varnish, but you need to seal something. Yes, of course. That is ideal. That's the one to use. But if you want a high gloss finish, you can see it on Ooh, there. Oh, that is nice. Yeah, you can see the difference between the two there. That's really, gosh, that is a huge difference. So that's the high it? gloss. And, and that's, that's a mat. mat. So, yeah, if you don't want to see it, you've got that one. Would, and then you've got the Would gloss. you advise with all your polymer pieces to varnish them or, or not? Is, is it really important it's to do really that? really up to you. You don't need to varnish um, clay. Um, mm. It's water resistant um, as it is, so you ah, don't need to. Yeah. If you've put something on it, so on these ones, I've put some silver leaf. Yes. Um, you'll want to seal that. If you've used paint, if you've used pastels, um, you'll want to seal it with a varnish. Um, or if you just want it glossy and shiny. Yes, um, most but yeah, definitely. If it's just that in fact you, you want it a bit shiny, you can add a bit of varnish. Is it is it one of those is it one of those materials where it's you know less is definitely more, or do you put quite a bit of it on there? Um, so with the matte, I only use one coat because obviously I don't really want to see it. I just want to protect it. Brilliant. With the gloss on these ones, I used a couple coats. The more no layers you add, the glossier it will oh, get. Oh, lovely. But even with two coats on that one, even with one coat, to be fair, you've got a nice gloss with that varnish. And these are, and, and presumably then these will last a long time. These these very these long glosses. time. Yeah. I bought those size bottles two years ago, and I don't think I've even used half. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, see, there you go. Fantastic. So definitely worth getting. Twelve ninety nine. I'm thinking as well, if you, if you, I mean, I mean, you say it's water resistant. If you, if, if you made something that was going to go in your bathroom or somewhere where it's going to get quite hot and humid, would you say to varnish it then? Or does it, or does it not really make any difference? Is it, 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 it it's not like a, a porous kind of material that's going to get affected by humidity, is it? Yeah, no, so technically it is waterproof. I mean, people have made buttons with oh, um, clay. Oh, gorgeous. Um, but, you know, if you want that peace of mind, you could just pop a coat of varnish mm. on just to be sure. Um, that actually, yeah, it's, it's kind of double protected. Gorgeous. Okay, so twelve ninety nine for you today. Well done. Lots and lots of people coming through. Still some of the kits available on our website if you want to add those to your order, but they are very, very, very low in quantity. That's fantastic. Um, 
Well done. We've also, oh yes, we've also got the matte varnish just on its own. Move that one out of the way. There we go. So we've got the matte varnish just on its own. It's interesting, isn't it? I mean, you must have used so many different varnishes that, that haven't been right. Oh, I've done the testing. Yes, I could imagine. Uh, yeah, I've got a whole pile of bits that I oh. use for other experiments. I'm like, no, that one stayed tacky. No, that one didn't dry. No, that one cracked. Um, yeah. But this one, I've never had a problem. It's my favourite. You can hand paint it on. Um, so, you know, it's quite easy to do. You can either hold the piece of clay, you can rest it on a kind of sticky surface like a mm. silicon, brush it on with just a standard flat brush and mm. where you go and it will, it dries quite quickly as well. Oh, that that's one. fantastic. Let's just see, actually, you can apply with a brush. I wonder whether you can use it on any other products as well. I think you can, yeah. I think can. it's quite a versatile one that you can use on lots of different surfaces. Yeah, fantastic. Well done. Give it a go. And, you know, test these test these uh, pieces out, you know, with, with, with different mediums. You know, if, you've, if, if you want to have a go with it with the, um, uh, with the concrete uh, that we bought you in the past or, you know, different types of clay, different mediums, just, you know, give it a go. See what happens. Uh, but it gives you that really, really lovely finish and that lovely kind of seal and that peace of mind at the end of the day. If that's what you want to do and, you know, you know that's how you want to finish your pieces off, it gives you that wonderful piece of of mind uh well done lots of people coming through 5.99 for that one today well done everyone um uh fantastic well done so using your did, did you did you use your black the blanks that we've got did, did, can you use it in the middle of two pieces of clay and kind of sandwich it yes so i've done that for this page yes. here right see so yeah, just connecting with jump rings you can easily do that so just anything in between clay so that top piece is clay Yes. Um, all I've done is I've pressed gold leaf onto the clay base before I cut it out and then sealed it. Nice. So it gives it that kind of metal finish. But yeah, the, the blanks you can put between two pieces of clay. Um, I love to use them attaching to your kind of shepherd's hooks or anything like that. It yes. just gives a nice kind of finish to all the all metal look. Yes, absolutely. Can you incorporate it directly into the clay, like impress it into the clay as you well can. and bake it? Yes. I think anything that you can bake safely, so obviously metals, yes. um, you can push them into the clay. I've done some recently where I've kind of pushed uh, connectors into clay mm, and then yes. cut around them and yes. sealed them. Um, you can honestly, you can push anything. I've pushed um, shell into clay. Oh wow! At, you know, it's really your imagination. That's Go wild gorgeous. with it. Oh, see, see, this is so lovely. We've got some. Um, oh my word! Right, okay. I, I haven't got a clue what these are. Um, sculpting tools. I was going to say this is like a home dentistry kit. I'm not <laughs> entirely sure. It's just. So these are sculpting tools? Yeah, so I mean, probably commonly used with um, probably ceramic artists and potters, but wow. because of how great clay is and because it is soft, you can use all these different things to sculpt and push into it. So, you know, if you do like making flowers or if you just like mark making, mm. all of these you can use. I mean, my favorite piece in my kit is one of these sorts of tools. I mean, I use it actually just to lift and move clay around. Yes, um, lovely. But mark making and putting texture into clay mm. all the time i use these we've also got these extruder ends as well which are brilliant and this just shows you oh my word the wealth of different um shapes and kind of profiles that you can get out of your extruder what's extruder? i've never adapter seen calls. so many adapters there are so Very many exciting okay so you've got here oh gosh Triangle. Oh, sorry. We'll do those in a minute. We're doing those in a minute. Oh, sorry. I've two baggy pounds. Sorry, I thought it was one bundle. Sorry, we'll do those in a minute. Uh, Nine ninety nine for your uh, carving tools. Not your price point today. I'm fascinated by these. I haven't. I haven't seen anything like these before. They're brilliant. Yeah, so they're good for um, kind of shaving clay. So yes. what you could do is if you have um, like a rainbow piece of clay mm -hmm. and then say you put something like a plain colour on top, you could um, shave the top layer off and reveal, reveal that rainbow. Reveal it. Oh, Sneaky yes. peek. Yes, nice one. <laughs> Jacqueline Renata. Oh, look at everyone coming through. Four ninety nine for you today. That's absolutely brilliant. Also, just going back to your kind of cake uh, baking and decorating... Do people who do sugar craft, are they going to use tools like this or not? Yeah, a bit of everything. Honestly, anything that you can use to kind of um, manipulate um, yes. fondant or yes, clay. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah, you just, they are so useful. I mean, I always say that my favourite tools in my kit are my sculpting tools. Yes. Because you can just use them in any way. Mm. Um, everything you make, you can pick up a tool and be like, okay, that will help me do this. Or you can put lines in it. So if you're creating flowers, you can put uh, veins in the flowers and texture. 
loads. Yes. Uh, the carving tools are great with carving candles too. Ah, fabulous. I don't do candle making, but yeah, anything Ooh. that you can carve basically. So anything yes. that's soft, mm. these would be great for. How wonderful. Well done. Four ninety nine. Well done to everyone. Also, I reckon I could shave bits off um, uh, a block of cheese and nobody would know that I'd had any. It's not a house. big enough slice of cheese. I know, but no, no, I mean, I mean <laughs> multiples, multiples. It's kind of how to kind of secretly eat cheese in my house without people accusing you of uh, being addicted to cheese, which I am. Uh, but there we go. <laughs> right, OK. Can we do these extruder ends? These are so... Are they individual packs? Oh, my gosh, there's so many. OK, let's do this one here, which is... Oh, go on, go on. You can hold that one if you like. The oh, look at this. Look at these. Oh, okay, so we've got what, semicircles. Well, you're going to test me on my shape names now. <laughs> <laughs> Moons. Geometric shapes. Geometric There's shapes, so yes. Much. I mean, you would have so much fun just pushing these through the extruder. You know, um, did you ever have like the Play Doh barbershop tool when you were younger? Yes. Where you pushed it through. This is basic, it's basically a grown up With version. The hair. Yeah, so the mop top hair shop. There you oh, go. there we go. There you go. Gosh, that came out of the chasms of my brain. Yeah. But yeah, so you push your clay through the tool um, and it will push out in the shape that you've chosen. Um, and you can do anything with that. You could cut it up and kind of put it on top. You could make canes with it. Mm. So much that you can do. Um, and there's all these shapes I've never seen. They're it's really beautiful. exciting. Pentagon shape, elongated diamond. Almost like the one on the bottom right, it almost looks like a corner. Yeah, like, it's really beautiful. I like that a lot. You have lots of fun. And, you know, you can make yeah. hoops with these. Hoops are very popular, clay hoops. So you could push it out the extruder, bend it into a shape. Yes. And make a nice little simple clay hoop. But That's a nice very idea. interesting shape that I don't think I've seen people yes. do before. Yes. Nice one. Well done. That's just literally a pound. One pound for you today. Well done. Lots and lots of people coming through to get these. Oh, my gosh, we've got some really lovely pieces here. Um, the next one we're going to do is uh, pack three. We here we go. Look. Now, this one here, I can imagine you using this one a lot. Oh, yeah, classic shapes. So that is the one that I used earlier, a very small round. So you can use it for... Mm. Um, creating stripes is another thing Ooh, you can use. That's I know you wouldn't nice think idea. it, but you can. You can use stripes with that one. Um, or, as I said earlier, hair, um, stems of flowers, mm. loads. Yes, but little borders as well. Yep. Um, they're really, really awesome. Uh, you've got a lovely uh, kind of clove, almost a clover shape one there, slightly smaller, slightly larger one there. These are probably going to be some of the most useful ones to use because you've got your plain round ones as well. Uh, again, one pound, fantastic. And then we've got one more kind of larger pack here. Oh, nice. Looks like we've got a pentagon. You've got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a, a, an octagon. You've got a lovely cross shape one there. Gosh, these are really interesting. Big square ones. Obviously, you're going to use less, less, sorry, obviously, you're going to use more clay if you go for something like this with a wider kind of aperture, aren't you? You can, but actually, that would be really good for cane making. Um, so you can ah. actually make canes with an extruder and mm -hmm. kind of make your cane and then push it through so everything is uniform and perfect. And then out of a cane, you can get a lot of jewellery out of a cane. Yes. Um, so actually, yeah, you're still getting you're still getting a lot for your... Yes, uh, most push. definitely. That's fantastic. Well done. Again, a pound again, which is fantastic. Well done. Lots and lots of people um, uh, adding these onto it. This is so nice to see. Well done. Isn't this a gorgeous welcome return uh, for your uh, polymer clay today? Extruder adapter cores. Ooh. That's new to me. New to me too. Ooh. I've got absolutely no idea. So these come in slightly different sizes, three and a half, four and four and a half mil. I'm just trying to think what you would... Mm. Have a look at them. I wonder. Ooh. Okay, so you've got the three different sizes here. Let's have a look. I'm just wondering if you use this, goodness me, <laughs> use this with your uh, extruder and then the adapter. Come on, here we go. Here we go. Pop your clay into the adapter. Sorry, into the, into the what's it called? The uh, extruder. Oh, sorry. We are watching a video of this. Sorry. Oh, I'm fascinated. It's, uh, yeah, unfortunately we can't show it, uh, but oh. Oh, that's interesting. You push the clay through. Anybody use these? Uh, please do let us know. This is a, this is a, an unusual one, isn't it? 
Uh, again, a pound again. So glad to see polymer clay back. The cores are for making tubes of clay. Oh! Uh, and also, easier to clean by the looks of it. Oh, yes. Fantastic. That's good. Yeah, you can pop that out of the extruder mm -hmm. um, and clean it up properly instead of kind of having to dig around in the, um, in the extruder itself. Oh, that's fantastic. That's clear. There we go. Well done, everybody. That's yours today for just one pound, which is brilliant. Well done. Go, 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 everyone. Fantastic. What a treat. These are just so, so, so wonderful. Um, any, um, any other little tips that you can think of? <gasps> so many. I mm. mean, always work on a cool surface if oh, you can. Oh, this is, we've all fallen in love with this slab, by the way. Oh, it's very, very low cost and budget friendly. This is just a nice tile from my mm. local DIY store. Yes. Um, but you can work on, um, yeah, anything that's kind of naturally cool. Um, mm. You want it to be non-stick, so, you know, um, glass if it's hardened because mm -hmm. you will be putting a lot of pressure on it yes of um, acrylic but yeah something like a ceramic tile um, obviously marble would be lovely but this is just a floor tile I've got some big ones on my desk at home in my studio kind oh. of like 60 centimeter floor tiles Fantastic. but yeah you want to kind of keep your hands cool um, and everything a little bit cool because yeah the clay will get a little bit um, warmer as mm. you work with it um, sometimes that's an advantage um, thank you for that. Uh, uh, the cores give a hole along the middle of the clay to form a hollow necklace, says Debbie. Gee whiz, that's exciting. That's exciting stuff. Awesome. Well done. Right. We've still, oh gosh, we've still got more. Gee whiz. Okay. Oh, the little baking tray. This is so lovely. It feels like ages yes. since we've had this. Now, this is fantastic, isn't it? This is a great, great thing to use. Yeah, I've used so this is great for bead making, mm -hmm. which is a whole new realm as well. So obviously we've been making um, flat slabs, but you can make beads as well if you want to add something a little bit more 3D to your work. I remember the tip being, make sure that before you put this in the oven that you take these out. Yes, yeah, <laughs> you don't want to pop those in the oven because, yeah, the plastic will melt. Absolutely, but you literally suspend your beads, uh, you hang your... Uh, beads up essentially don't you so they don't get that kind of flattened yeah i mean that's them. the worst thing you know you've spent ages probably hand rolling a bead maybe yes. putting detail you pop it on your baking tray you get out the oven and it's got a flat bottom yes um so these will be great so when you've made your bead and it's still um you know unbaked you mm. pop those little pins through your beads and you know you can fit several beads on each of those um pop Fantastic. it in and it's suspended and it will bake on that tray as it is are these ones here for pendants yeah you could hang stuff on there so you could hang um yeah bracelets or pendants ah, um nice. you can slice canes with that little angle at the end there oh, yes nice 45 so degree angle. it's not Lovely. just a tray you know you can you can use it quite versatile as well oh brilliant uh two pounds what two pounds 19 that was never that has never been 219 before <laughs> ever that is absolutely ridiculous. What we're going to do is we're going to put all of uh, all of the rest of the items. We've still got more. We've got cutters. We've got rollers. We've got all sorts. We're going to put them all on our uh, website. Please feel free to come through and get these. Please make sure that you do give um, Abby a follow on Instagram on Melrose Makes because, uh, yeah, uh, it, it is a lovely page full of inspiration by the look of it. And, um, yeah, full of uh, great, great designs. Oh, I want them all. <laughs> Oh, this is gorgeous. Thank you so much for joining us today, Abby. It's no, been thank you. you. So excited to kind of be here for your relaunch of Polymer Clay. Oh. I love Polymer Clay. Really, it is a wonderful medium. And I know we've had so many people getting involved today. Thank you so much for your lovely messages of support, everyone. It's been really lovely uh, kind of knowing that you're as excited as we are about this. Um, Abby, we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Coming up next, we've got the deal of the day, which, of course, is 60 metres of your multicolour elastic. And we're going to be joined by lovely Monica as well. We'll see you the other side of this. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. 
Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Wasn't that lovely? So good to see the return of uh, Paula McClay. Just a, a really, really welcome return. Let's hope we get some more of that later on. Uh, uh, later on in the month, later on in the year. It'll be brilliant. Today's deal of the day. This is a really, really, really special one. Uh, this is so much fun. And this is just, again, thinking about summer, thinking about summertime jewellery, thinking about the kind of pieces which you're going to want to wear, the pieces which we're going to want to make. This is absolutely right for now. Um, it's been ages since we've bought anything like this to air. Most recently, we bought new spools of elastic, and that's been absolutely wonderful. However, what we've got for you today is slightly finer, and you can use this with even more of your beads. We have got a total of 60 meters of elastic. 60 meters of your Elonga Beadalon elastic. This is absolutely super duper. Now, you'll notice first off that it's a really, really soft, very, very kind of almost fabric thread like elastic that you're going to be getting. The gauge on this is actually a 0.7, but it's very, very. Um, it's very, very um, uh, malleable. It's very, very flexible. It will kind of collapse very easily. It doesn't have the tubular profile that a lot of the elasticity has. A lot of the elasticity that we bought to wear has got that kind of uh, round um, 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 uh, profile to it. This kind of collapses on itself much, much easier. And the great thing about that is you can use it with gemstones and beads, which have got a 
thinner, a finer drill hole. So if your drill hole, so if the drill hole you've got in your pearls or whatever it might be, is a little bit thinner, a little bit smaller, and you need a finer elastic, an elastic which will kind of, uh, for want of a better word, kind of almost collapse in on itself, this is the one to go for. This is the elastic to go for. Now, because it's so fine and kind of almost thread-like, you will find that when you put it through your drill holes, it will, um, it, will be, it, it, it will act like a thread and it will be quite difficult to get through those holes. It will be quite difficult to feed it through because it's not rigid enough. That's where these come in. So we've got here, with this pack today, three of these elongated needles with what look like little almost crochet hooks on the end of them. What this will enable you to do is to put your elastic into the hook like that. You can tie it on if you want to. And literally feed that through your uh, gemstone, feed it through the drill hole and then pull it back through. And then you can feed your really, really fine elastic through your um, slightly smaller drill holes. It will kind of give it a bit more, a bit more integrity. The colours you're going to be getting here. Now, these are all five metre lengths that you're going to be getting here. So 60 metres in total. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Yes, um, 60 metres in total. And you're going to be getting this incredible range of colours. Now, I know a lot of um, uh, you might be thinking, right, I'm going to double up and I'm going to, use these I'm, I'm going to use these two greens together. I'm going to use the blues together. I'm going to use the different shades of reds together and pinks and purples together. That's a great thing to be able to. It's a great thing to be able to, um, uh, to do, to kind of double up on those colours. Because when you make your elasticated bracelets, you are going to see the elastic occasionally when you take the bracelet off, when you put it on. And actually, and actually... Why shouldn't it be on show? Why shouldn't it be? Um, uh, why shouldn't you make a thing of it? Why shouldn't you uh, kind, of, um, uh, kind of have it on show? Also, if you are using certain gemstones, now Ollie has just literally mentioned clear quartz. If you're using a clear gemstone, a colorless gemstone, if you're using a, um, if you're using a, colorless glass bead or a colorless gemstone bead or whatever it might be to be able to be able to use your colored elastics with uh with those colored beads uh, sorry with those colorless beads is really going to add something quite unusual to your jewelry now what we're going to do we're going to give you a clock okay this is going to be really 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 popular this is going to go completely and utterly nuts because although you, although we bought you multicolor elastic before, we haven't bought you elastic like this, which is very, very fine, almost thread-like. It's got that lovely silky finish to it as well. And it's so exciting that you will be able to use this with gemstones with slightly finer drill holes. So 40 seconds and then the graphic's gonna be live. We're joined this morning by the lovely Monica. Hello, my lovely. Ah, oh, so good to see, she's ready, there she is. We're so, well, we know this is going to be very popular. We're so excited about kind of the potential that this has. And also the fact you've got these like kind of mini crochet hooks as well. Isn't this a great little bundle? Oh, it's brilliant. It's, oh, I love those colours, especially the middle one. I know. Well, it's <laughs> gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Using those colours together. Yeah. Also doubling up on colours as well. What yes. a lovely potential being able to use it kind of um, and doubling up on those colours. I think there would just be a, it, it's a great potential. I wonder, I wonder if you'd be able to use these on a loom because, you know, we have the um, the endless loom with the loom bands on it. Ooh. But I wonder if you could use these on a, on a normal longer loom to um you know to make a longer piece that is a great idea oh here you oh my word graphics alive there's absolutely droves of you coming through oh my gosh angela's already bought three sharon and carol amanda claire make oh my gosh you've gone absolutely nuts over this already this is so good to see 60 meters in total 60 meters in total Total, absolute, oh, Maker of London's bought three, Vivian's bought two loads, Margaret's bought two loads, Lynn, it's gone absolutely nuts. Now, Neary, just remind me again, lovely, remind me of the quantity of these today. Oh, that is going to be no way near enough. Okay, quantity-wise, we've got just over 200 chances. Can I just say, over half the quantity has been allocated already. We have got so many in baskets. Now, we were saying using it with colourless stones, like your clear quartz, anything clear, because of course you're going to see the colour of the elastic through it and it will help to colour the gemstone. 
but also use it with kind of your jet black gemstones because you are going to see the elastic oh, occasionally, yeah. aren't you? And I like the idea of having that really bright colour, pop of colour when you take the bracelet off and put it on. And it's just making more of a thing of your elastic, isn't it? Why I not? Think, I think it would also look quite interesting if you made a stretchy bracelet with sort of larger beads, let's say eight millimetre rounds, but you made it a little bit, a little bit too tight so that when you put it on, the colour of the elastic actually th shows through in between the beads. I never thought I'd hear a guest designer saying that, but, that, but that's so interesting, yeah. isn't it? Kind of make a bracelet um, kind of over a, a little bit tighter than you want it to, yeah. so you get to see that elastic. It's such a wonderful material. You do want to have it on show, don't you? Now, can we just have a quick... Oh, my gosh, sorry. <laughs> Monica, 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 Monica! <laughs> I turn it. What have you made? I do like that necklace, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know how to describe that. It's like a... Is it Ryan Gosling who's married to Blake Lively or whatever her name is? Who's he married to? Reynolds. It is Ryan Reynolds, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'll just say Ryan Gosling. Sorry, I meant Ryan Reynolds. I, I do beg your pardon. Sorry. At the, at the, I think it was the Met Ball or something, she had this beautiful dress on. It was all gathered up in this beautiful kind of almost like a belt. She undid the belt and the back of the dress came down. It was exactly like that, like that necklace. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is, see that. <laughs> you need to look at it. Go onto YouTube and find it because she undid this, 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 um, uh, this belt. The back wow. of the dress came down and it was metallic. It was just like that. Coppers. That is exquisite, Monica. <gasps> I, love, I love how the colours came together for that, I think. It's fabulous colours, yeah. And those are your 12 o'clock kits. Yep. <laughs> they are exceptional. <laughs> now, if we break those kits down, it's a load of gorgeous hematite stars, hematite kind of coins with the star and the moon on. Aren't they beautiful? They are, I've never seen those before. They're amazing. Well, no, I think they're yeah. brand new. And, and to have... Just, I mean, you can make what Monica's made, obviously. We can all aspire to doing that. But in the meantime, if you want to make a load of stretchy bracelets, yeah. look at what you've got. 60 metres of, of your elastic here. Now, please text in. Let us know if you've used this type of elastic before, which isn't that kind of... So it doesn't have a tubular profile. It's very easy to squash this, and this will kind of collapse in on itself and kind of double over on itself really easily. So if you've got a slightly smaller drill hole, if you want something a little bit finer, or if you want to double up on your elastic and have different colours of elastic going through your pieces, then absolutely fantastic. Monica, I'm lost for words. How beautiful is that necklace? I know. Oh. Do you know what, Mandy? You're absolutely right. OK, we've got about a quarter of the stock. <laughs> Holy finish fishing line! That's stunning, says Fran. <laughs> Leaping lizards! <laughs> Hello, JM. I've used elastic by knotting. Um, oh, oh, gives a great a effect. Idea. That's from Jan and Hope. That's a good. That's you know, a great yeah. idea. You understand the kind of difference between this and the other elastic we've done, don't you? I do. I do. Yes. And the the knotting is a really good idea because if you wanted the look of an of a of a like a knotted like pearl knotting in a bracelet. Obviously, you can't do that with a normal, normal. well, you can if you put a clasp on, you can do a knot bracelet, but it wouldn't be stretchy, obviously, but you can have the same look and still have it stretchy. That's, that's a really good idea. You see, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. It is really, it is really, really, really strong. It's, um, it is super, super stretchy as well. I mean, it's unbelievably stretchy. You can see it there and it's really nice and strong. Obviously, I wouldn't stretch it too much. You know, it will have its limits, but that is, I mean, that is pretty amazing, isn't it? There's so many people there, these colors, Ollie's just said, Director Ollie's just said, this one here knotted with um, your jadeite or with oh, the yes. gorgeous, um, I mean, we've got the, the, we've got lavender jade coming up today. Oh my word. Yeah, so we've got the gorgeous, um, uh, we've got the um, Olmec blue as well, which is your Guatemalan material. Look at this, look at those colors. Oh my gosh, I love this Olmec blue jade, which we've got coming up. Oh my God. That is exquisite. Actually, do you know what I put this with? I put this with this gorgeous kind of almost a bronzy colour. That works with your necklace that you've made. It does, yes. And also what I'd like to try with those elastics is something like beaded uh, kumihimo. Ooh. Oh, that might be interesting. I wonder if the, I don't know if the beads would stay in place when it's stretched, though, so you'd have to give it a go, but it's, it's, 
that's a great, to play around with. Yeah. That's a great idea. Um, yeah, that's amazing. I, I like that idea. Yeah. Bidi Kumahimo with these. Imagine what that would do. Um, so, if you wanted to knot a stretchy bracelet, if you wanted to, you know, you absolutely can do. I, I put, because you're getting so much, because you're getting 60 meters, I probably wouldn't do it with one strand. I'd do it with multiples. And I tell you what I'd do, I'd, I'd double them up. I, I mean, I've got a, ah, which color am I gonna go? I'm gonna go for this just because it's easy. But look, if you did a little knot, if you started doing knots, Oh, with yes. multi colors. I mean, this oh. is just literally an over the hand knot. It's, I mean, it's, it's a little over the hand. It's just an over the hand. Take more time than I am, for goodness sake. And I'm not going to pull it tight because this is going to sell out. But look, if you just do a little over the hand knot, it's, it's gorgeous. It's like a candy cane. Gives you a really lovely silky finish, doesn't it? But you know, I mean, I'm going to undo that just purely because this is going to sell out today and I want, I want all of them to go. I don't want somebody not to be successful because I've tied a knot in one of them. But it is going absolutely nuts. You do realize that, okay? Now, how about a pound a meter, okay? How about a pound a meter? And don't forget, you get the uh, lovely elongated needles as well. And we'll come to those in a minute because they've got really, because that's exactly it. They've got different uses. It's not just useful for your elastic, but we're a pound a meter and the needles are free. Let's have a quick look at these hooks, shall we? I don't know about you. I've got uh, my, my uh, I've got uh, oh gosh, I've got I've got a six-year-old at the minute, who's got a pair of tracksuit bottoms, and I've lost the cord inside the tracksuit bottom belt, and I need to get it back. Feed it into the feed it into the waistband, hook it, you know, and and then you can pull it through. It's just going to be so useful. Yep. Um, <laughs> uh, they are honestly so 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 useful. Also, obviously, you know, when you're going to be using this with other cords, if you're using it to retrieve things through um, through long beads yeah. or long tubes as well, it's going to be so, so, so useful. We're going to do one price. And £60 is not it. We've got so many people multi-buying this. There's so many people coming through to get this. We do have over 200 chances available. This ain't going to 200 people. No, 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 no. Because I've got people buying three. Maker's bought three. Morag's got two. Norma's got two. Julie's got three. We've got so many multi-bidders. There are so many people there. I've got countless numbers of you in baskets. We'll show you baskets in a moment as well. But at the minute, we are going to be taking this down so, so, so low. If you are, if you are watching, absolutely fantastic. And I know that so many of you are going to be coming through to get this today. If you know for a fact that there are friends of yours who love Jewelry Maker who aren't watching, do me a favor, get this for them because I can't, because we have ne I've never been able to bring you a, a range of elastic like this, which has got so many different, and with the response that we've had, we will def most definitely try and get this back in stock, but my goodness me, don't expect it to come anytime soon. It is absolutely, it'd be nice for uh, Murano glass beads. Yes, what a lovely idea, Hazel. That's a great idea. Okay, we're gonna do one price. This is gonna go nuts. There's so many people that, Margaret's just bought four, well done. Okay, all the way down. Enjoy, 60 meters of your elastic, and you've got your three uh, crochet needles. 39.99 amazing incredible deal well done and there is a huge 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 need for things like this why should why should the elastic take a back seat why should the elastic in an elasticated design particularly with your clear gemstones why should it take a back seat why don't we have it first and foremost why don't we have it being as much a part of the design as the gemstones or the beads or whatever it is themselves Kim, Elizabeth, Margaret, well done to you, Claire. Also, if you just wanted to, if you just literally wanted to use, I mean, they're so silky, these are. If you just literally, oh, where's the end of this one? Come on, mate. If you just literally wanted to layer these up, I'm just, I'm just kind of, you know, as, as little stretches. You know, when I was a teenager, I absolutely loved wearing things like this. Look at these colors together. Aren't they gorgeous? Aren't they beautiful? They're so pleasing, aren't they? They're just gorgeous. If you wanted to plait with them, you absolutely can do. They may not have a similar, it's, it's even finer and silkier than your loom band uh, kind of material. I love Monica's idea about kind of a suggestion of using it maybe on your loom. I think that's a, I think that's a really, really great idea. Uh, loads and loads of people coming through. Lots of people saying yes today. Lots of people adding these onto their order. It's just fantastic, isn't it? Well done. And this one here, I think goes amazingly with the green as well. I love that. But just using it with your colourless gemstones, using it with your 
uh, gemstones with your finer drill holes as well absolutely fantastic and of course we've dealt with that kind of objective of you know well it's going to be difficult to get this through the drill hole because it's such a soft supple elastic use it with your uh, use it with your uh, mini crochet hooks they are absolutely brilliant you've also got your base colors here as well more of your metallic colors here it's definitely got a metallic shine to it hasn't it loads of people through cindy sandra anna do you want to see the baskets I mean, there's so many of these sitting in baskets at the minute um oh no Okay, anyone who's got this in baskets? Carol in Lancashire, Alison, you've got two in your basket. A in Cheshire, Ashley in England, Agnes in Sussex, and Marie in Essex. Gosh, everyone's name there, beginning with A. You've got two in your basket. Anna in Surrey, Anthony, Angela, Alison, what? How many A's? Oh, Barbara. Oh, okay. Oh, Barbara. Barbara ruined the, uh, the A game for us there. Never mind. But then we've got Carmel, A, B, C, B. C A A A A A A A B C B A. That is the weirdest <laughs> selection of names I've ever seen in my life. That has literally boggled my brain. Alison in Cheshire's got it in her back. Your name can. <laughs> 34.99 down we started with over 200 chances look at everyone coming through that is just brilliant sandra well done to you just checking out your basket there well done everyone so many people adding it onto their order this is great to see well done lots and lots and lots of people coming through we should not have done that price point 34.99 also with the summer holidays looming Oh, my word. You have got here the opportunity to kind of, you know, give these uh, to your kids, maybe for little work, uh, for little summer holiday projects, making yeah. pieces for their friends, for their teachers, maybe. Yeah. It's just great, isn't it? It is. And do you know what else those needles are great for? Um, I'm just thinking of seed beading. If yes. you do um, some kind of a seed beaded rope, like a Russian spiral or even the kiss cross, which is yeah. hollow in the middle, so you can thread something through the middle. Uh, quite often you make it up because you don't want to you don't want to bead around a thread that's already in the middle because it just gets in your way. So you make up the tube, but then you struggle to get your beading wire or something through the middle. Yeah. So you could use that needle to thread whatever thread you want to put through the middle. There. Goodness me. You see, that's it. That's exactly it. So use these needles with your seed beads as well. It's just fantastic. We're working out what this is per meter. As it stands, per meter... Fifty-eight, fifty-eight p per meter. Fifty-eight p a meter. I mean, that sounds good. That sounds brilliant. Fifty-eight p a meter. That, I mean, that's brilliant. Do you know what would sound? Do you know what would sound even better? Fifty p a meter. We should not be doing this. Oh, dear me. It's about to sell out. 29.99. That is absolutely ridiculous. 29 pounds, 99 pence. Amazing. Carol, Cindy, Sandra, Maker and Renfrewshire. There's so many people there. So many multi bidders. Joanna's got two. Judith's got five. Anne Marie's got two. Morag's got two. Charmaine's got two. Maker's got two. It's absolutely flying out the door. Well done, everybody. You've got your little mini crochet uh, hooks. You've got, I mean, when you start to consider how many bracelets you're going to get from one meter of this cord, and you've got five meters in each color. Um, I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. When you start to when you start to kind of work that out, that is absolutely incredible. I just love, I love the thought of mixing these colours together. You know, something which people have never really kind of looked at doing before, because of course, you know, elastic's just elastic. It's the inside of a bracelet. You're never going to see it. Well, make it so you can see it. Do it so you can see it. Well done, Jane. Alison's now got two. Barbara, well done to you as well. Patricia's now multi buying. So's Michelle. Oh, that's fantastic. Well done, everyone. Go, 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 go. 0800 644 We're down now to the final 30-odd chances. I've still got loads in baskets. Lots of people's names beginning with A. Uh, do check out as soon as you can. It's absolutely fantastic, this deal. Well done. Multi-buy so that you can give, give the gift of this. It's fantastic, isn't it? Well done, everybody. Loads of people there. 
column after column after column of names. That's just wonderful. Well done. And of course, it's just going to be so usable for so many people and jewellery making of all levels as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Well done. 0800 644 Go, 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 go. Well done, everyone. That is just that is just fantastic. I can't get over how silky it feels. It feels so lovely. Really does. It's just such a nice material. Well done, everybody. 60 metres in total with your elastic um, uh, core, uh, sorry, um, um, uh, needles there as well. 12 different colours. That's just so lovely. That's 12 different themes you've got there. But even more, if you want to mix them up and you want to kind of make multi-strand pieces, then you absolutely can do. What a great, great deal for you today. Well done. Down now to, we're less than 30 chances left. You look at everyone's names. That's great, isn't it? Well done. Okay, there's still loads and loads and loads still to come. Best of birthday coming up as well. Ah, with your lavender jade, with your Guatemalan um, uh, jade, lavender pearls, jade rings. It, it's absolutely amazing. And loads more. Oh, and these gorgeous lariat necklaces as well. Right, okay. Watch. Oh my gosh, are we going to do that now? Star by? Star by! Okay, so we have got the final few chances of this. This, this, oh, we launched this during our birthday celebrations. I have got the final few chances for you today. This is one of those strands that I don't think any of us ever thought we would ever be able to make. It is a meter length strand of pearls and jadeite this is so special these two gems go together really beautifully they go together naturally and it's because they both got um a, a an element in them called aragonite and aragonite is what gives jadeite its translucency its glow it's kind of moments of clarity and it's what gives pearls the outer layer of translucency for want of a better word that kind of it, that kind of little bit of glow that you get from your uh, pearls is attributed to your gorgeous aragonite layer now to have these two together is just superb this is an absolute no-brainer for anyone who is looking to make heirloom jewelry jewelry which is estate jewelry jewelry which is going to be passed down from generation to generation to be able to bring this to you in any kind of strand is amazing but to be able to bring this to you in a meter long strand is quite incredible i mean it really genuinely is so we've got a meter length here now you don't have to do anything to this other than i mean i, I will literally you know just pop it around your neck tie a little knot in it you're done imagine how many bracelets you could well don't imagine i'll show you you could literally <laughs> imagine all the purple so you've got here easily one, two, three, four, five, six, let's say five bracelets worth of, of pearls and jade here. It's absolutely gorgeous. I have this strand. It is beautiful, says Jade. It is gorgeous. I mean, this is such a luxurious collection of gems, isn't it, uh, Monica? Oh, it's, it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, yeah. and it's, it's quite bridal, but I think it's good for non-bridal as well. Ooh. At the same time. Do you know what's a really good point, actually? Yes, it's great for bridal pieces because those greens, they're not too poppy. They're yeah. nice and kind of uh demure aren't they they've got that really lovely refined quality it's not too bright um but non-bridal absolutely i mean just just any kind of jewelry where you want to use beautiful um uh legendary gemstones which have got real providence and real heritage this is this is one for you 100 percent so Where do we start with this price point wise? Now we do have, just to warn you, coming up, genuine, oh my gosh, look at the color of this. Lavender jade. Mm. Also, the Guatemalan 
Oh, my blue. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. So if you want to start adding in any of these other pieces, you absolutely can do. If you just want to make stretchy bracelets, if you want to mix it up with, I like Ollie's idea, using it with this gorgeous lavender. You know, the lavender elastic would be absolutely gorgeous, wouldn't it? The white, that lovely green, that lovely kind of almost like a, you know, that slightly darker green would look really, really lovely alongside that. The gray as well would look absolutely beautiful as well alongside this. So just make stretches absolutely fantastic. Make your necklaces, make, you know, just enjoy being indulgent and having the opportunity to use a meter of pearls and jade. Let's get that price point down even. Like, okay, we've got, already got bidders interested. Maker and Murphy Tipful, well done to you. You've got it in your basket. Uh, check out, my lovely. 99.99 on three split payments of 33.33. Already amazing, already incredible. There's more people there. This is great to see. Not your price. 30 second clock. After 30 seconds, we're taking that price point all the way down for you today. What are you going to make with your? It's so beautiful. The palette is so lovely. And you could, and you could if you wanted to, literally just create the simplest re-stranded pieces with this. Or you could go to town and create really outlandish, really big, really kind of statementy pieces, much like the gorgeous necklaces that Monica's made today. Marlas, yes, of course. $49.99. Oh my word. Split payments of £16.66. That is absolutely ridiculous. How is that a thing? Oh my gosh. $49.99 for you today. Oh, that is absolutely superb. Get involved when you can. 0800 644 What a deal. What a steal of a deal. That's absolutely incredible. I love the integrity of those gorgeous um, uh, uh, jadeites. I love the roundness of them. And I love the purity of those gorgeous pearls. They are so beautifully matched, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Uh, 49.98. We're literally down to the last few. I bought this to you, I think, once, maybe twice before. We're down to literally the last few, literally single figures. That's all we've got available here. Yvonne, well done to you, my lovely. In Shropshire, maker and Ayrshire now through. This is great to see. Well done. Check out your baskets. How on earth can you get this for under £50? I mean, it's just the most amazing, amazing deal, isn't it? It's just incredible. It's an entire stash worth of your jade and your pearls, isn't it? Well done. We've literally down to the last couple of chances. You're gonna to have to be ever so quick if you want this. Check out uh, Maker in Wales. Uh, we're literally down to the last couple of opportunities. Well done. This is just superb. Well done. More bidders through there in Greater London. That's fantastic. Well done. Keep coming through for that. Well done. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Diamond nuggets. Oh, my word. Black diamond nuggets. Best of birthday! Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, my word. These are incredible. Nine and a half carats of black diamond nuggets. Not your price. Let's go down. $29.99 for nine and a half carats of genuine black diamonds. Oh my gosh, that is tremendously low price point. What? That's not the price. What? Hang on. Uh, right, uh, okay. I, I, I literally just assumed wrongly. No, I've got no idea how low this is going. Okay, absolutely no idea. Black Diamond Rough Nuggets. They are gorgeous, aren't they? 28 chances available. Your price point coming in literally in the next couple of seconds. Carolyn Cumbria, you've got two in your basket. How low are you planning on going with this, lovely? Whoa! Oh, you're going to need to get this. Okay, go, 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 go. This is way too... Oh, my word. This is way, 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 way too low. Enjoy. Enjoy! Ready? Fourteen ninety nine. 
a joke. <laughs> that is a joke. That's a sick joke. $14.99 for nine and a half carats of black diamond nuggets. Anthony, well done to you. Jane, you've got too many basket. Carol, you've got too many basket. Oh my word, that is absolutely obscene. How is that a thing? Gillian, this is about to sell out. Quick, 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 everyone. Lisa, Tina. Oh my word, so much interest. There. I'm not surprised. That is unbelievable quality. Unbelievable, Jeff. Literally less than 20 chances left. Well done to Jean, you're there. Well done to you. They are flying. I cannot believe that. I can't believe that price. How can you get... I mean, we bought strands of like two carats of black diamonds to wear for that kind of price point, but nine and a half carats. Okay, these are described as pink. I'm saying a little bit more red. Like a brick red. Ah! Ah! Oh, 18 of these available. Oh, that color. 12 carats of your pinky red diamonds. Can I just say, I'm not seeing any treatment there whatsoever. Are these not even heated? Totally natural. This is pretty much the rarest color in any diamond found on planet Earth, and they are not heated. These are completely and utterly natural, and they're $19.99. They are going. Well done. I've got a load of people there. Anjum, Rita, well done to you, my lovely. Bitters in Greater London, we're Essex, well done. Check out. Ten opportunities remaining. Nine opportunities. Oh, my gosh, you're going to have to be so quick. Well done. We're under 20 pounds. That is unbelievable. For that, They are natural pink, red, whatever you want to call them, peach diamonds. I cannot believe that. That is the rarest colour of diamonds. Shirley in Hertfordshire, well done to you, my lovely. More people coming. Th this is great. Oh, amazing, 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 amazing. Well done. Under £20. They are about to sell out. Well done. L literally down. Stella. Oh, my word. OK, down to the literally the last three. Janice. Ah, star by. Time now. <gasps> Lavender pearl. So, what we've got for you here is very, very, very special indeed. We're bringing you some of our best birthday items, which is absolutely brilliant, but everything is limited. And when I mean limited, I mean, like, the last, the last strand we had, we had, like, what, literally a few chances available. You don't need me to tell you this. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is absolute perfection. I don't think it could be any rounder, Monica. What do you think? No, I don't think it can. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? It's a half drilled metallic lavender pearl. Exceptional quality. Guess what? Comes to you with a bale. Okay. A bale. Oh, wow. Oh. My gosh, that is seriously good. I've got a recording of this. It looks amazing. It's a sterling silver bale with white topaz. So this, this pin is a little bit too um, long, but you can tell it goes in absolutely beautifully, okay? The colour, the quality, that white topaz you are getting as part of this belt is absolutely incredible. I love the fact it's set with white topaz. I love the size of these white topaz. They are absolutely huge. 
It's all sterling silver, as you can see. Look at the size of the bale as well. I mean, you can see it on the recording there, but you can see it here. It is, you literally could put, you could, you could drive a bus through that bale. It is such a generous bale. I love it. Look how polished that sterling silver is on the inside of the bale. How many hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds is this going to be? That pearl, by the way, is not dyed. It's not bleached. Naturally coloured. The start price on this is ridiculous. Look at this start price. £100. I think instantly, you know, you're looking at this. I mean, I've got some two-part epoxy glue at home. I'd be confident to set that into the pearl, leave it for 24 hours, come back. It will have set really beautifully, really solidly. You can then sell that on. I would feel confident to sell that on at, um, I don't know, 150, 160, 170 pounds. And that is pure profit, isn't it? I have this is beautiful, says Julie. You've literally made 50, 60 pounds profit by literally making jewellery that takes you five minutes to make. That's the, that's the beauty with items like this and with ingredients like this when they're such high quality. So quite often the jewellery is very simple. It's very, it's very simple, it's very uncluttered, it's very quick to make. Don't for one second think that because we're bringing this to you today for 99.99, that that's what it's worth. Because what this is worth, what this will sell for and what this will be valued at are very, very different things. If you took that into a jeweler and they valued it below a hundred pounds, I would say there is something seriously wrong. Seriously wrong. The size of the pearl, these are tw it's 12 and a half to 13 and a half millimeters in size. Your magic numbers with pearls are seven mil and 10 mil. Anything over seven or 10 mil, well, anything over seven mil is very rare. Anything over 10 mil is like exceptionally rare. These are 12 to 13 and a half mil. All set with sterling silver. Gem set with your uh, uh, beautiful white topaz. If that isn't a two, three hundred pound pendant, I don't know what is. We're at 99.99. Amazing, incredible, beautiful. We're not done. Here's your deal today. This is really, really low and it's staying on split pay. Should not be on split pay, 34 pounds, 99 pence. Oh my gosh, that's a sick joke. What on earth is that about? Wow. I bought a pearl for my mum years ago, half drilled pearl, and I bought 34.99. And here I was looking at this comparison going, oh, I don't know whether we should show this comparison. 107 pounds, it's a purple, gorgeous pearl. It doesn't have the white topaz there, it doesn't have anywhere near the kind of bale that this has got. And it's 100 quid, which I think is a brilliant price. This is 34.99. Anna, Margaret, Charmaine, Janet, Karen, Alison, Leslie, Karen, Thomas, Alison, Kelly. And do you know what? The pearl that I bought for my mum and the bale that I bought, I had to buy separately. I spent more as a member of Jewelry Maker staff. So I'm, so I'm entitled to a bit of a discount. Not much, but I'm entitled to a bit of a discount. I personally spent more on the pearl and bale um, uh, than, 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 than we've got here today. This is unbelievable. Nobody in their right mind, if you give that to somebody, nobody in their right mind is going to think that you spent £35 on them if you <laughs> no. give them that. They're going to think, you know, £340. You know, £349. Not £34.99. Move that decimal point. Move it. That's incredible. Maker, you've got two. Karen, uh, Leslie, Karen, Thomas, you've got two in your basket. Check out as soon as you can. These are flying. Deborah's bought three. Not being funny, these are Christmas presents. You know, Christmas presents for your nearest and dearest. If you're going to be spending kind of, yeah, look at the size of this. I'm just literally going to pop that into my, look at the size of that pearl. It's gigantic. It's huge. If you love this star necklace, by the way, it's coming up uh, hopefully in the next hour, this hour or the next hour, one of the two. It, it's absolutely, fun. I, I, and it comes to you, look, like this. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. With, yeah. 
absolutely amazing. Now, we, mm, okay. From the sublime to the ridiculous. Now, I saw Claire McDonald flouncing around wearing a jadeite ring. And I have to say, I had a touch of the green-eyed monster. I was like, where did you get that from? Oh, didn't, oh, didn't you see it was on the, no, it was on the show. It was on the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I bought one. Yeah, I bought, I bought two actually. Oh, did you, Claire? Oh, did you really, Claire? <laughs> I bet she nicked it. So, we kicked up a bit of a stink and we've been given a really small amount. And I do mean a small amount. This is not, I don't have hundreds of these. This is best of birthday. These are limited in stock. Oh my gosh. A tiny amount of jade rings. These are very, 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 very limited. Give me the different sizes, Neri, because I've got three rings here. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, that's that. Which one are we going to do first? Okay, yep. Yeah. So we've got here, we've got some different sizes which we're going to be bringing to air. This is one of the smaller sizes. Yep. That is lavender jade in a ring. The most iconic shape, the most iconic shape in Eastern culture is the round hoop, the bi symbol, the hey you symbol, the cyclical nature of life and death. Do you know what? My, my six-year-old came out with something very interesting yesterday. We were talking about, we were talking about Buddhas and we were talking about, I don't know why we were talking about Buddhas. And uh, Pippa just looked up from her roast dinner and said, oh yes, they believe that when you die, you come back as something else, don't they? I was like, whoa, what is this? So she was talking about reincarnation and we were talking about kind of reincarnation and the kind of the, the, the fact that in, in Buddhism, it's believed that your soul never dies. You just, in, you, you just, you, your soul inhabits different things. You may come back as a, I don't know, a pair of tweezers. You may come back as a dog. You may come back as a person. You may come back as a king. Depending on how you live your life, it's all to do with that connection between heaven and earth and that kind of never ending cycle. This is the shape. This is the shape. Now, this is quite incredible in the fact that it is your natural type A lavender jade. You can tell that color, you can see it. We've got the Guatemala material coming up later, which is that darker, 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 kind of almost teal quality. But this is beautiful. Can I just say here as well, as a ring, it's absolutely perfect. It's 16 to 17 mil in size. We do have slightly larger ones coming up as well, which is brilliant, but this is roughly a size N to O, maybe a slight N to O, P to, maybe more of a P to Q actually, slightly larger than an N to O. We have never really bought you anything like this before. Jade rings are up there as some of the most popular pieces, particularly amongst some of us who, who find it difficult to get the jade bangles to fit. Jade bangles are they can be quite tiny. They can be quite difficult to get on your wrist. Obviously, you don't want to break it and create a hinge because that kind of is deemed as bad luck if you break if you break that kind of circle. So if you want to create a ring out of this, perfect. If you want to wear it as a ring, amazing. If you want to use it as a pendant, brilliant. You know, if you want to literally just pop it on a chain and wear it as a pendant, that's absolutely fantastic. If you want to have it in the middle of a bracelet maybe and have kind of cord going through from either, either end, then you kind of either side in a, in a, in a lock said, not that you absolutely can do is a beautiful bracelet or is a beautiful pendant entirely up to you. Also, you know, a ring, a thumb ring, maybe that it's just, it's just a really, really lovely item to have. Have a look at this 299.99 individual split payments of 74.99 and net's got two in a basket. Keith, Cheryl, Allison. Um, this is not your price today. This is genuine 
Lavender jade. Look, we've got different sizes coming up. If you want to layer them up, you absolutely can do. I must show you the Guatemalan one as well, which is absolutely phenomenal. It really is. It really is incredible. We'll do it next, actually. But just look at them. Look at them layered up. Look at that. Isn't that just stunning? Isn't that just gorgeous? Yeah, but that, that's coming up next. We've had loads of requests for that one. So if you do want to layer these up, please, please do. It's just gorgeous. Do you fancy a jade eye ring, uh, Monica? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> it's just so wonderful, isn't it? Actually, you know the, the one meter long strand of pearls and jade yes. I had earlier? I would make a sort of a lariat style necklace and use this as the ring at the end of the... Oh, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> now that would be very indulgent. How extraordinary would that be? Only a few chances available. Don't forget these have been played before. So we're literally down to the last couple of opportunities. 99.99. Oh my gosh. It is absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, you're absolutely right, Neri. It's definitely one of the most unique items we've ever had. 99.99. Individual split payments of 24.99. It's absolutely amazing. Denise, Annette, Keith, Cheryl, Alison, well done. It's absolutely superb. Check out. And if we weren't, if we weren't who we were, if we didn't have the buying power that we've got, there's absolutely no way we would be able to bring anything like this to air. Well done, these are gonna sell out today. We've got tiny little quantities of these available. Uh, literally the last, literally, we're into single figures, literally the last eight chances left. Leslie, Suzanne, Mary, Denise, Annette's got two in her basket, Keith, Cheryl, Alison, well done. Down to the last eight opportunities. There's more in baskets than we've got chances available. Do add it onto your order. Well done at 99.99. Suzanne, you've got it in your basket. Well done, everyone. This is just superb, isn't it? Just gorgeous. So we've got slightly larger ones coming up as well. This is probably the smallest one that we do, uh, that we've got today. Well done to you, my lovelies. Gorgeous. More people checking out. Cumbria, Surrey, Leicestershire, Lancashire, County Durham, South Yorkshire, Kent. Well done. Uh, six opportunities remaining. Well done. That's just gorgeous, isn't it? What an opportunity to own something so pretty. Let's do the Guatemalan uh, ring as well. This is absolutely in incredible now we will talk about this particular source more in the next hour when we've got the loose beads but for the minute here's your guatemalan uh jade this is this is something else this is an uh, you know i've got more i've got slides to show you that, that go with the guatemalan jade uh, in the next hour but this incredible guatemalan jade known as olmec blue um, predates any jade, really. It predates even, even what the Aztecs knew and, uh, um, about this incredible gem. The Olmec um, civilization predates the Aztecs, the Mayans. And what you have here is museum worthy. This is your genuine, natural Guatemalan jade. The color is what really gives it its, special, its specialty. This gives you a bluey green like no other variety of jadeite. It is incredibly rare. It's one of the only places in the world that you can get this color from. And the mines for centuries were completely lost in the mist of time. Nobody, nobody could find the mines. That, nobody could find exactly where this was from. It really was rediscovered uh, just a few years ago. And now we are in the really special, fortunate position that we can bring you this genuine Guatemalan jade. I've got more slides and information to give you in the next hour about this incredible location. They would make amazing wedding bands. Oh, yes, Debbie, how gorgeous. $299.99. It's just gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. It's so slim as well, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. And I just love the idea of layering these up, maybe creating the most incredible pieces with these. Yours today, well done. There's more people coming through to get these, which is great to see, well done. Yeah, as wedding bands, I think they would work absolutely beautifully, but just superb. Not your price today. We've got only literally a couple of chances available. You're interested, just literally pop it in your basket. The more we can see in baskets, the lower the price point's going to be, okay? So the more people we can see with this in their baskets, the lower the price is going to be. I can see that you're interested already. I can see we've already got people coming through and checking out. Uh, Manchester, well done to you as well. Cornwall, well done to you as well. Fantastic. County Durham, well done. But we've only got a couple of opportunities remaining. At £299, it's not your price point today. Get involved. Enjoy. It's just superb, isn't it? 
Yours today. Yep. 99.99. This is rarity like almost nothing else we have bought you. Best of birthday, which is why we've literally only got the last couple of chances available in the building. That is it. Once it's gone, it is gone. Okay. Well done. We've got more of your gorgeous uh, Guatemala material coming up after the uh, after the break. We've also got some incredible spacer beads as well. Please don't forget as well that 12 o'clock we got the most incredible kits, the most beautiful kits with Monica as well, where she's made some absolutely stunning pieces using her hematite um, hematite kits, which is absolutely gorgeous. But well done to everybody. 99.99. Well done. Check out your baskets. Literally the last couple of chances now. We've got time for one more is that right okay one more very very quick let's do the medium-sized uh, lavender jade ring yeah we'll do the okay yeah let's do the largest one let's do the largest one so this is the largest of the um jadeite rings that we've got today coming to you with your lavender it's 18 to 19 millimeters i'm just trying to catherine and amy have already come through that's great to see well done I reckon size-wise, that is going to be about an R to S or maybe a T to U. Jackie A, Karen, well done to you, my lovelies. How many of these have we got, lovey? Okay, so we've got a slightly larger quantity of these. Um, but, oh gosh, there's loads of people there. Very, very popular size. So if you're choosing to wear it as a, as a ring, maybe on your ring finger or even as a thumb ring, I reckon it's going to be about a size R to S, T to U. Uh, it's really got that lovely size. Can I just say as well, I love the, I love the profile of this as well. It's got a lovely kind of flat inner as well. $299.99, not your price point. Here we go. Jackie, oh, there we go. Lane's interested. That's great. Well done. And that lavender, it is definitely a lavender kind of lavender blue, isn't it, Monica? It is. It is. It's definitely yeah. got that kind of, that, that kind of, that theme going through it, hasn't it? It's interesting. And it's also quite vivid. Uh, even though it's a light, uh, kind of uh, delicate colour, it's, it, it's quite saturated, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it? I, I can see the colour of it from here. Yes! It's quite far apart here, aren't we? It, it's brilliant, isn't it? Here we go, everyone, all the way down. Yours today. Enjoy! These deals are so good today. 79! Whoa! What are you doing? What are you doing? This is bigger. Leslie, Thomas, oh my gosh. Father's Day. <gasps> Father's Day. Oh my word. Yes, for Father's Day. Absolutely brilliant. That is absolutely, what a great idea. Oh, that is just amazing. Well done. And it might be something that they wear every day. It might be something they just wear on special occasions. You know, if you go out for dinner or if you go on, I don't know, date night or something. Veronica, well done to you as well. This is brilliant. I love that. Norma, well done to you as well. Alison, Janice, well done. That's just gorgeous, isn't it? Well done, everyone. Lots of people checking out. Well done, everybody. That is so special. Such a special color. Such a special uh, piece. Love it, love it, love it. Well done. Bitter in Kent now through. Well done. West Lothian. Doreen. Well done to you, my lovely, in Norfolk. Well done. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. £79.99. Check out your baskets as soon as you can. Available on split payments of £19.99. pence. I mean, that is absolutely ridiculous, isn't it? That is your, that, that, that's your split payment of dreams, isn't it? 20 quid for a gorgeous jadeite, lavender jadeite ring. I mean, that's absolutely amazing. Well done. More people checking their baskets out today. That's great. Hampshire. Karen, well done to you, my lovely. Okay, we're going to leave it open over the break. Do not go. It's still genuine chances left. Marsha in Swansea. Check out my lovely. Um, fantastic. Do not go anywhere. After the break, we've got more Guatemalan Jay. We've got loads and loads and loads of best of birthday pieces, including the gorgeous Lariette star necklaces. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a couple of seconds. Jewelrymaker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelrymaker.
Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. So we're back with oh, we're back with Monica. Now we've got one more jade ring to bring you, and then we're going to do the lariats because we've had a couple of people messaging in about them and saying that they that, that they'd love to see them. We're going to put them all on pre-order. We'll put all of the um, uh, the the loose um, Guatemalan jade on uh, pre-order as well. So we'll do all of that now, so you can come through and get them as soon as you can. Okay, so brilliant, well done, and you can get nice and a, a nice close-up of the. Can I try it on? The final, yes, of course you can, my lovely. So this is the medium sized. Ah, oh, wow. um, oh. there we go. Um, she's just, she just. There's no shame there, is there? <laughs> Absolutely. Do like, you've got your jubilee nails still? I love I them. <laughs> They're so cute. Did you do them yourself? I did. Yes. Yeah, You're so clever. She did them herself. Sorry, we're talking about her nails. <laughs> so I know my nails, nails are myself. I know. <laughs> what? Why not? Okay, so. Uh, type A medium lavender jade uh, ring. That is just, ah, oh, that is just gorgeous, isn't it? It is beautiful. It's, it's just, it's, it's, it's perfection, isn't it? Oh, do you know what it also would be nice for? Sorry, I'm just being inspired here. Please, yes. <laughs> You know, we had the, the carved jade pendants, so we had like the, the tiger head and the, yes. and, the, and the larger carved jade pendants. If you did sort of like a, a multi-component pendant, so have this at the top of your pendant. Right. And have one of the larger pendants hanging underneath. I oh think that would look really nice. Oh my gosh, that would be absolutely incredible. Yeah. So using almost a, almost like a connector, I suppose? Exactly, yeah, yeah. That would be incredible. I do like your idea about using it as the loop on a lariat, though. I think yes. that's just phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, how... Inc how indulgent is that so okay yeah wear it with the scarf exactly i mean they're big enough to do that aren't they this is the medium size one i mean do it with the larger one if you want to okay here we go type a medium size lavender jade so this is uh, 17 to 18 mil in size so i reckon size wise that's going to be a ptq I, I reckon this is going to be more of an outer s um gorgeous gorgeous quality here we go everyone 
Let's get these prices all the way down. Get it on, 199.99, not your price point today. Come on, Neary. Come on, break that barrier. Break that barrier, break that barrier. Can we do that? Can we do that? How many of these do we have? How many do we have? Ah! Can I, can I just say something? This is going very, 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 very low. Neri wants to break a barrier. Well, we've already broken the hundred pound barrier. What would the next barrier be to break? Ah! Oh no, it's on split pays. Oh no, Neri, what have you done? Oh, what is that split? But that split pay is 49.99, isn't it? How about getting a type A medium-sized lavender jadeite ring home today? Your first split payment, $12.99. Sorry, $12.40. It's $49.99. Your split payments are £12.49. Oh, my word. Amy, Debbie. Well done to Gabrielle. Well done to Jane. Well done to Anna. Well done to Leslie. It's absolutely flying. Heather. Well done to you. That is unbelievable. I cannot believe that. That is just, I think it's perfect for a pendant. It is, yes. Oh, you could you could use it as a as part of a toggle clasp and have your toggle clasp as a feature of your necklace. Oh, nice idea. Or even you could use it because you were saying as a connector, you could even put it in place of the guru bead on a marlin necklace and then have the tassel hanging from it. What a then, lovely yeah. idea. What a lovely idea. Because, of course, you've got that lovely kind of um, uh, symbology of the round shape there. To have that as your guru bead, that would just be wonderful, wouldn't it? Heather, Jane, Gabrielle, Maker, Marsha, Maker in Surrey, Cumbria, well unto you, my lovelies. That is absolutely tremendous. I can't believe that. Single figures remaining. Oh, my word. Go, 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 go. Well done, everyone. That is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. Absolutely superb, isn't it? What an incredible, what an incredible opportunity. Jane, well done to you as well. These are flying out the door. Well done, everyone. I cannot believe that at just $49.99. Well done, everyone. Go, 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 go. Superb. Well done, everyone. Right. OK, now. Couldn't resist at that price. Thanks, JM, says Jane. I know, right? OK, here we go. So this is going to be a star buy. This is your chance to get what I think is one of the most beautiful lariat necklaces we have ever done on Jewelry Maker. I don't know about you, Monica, but I absolutely love a lariat star necklace. Yeah, so do I, yeah. I love the I love the asymmetry of it. Yeah. I think a lariat necklace can look really dead, kind of expensive and high end. I like as well the versatility of wearing a necklace like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Wearing it like that. Or, <laughs> oh, sorry, the guys are just looking at those gorgeous Kabixiconia is in there and losing their minds or sliding it right the way up like that and kind of having it down the back of a neckline. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh, I love it. Depending on what neckline you're wearing, you know, you've got different looks. This, by the way. <laughs> Look, it's got... An extender chain on there as well, which is absolutely gorgeous. So, of course, you can wear it at slightly different lengths should you want to do that. I just love, just love it. Ah, oh, it is so designer inspired as well. Stars and this kind of celestial it is, yes. theme is everywhere right now, isn't it? It's definitely very contemporary. And also because it gives sort of a V shape around your neck, it, it elongates your face, makes you look for those of us who need it. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. can only ever be a good thing. 
I love that beautiful Cabixiconia set heart uh, uh, um, star. Isn't it beautiful? It's literally encrusted with it. Oh, Just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And then you've got the gorgeous hoop here for your lariat, which is which is this gorgeous kind of oversized star. It's just, it's so, so pretty. 48 centimetres in length. What is that in inches, please, love? 48 centimetres. 19. Mm, yeah. For how many? 48 centimetres. How many inches? 18 inches. There we go. Gee whiz. <laughs> you know what? It's like talking to a brick wall sometimes. <laughs> but like I say, you've got your extender chain on there as well, so you can wear it a little bit longer should you want to. The versatility of these is just, it's just wonderful. And it is so designer inspired. Guess what the price is? $29.99. Andrew, you've just bought four. Amy, well done to you as well. More people coming through. No, it's not. Have a look at this. £19.99. That is absolutely superb. This does not look like a £20 necklace. And I have to say, it's yellow gold plated, 925 sterling silver as well. Look, on, and, and Ollie's just said, you know, great idea. Anybody who's just doing their exams, their GCSEs, their A-levels, their mocks, whatever it might be, or anyone who's passing their driving tests or anything like that, this is such a lovely little gift. You know, you're a star, um, you know, whatever whatever it might be. It, it's absolutely beautiful. I don't know whether they oh, it might fit in there. I don't know. Should we have a look? I'm going to have a look with this one here. Um, might do it, might not. Oh, no. I can't even. Look, there, uh, there you are. Almost fits inside it. We've got the silver one coming up, just so you're aware. 1999 Shirley, well done to you, my lovely. Absolutely fantastic. Now, that's a great deal. That's a superb deal, isn't it? It's a jewellery maker price. Or is it? Ah, we're going to take this down one final time. Now, quantity-wise, not very many of these at all. Not very many in stock at all, OK? Get involved as soon as you can, OK? For me, this is going to be one of those things you keep in your present cupboard. You know, if you've got a little cupboard or a bag or a drawer that you keep prezzies in for people. So in a moment's notice, if you get kind of an, uh, an unexpected visitor and they say, oh, it's blah, blah's birthday uh, next week. Oh, you're going to go and see? Oh, yes, I am. Okay, well, perfect. Wrap it up and give it to them and say, oh, could you give it to them on my behalf? Also, this will fit, you know, if you wrap it in a lovely piece of tissue paper, it will fit inside an envelope as well. It's £12.99. Oh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my uh, gosh. Shirley's got two of them. Well done to you, Paulie. Also, um, Monica, I think it's ageless as well. Oh, definitely. And this is going to be appealing to absolutely anyone, whether you're yeah. uh, my mum's age or our age or whether you're, you know, a little bit younger. It, it's yeah. going to appeal to so many different um, age ranges. Isn't and it? I really uh, like the it? idea that you said uh, of it hanging down the back because you could take off the extender chain and the clasp and put in sort of uh, like four inches of, uh, of pearls in its place and then nice have, idea. The, have the, the sort of the stars hanging down the back if it's yes. a, for a wedding or something. Yes, absolutely. See, that's a lovely idea. Yeah, if you're wearing a backless dress or one of those lovely low back um, uh, uh, lines, absolutely gorgeous. Well done to Corrine, well done to Makeup. London's got two in their basket. Check out Lynn, check out my lovely. Okay, moving on purely because of time. We've got the silver version. This one's going to be really, 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 really popular. Here we go. Come on, one minute clock, here we go. No messing around, one minute clock. Woo, yeah! Now, we've got you, we're looking after you. If you are, if you are looking for that perfect gift, if you are trying to find that perfect gift, if you're trying to find the gift for that person who's got absolutely everything, if you know that they love kind of, uh, you know, designer fashionable jewelry, but you, d you can't find that exact piece or your budget doesn't suit those kind of designer prices. This is the one for you. Elaine, Amy, Leslie, Pauline, Susan. Oh, there's loads of people there. Well done. We are going to be taking the price point down, down, deeper and down. And I have to say, I know for a fact, my lovely sister who bought me a gorgeous necklace and earrings for my, for my uh, birthday, I know for a fact, and that was, and that was uh, uh, gold-plated base metal, I know for a fact that she spent considerably more on those pieces of jewellery uh, even on the earrings that she got for me, then you are going to be paying for this entire necklace today. It's 925 sterling silver, precious metal, 9 
I wouldn't even expect to pay 9 99 for a silver plated brass necklace. Yeah. This is incredible. Do you know what? Your your and, and and do you know what? Get this now. Get this ahead of time. I don't know about you, but I'm having to plan further ahead now for things like Christmas because I don't know about you, but cost of living has gone up massively. So things like birthday presents, Christmas presents, you I mean you can get a sterling silver finished necklace for a tenner. And having these on your craft stall as oh, well, Monica, yes, can definitely. you imagine that? How beautiful. Do you know, do you know what it I would do? sell like hotcakes. Do you know what I would do? <laughs> Go on, sweetheart, <laughs> yes. At this price, I would get two of them. Steal it, wear it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get two, wear one as the necklace, and then the other one, cut off sort of, um, let's say, four inches uh, from the star, up from the star on both ends. Right. And then make a pair of mismatched earrings. Oh, earrings I love with. that idea. And you still have enough chain left over if you put something else in the middle of it to make it a bit longer. You still have enough chain left over to make another necklace. That is a gorgeous idea. Oh my word. And at those kind and this kind of price point, you wouldn't feel guilty about doing that, oh, yeah, would you? Of course, yeah. Because it's only cost you a tenner. Pauline's got three, Susan's got two, Olivia Maker and Wiltshire's got four, Maker, and Jennifer's got two, Robert's got three, Pauline's got four. It's absolutely brilliant. Well done, everybody. At nine pounds. And 99 pence, well done. This is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Carolyn, Catherine, Jill, Edna, Lynn, Jane, Teresa, Maker, Victoria, Diane, Pauline, Carmel. It's absolutely flying. That's great to see. Well done, everybody. I just love the fact it's a finished necklace for 9 99 That's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Julie, well done to you. Carolyn, well done to you. Jill, Edna, Helen. It's just fantastic. Well done to you. Go, 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 go. Well done. People buying twos, threes, fours of these. Kay's just bought three. Well done. But I would be confident, you know, I'd buy that for my sister. She'd love it. Buy it for my mum. She'd yeah. love it. Buy it for my uh, cousin. She would absolutely love it. And, and that's the thing, you know, buy it for your best friend. They will love it. it it's just, it, it's beautifully contemporary, yeah. modern, sellable, commercial. Yeah. Teenagers as well. I mean, it's hard to buy teenagers anything. So, so hard to buy for teenagers. But I mean, you know, that's... But this is absolutely perfect. Yeah. It really genuinely is. Maker in London's got three. Well done. This is... And do you know what? I am sitting here thinking in my head, ah, do you know what? I could get that for Jessie for her birthday. That's in October. She's my best friend. But I could also buy it for her daughter, yeah. who's going to be 13 in July. And I'm thinking they, they both absolutely love this. Oh, wouldn't it be nice to have a sort of... Like the mum have a gold one and yes. the daughter a silver one or something That's like a that. lovely yeah. idea. Or all your bridesmaids wearing them. I mean, this could be your gift to your bridesmaids. Oh, yes. For a tenner. And they're not going to think that you spend, I mean, not that it matters how much you spend, you know, you know, with your bridesmaids. But obviously, you know, you've got a budget, especially if you've got more than one bridesmaid. $9.99 is, is, is absolutely fantastic. Pauline's bought six. I just love the idea of having this on your stand, having it on your stall, having 10 of them wrapped up in tissue paper just under the desk and just literally popping them on there and selling them for £20 doubling your money every time you sell one that is a brilliant a 25 pounds even you know it's just incredible elaine's got two well done to you it's absolutely fantastic loads in baskets christine susan lynn jill helen jane victoria patricia diane pauline corinne and a load more of you with this in your baskets check out we don't have very many of these left now at all well done go 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 that's just superb i love it well done okay okay we've now got a star by on a variety of jade, which is ancient. It's your chance to get genuine, natural Guatemalan jade. Do you know something? I was so excited this morning at the prospect of bringing you this incredible, um, incredible um, variety of jade. And I started reading about it. And honestly, I could have sat there for another, another week and literally researched this gem. There is so much information um, out there about this incredible stone. Got lots of different slides to show you. Uh, this is the first one. Guatemalan jade is a rare gem uh, material that comes from many uh, that comes in many different colours. The jade was prevalent in the ancient 
Mesoamerican culture. However, its sources were lost for five centuries and it was only rediscovered 50 years ago. Wow. I mean, yeah, that, that, that's the first thing that I thought, actually. Yeah, kind of proper Indiana Jones, kind of lost cities, lost, lost kind of mines, the mines that were lost for centuries, five centuries. Um, this gemstone was very, very important um, to ancient civilizations which predate the Aztecs. The Olmecs were... Uh, an ancient civilization that predate the Aztecs, the Mayans, and they loved this particular variety of stone, the particular variety of jade so much they used it to make ritual um, uh, knives and blades. It is a gemstone which normally, where are you going to see it? You're going to see it in museums. Um, I've got another slide to show you. Mines of the legendary Olmec blue jade were elusive. Only in 1998 to 2000 in Guatemala were found um, locations of this unique stone. The richest finds are in the upper reaches of Rio Altambo. You, you've got here a place which is so remote and a location which is so... I mean, this is ancient, ancient, ancient history, predating even the history of the Aztecs, of even the Mayans. Got this gorgeous blade. This is actually on display in uh, the Los Angeles um, uh, County Museum of Art. And this gorgeous blade here, and, and, and uh, there are many, many, many accounts of the ancient, um, of, of the ancient Olmecs carving um, blades, knives, daggers, and used for ceremonial purposes out of this incredible jade. The reason why I've got this image is to show you how similar the colour is. And, and I've also got another um, um, image of a deity which has been carved out of this incredible stone, which I'll show you as well. Because the, the similarities of this material uh, to the original material, it, 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 is, it, is, it is quite striking. My next slide I'm going to show you is, um, is from, ah, yeah, this one is from the Met. This is, this is a, you know, a, the Met Museum uh, website. It's a really interesting article. I mean, I could have literally screenshotted the entire article. It's so fascinating. The most valued material for Mesoamerican blades, uh, however, was jadeite mined from sources in the uh, uh, Mata mm, Matagua River Valley in Guatemala. Jadeite was a principal medium of sculpture for the Olmec and Maya rulers who commissioned ceremonial blades and blade-shaped pendants as well. Um, it, is, it is a gem of... And this, is, and this is what I find so interesting, is the fact that it is, it is held in the highest regard by the ancient Americas in the same way that it is held in such high regard in the Far East as well. It's like everybody has been affected by this gemstone. Anyone, any ancient civilization, any civilization who's come into contact with this incredible stone, be it nephrite, be it jade, be it jadeite, has been deeply, deeply affected by it. So much so that it's been, you know, unbelievably highly revered. The, the kind of, the kind of the elusiveness of where this gemstone was from and where these mines were um, uh, located. Was that a mistake or was it hidden on purpose? This, this piece here, now, this next image here is a is a um, um, a deity which has been carved out of this incredible material, um, and and uh, the deity here I believe is a wheat god, uh, so about the abundance and kind of growth of crops, and I've got um, and, and 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 you can see the similarities again of this material to what we've got today, what we've got in bead form today. It's all very well me bringing you cabochons and things like that, but when I get the chance to bring you actual beads, it's very, very special indeed. Now, we have got here, oh, opportunities galore. We've got barrels, which we're going to be starting off with, and we've also got rounds as well. These are superb in their quality. They are most definitely translucent. I would not say that they are opaque at all. They are really, really gemmy. They're almost like your imperial jade. They remind me a lot as well of your gem quality grandidiorite as well. I love that colour, that rich green teal colour. 
And they're yours today in these barrel shapes. Now, from a designer's point of view, I mean, what would you make with things like this? Well, I was thinking that I really love that shape, that barrel shape, because I think it emphasizes how ancient it is. Because I think in sort of ancient jewelry, you know, things like the turquoise necklaces in America, yes. they often used um, this kind of shape. Um, so I would make something that was really sort of um, ancient looking, I suppose. Yes, I think, that's, I think that's a great way of putting it, actually. Very simple, very basic design, maybe. Maybe with flashes of maybe precious metals in there. But yes, something which really does echo its ancient quality. Remember, these, the mines that this incredible gemstone is from um, uh, uh, disappeared in the, in, in the mists of time for over five centuries. And it was only between kind of in the late 1990s and early 2000s that, this, that the locations were actually discovered again. Um, and this gemstone isn't commercially mined. It's not mined, you know, on any kind of great big scale at all. These are literally only a few uh, chance, a few literally, just literally a few different locations um, uh, of this are mining to this day, but not commercial at all. This is very, very small scale mining. Right, price point wise. Six of your incredible barrels. They're beautiful quality. I love that tubular shape almost. Lots of interest there. This is great to see. Using them one at a time, definitely. Eking them out, yes. But I love Monica's suggestion of making jewelry that looks ancient, whether that's by using it with maybe antique bronze wire, maybe it's by using antique bronze colours. Um, seed beads, maybe it's by different techniques, I don't know. Or again, with the carved jade that we had. Yes, oh yeah. yes, of course. Jade yeah, with the carved jade pieces. And why not use it with your Burmese jade? Why not use the best of both worlds together? Okay, so we've got the, th uh, so sorry, a minute clock on screen. You've literally got 30 seconds. Lots and lots and lots of people coming uh, through and, and showing us that you're interested. Just one on a chain is going to look absolutely gorgeous. One on a chain, one on a piece of cord. It's just beautiful, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. One, yeah, in the middle of a pearl necklace, maybe. One in the middle of a ring. But it's also quite nice for men's jewellery, as, as you were saying, just one on oh, a chain. Oh, I'd absolutely yeah, suggest that, yeah. A head, head pin on a chain. Yeah, yeah, definitely, just one. Oh, yeah, that's a lovely idea, just on a head pin. How wonderful is that? A hundred and twenty nine pounds. You have got individual split payments of thirty two twenty five. We are so fortunate to have this variety of jade with us here today. When you consider uh, when you consider that really, if you want to see this gemstone, you've got to go to museums. This is not the kind of material you will find every day on the high street. This is not the kind of material that you will find literally walking down your high street. And um, if you do find it anywhere, you know, if you do manage to find it anywhere, kind of. Um, uh, on, uh, um, you know, um, um, in a retail outlet, it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, you know, somewhere that specialises in very, very high quality pieces. I love those blues. I love those greens. To have a, even a chance to bring you this Guatemala material is just so special. Well done. I've got, Kathy, you've got two loads in your baskets. Well done. Check out if you want to. Well done. Gorgeous. Absolutely fantastic. £129 uh, on your individual split payments of £32.25. That's just gorgeous. Now, I do have some more of your Guatemalan jade as well in these gorgeous rounds as well. I think this next shape is a little bit more feminine, maybe, in its shape. Look at the... That colour. Whoa! Now, that is seriously good colour. Three identical, perfect, round, eight mil beads of Guatemalan jade. The colour variety you're going to be getting here is really exciting. The size and shape is absolutely exact. That, I mean, you don't even need to know what gemstone that is and you can look at it and you can just, and you look at it and you go, wow, that looks really special. It genuinely does look special, doesn't it? Yeah, the colour, the colour looks expensive, yeah. doesn't it? I love the colour because, I mean, generally I'm not a fan of green, I'll be honest. But that's because the yellow base colours don't look good on me, so I never wear anything sort of yellow. Interesting, base. but if but it's this is a blue base, green, yeah. So it's a really lovely, um, cooler green, I think. Than uh, it is, isn't it? It's got that beautiful look. Look at the size of the drill hole you've got here as well. It's absolutely superb. 
Look at the size of the drill. Look at that. You know, you can easily get your 0.8 millimeter gauge wide through there, maybe even your one mil gauge. And of course, on your leather cords, just literally one or three on your leather cords. It's just, it's just exquisite, isn't it? Right, let's get these price points in. I love that tone. Just, it just oozes luxury, doesn't it? Now what? Okay, 30 second clock. In uh, 26 seconds, we're going to be taking these under 100 pounds. Okay, I would just be getting this now. Just add it onto your order. Go, 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 go. Add it onto your order as soon as you can. Yeah, whatever your favorite gemstone is, let's say it's pearls. Let's say it's amber. Make an amber necklace, put one of these in the middle. Amazing. Your black spinel, make your black um, spinel necklace, put one of these in the middle. Well done, everyone. 69.99 on individual split payments of 17 pounds and 49 pence. Well done, everyone. That is just incredible. Leslie, well done to you. Absolutely superb. Heather in Middlesex, well done to you. Fantastic. Go, 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 go. Well done. I just love it. Yeah, that's an entire suite of jewelry, isn't it, really? Yeah. You know what else I'm also thinking? If you've got both of those, the barrels and the rounds, you know, lately, um, Morse code jewellery is very popular. Oh! So you, you would have nine beads there, which means you should be able to get three letters, because it's usually three... Three-ish, yeah. Ish, yeah. <laughs> so if you could, you could sort of lay out some it's of these... It's a great idea. And, ...and have that on a necklace. I like the idea of that. Morse code jewellery. Barbara! Yeah. Leslie, Heather, well done to you, my lovelies. That is absolutely fantastic. That well done. like a secret message, wouldn't it? Yes, <laughs> yeah. I love it. Maker in Stirlingshire. Well done to you. How brilliant is that? Well done. Oh, I just love it. It's so good. Well done. I can't believe that's just 69 out They're just so pristine. Seven opportunities, six opportunities, sorry, remaining. Well done. Go, go, go. Add it onto your order. Well done, everyone. That's just superb, isn't it? Gorgeous. Well done. Okay, yes. Okay, oh yes, there they are. Here we go. So, I'll put you in there, my lovelies. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh. Aren't these adorable? Look at these. Ah, <whistles> oh. look at this, a pack of six of these. These are seven mil in size. Are they? Look a little bit smaller than seven, I reckon. I don't know. Unless it's these. What are the other sizes we've got, Neary? Um, okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So we've got here. No, so I've got, I've got, um, I'm just wondering what, 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 what size is number 20, Neary? Right, that's these then. Here we go. There we go. That's better. There we go. There you go. That's your. Se that's a bit more yeah, seven mil. Is. There you go. Like seven mil. Yeah. There you go. That's a bit more of your seven mil. There we go. I love this. Oh, look at the variety of colour you're getting there. Ooh, they look. There's some really dark ones, almost nephrite-y ones there. Oh, ombreing these. What a lovely idea. Yes. But I love the consistency of the. Of the colour, I mean, some of them are darker, some of them are lighter, but it's the same, um, the same shade of green, if you know what I mean. So yes, the same green. It's not one sort of more yellowy, more green, more bluey. They're all very consistent in their in their base colour, I think. Yeah, I think you're right, and also you can match these up beautifully. Yeah. You've literally got pairs of stones here, haven't you? You really genuinely do. So you've got the gorgeous kind of, uh, yeah, the darker ones, the slightly lighter ones, and then the lightest ones. Oh, they, they, I mean, none of them are light, are they? They've all got this gorgeous quality going through them. Okay, I can't believe we're about to do this, but start price is all the way down. Here we go. 99.99. There's your start price, 24.99. That's your split payments for this. Well done. Let's just do it, Neary. Yeah, just do it. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is too low. This is way, 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 way too low. Oh, dear me. Ah! 49.99 on split payments of 12 pounds and 49 pence. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. A pack of six of these today. I mean, they are beautiful. Aren't they just gorgeous? The shine on them, the color on them. This is your ancient, ancient, ancient 
variety of jade art from the other side of the world to your Burmese uh, jade, from the other side of the world to uh, your Chinese and Russian kind of nephrites. This is absolutely incredible. All the way from Guatemala, uh, you've got here something inspired uh, that inspired the ancient, um, uh, the ancient uh, Americas. It's absolutely incredible. The ancient Olmecs, that Olmec blue that you're going to be getting here. It's absolutely world famous and synonymous with museum pieces from around the world. Corinne, Pat, Shirley, well done to you. Check out your baskets. I just love the idea of, of, of graduating those. If that was Grandidia, right, that would be, that, I mean, that's pretty much your $20,000 a carat business, yeah. isn't it? That's so good. There's such great material. Beautiful. Oh, baby, baby. Okay. Now. This is one thing I was talking about. Oh, I must just give you a quick, a quick thingy. Um, on, um, I did a Facebook Live before the show on the Jewelry Maker Facebook page. Uh, if you, uh, you literally have 25 minutes, but if you like that post, share that post and tag a friend in that post, then they're going to be put into a prize draw. We'll announce the winner in the next hour. We're going to pick somebody at random and whoever has done that, we'll pick somebody at random and whoever we pick, uh, it's going to win £50 credited to their Jewelry Maker account. Oh, nice. <laughs> Literally for liking it, sharing it, and tagging a friend. So go to the Jewelry Maker Facebook page. No, don't go anywhere. Ooh. I think it's gone. <laughs> Did you get it? I don't know. It's gone. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's here. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> right, so. Oh, dear, it's fallen in my bag. I must take it home. So this is one of the things I was talking about on my Facebook Live this morning. This is unbelievable. Oh, wow. Lavender Jade. Oh, my word. When I knew we were going to be getting Lavender Jade, and I hadn't seen it, but, I, but I'm, I, I did have my preconceptions. And I did have my preconceptions. I thought, hey, is it going to be filled? Is it going to be dyed? No. And then I thought, ah, is it really going to be Lavender Jade, or is it just going to be a bit, ah, nah, you know, ah. This, oh, my word, this is most definitely Lavender Jade, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's, it's my, absolutely gorgeous. My kind of jade. <laughs> It, oh my gosh, isn't it so, so much Monica's shade. It's mine. So you're going to be getting here 10 mils. Oh, sorry, I beg your pardon. 14 mils, 10 mils, uh, 9 mils. Isn't that just gorgeous? And then you've got your, sorry, 10, sorry, 14, 10, 9 and 7. There we go. Gee. Um, I am, I'm in love with these. I'm going to put them on the desk, actually. These have got enormous drill holes going through them. They are absolutely fun. Oh, look at that gorgeous recording. They are beautiful qualities, aren't they, you're going to be getting here today. They are absolutely stunning. And oh, my word, that colour. That's proper lavender jade. This is so rare. This is so rare. Shall I show you what price point you're not going to be paying today? Use them sparingly. This is not your price. $299.99. Individual split payments of $74.99. Tracy's already through. Well done. Not your price. Okay. We're going to be taking these down again. Enjoy. Oh, gosh. Literally, the ultimate pair of earrings. That one, that one. Oh, nice. That one. That one, there we go. Do that twice. The ultimate pair of earrings right there, Monica. Oh, beautiful. And that for me, that is like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds worth of earrings there. And wow. it, it will literally take you, I don't know, 10 minutes to make that pair of earrings. They are absolutely superb. <gasps> and actually I would put the larger one on top and then go smaller from there. Yes, oh yes, absolutely, graduated down. I love that idea. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I love that kind of inversion idea. That's a lovely, um, a lovely kind of design feature. Leslie in Cumbria, you're interested too. Well done. Okay, there's a lot of you there. This is going to go low. Here we go. Genuine, I never thought I'd hear myself saying this. Genuine type A, lavender jadeite, 14, 10, 9 and 7 mil rounds. Enjoy. Here we go. Yours today, 99 pounds. Well done, everyone. That is absolutely gorgeous. Well done, Shirley. Fantastic. Congratulations to you. 
I'm just amazed by that level of colour and the fact that it's natural as well, Monica, it just it makes it so special, doesn't it? Yeah. It is such a special quality. Well done for under £100. Well done. Go, go, go. Superb. More people checking their baskets out. It's, it's just such... It reminds me a little bit of Angelite as well. It does, yeah. That blue very much like those gorgeous angel lights that we've had well done to you more people coming through in west midlands well done to you yeah but the green angel lights that we've had as well they'd be absolutely perfect wouldn't they and they are course, just stunning and of course you can stretch it to make a whole set really because you could take away the two larger yeah beads, just use three for the earrings and then you could use one larger one for a pendant and the other one in the middle of a slider bracelet as a oh bracelet. yes and then a whole set See, that's a really nice idea. Well done, lovely Shirley. I've got a maker in London now through. Well done. 99.99. They are just incredible. What a treat for you today. Well done. Okay, keep coming through for that. We've now got a gorgeous hey you symbol. I think I've got it here, lovely. I love this piece. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at this amazing jade hey you symbol this is the epitome like we were saying earlier on this is the actual epitome of uh of your kind of uh far eastern circle of life cycle of life that never-ending circle the connection between heaven and earth that constant yearning and working to reach that state of nirvana to enlightenment this is absolutely gorgeous lavender jadeite hey you symbol 24 millimeters in size. It's absolutely gorgeous. This symbol goes right the way back to kind of Neolithic times. The Chinese buy symbols have been used for many, many years in jewelry. Um, and whether you choose to put something in the center here, whether you choose to literally pop uh, your cord through here and, you, and you know, literally put a little uh, lark's head knot in and literally just wear it as a pendant, you know, so simple, so easy, so um so effective or whether you give it to someone like monica and you do something crazy with it like do cb bezeling around it i mean is that something you would consider doing with oh, these yes, of course i did that with the amber donuts that we had oh yeah. my word but also the lark's head knot you can do that with a sterling silver chain as well it doesn't have to be cool yes oh that's a lovely idea definitely 199.99 see the split payment price there of 49.99 that's going to be your entire payment. Oh, my gosh. Maker's got two. Leslie, well done. $49.99. Two in. Oh, my gosh. That is absolutely ridiculous. Four individual split payments of £12.49. That's way too low. Amazing deal for you today. Well done at $49.99. I can't believe that. With your 30-day money-back guarantee as well, which is absolutely fantastic. And the fact you're only going to be paying $3.95 P&P uh, per order as well, which lasts for the entire day as well. Lynn, maker in Greater London, well done to you as well. Get, check your baskets out, everybody. This is just tremendous. Imagine being able to own this today. Corrine, June in Manchester, check out. We're, we're about to, it's about to sell out. Leslie in Manchester, well done to you as well. Lynn, Paula, well done to you. I just think that, I mean, that is superb. That is absolutely amazing. And those split payments are an abomination. They really are, aren't they? Let, let's imagine you do what you've just said with the gorgeous sterling silver chain. You put a lark head yeah. knot in. That's a gorgeous necklace. Let's say you're going to sell it on. You will have sold this by the time you come to pay your second split payment for, yeah. for massively more than $49.99, won't you? Edith, Lynette, well done to you as well. Gorgeous. Well done. 0800 6 triple four six triple five. Lynn's taken two. Well done to you. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love it. It's just it's so, so, so pretty. Pop a gemstone in the middle. Pop one of the ah, Guatemalans in the middle. Pop that in the middle. You know, I mean, that's just lovely, isn't it? Make a ring. Oh, my gosh. Monica, make a ring. Yeah. Make a ring. 
I love that idea. Do you know what? I think that's, uh, yeah, that's great. Centerpiece for a brooch, maybe. Oh, yes. Gorgeous. Lynette, well done to you as well, my lovely. Fantastic. More people checking out. That is just superb. Taipei Lavender Jadeite. Amazing. Gorgeous Hey You symbol for $49.99. Just gorgeous. Suja, well done to you. Oh, yeah, get your, um, get your uh, gallery wire on the inside of the donut, and that would just be a lovely little feature. Have a little kind of starburst coming out from inside the donut, inside the aperture. I haven't got that. Okay. Ah, oh, got another one. Oh, look. Ah. Jimmy Jim Dum, Jimmy Jimmy Jim Dum, Jimmy Jim Dum, Jimmy Jimmy Jim Dum, Jimmy Jim Jim, Jimmy Jimmy Jim Dum. Did your earrings too much? Surfer necklet. Fran, love it. I don't know, I don't even know what that is, but I quite like the idea of that. Oh my word. That that is lovely. Oh. And again, you've got the kind of idea we were talking about this earlier on, weren't we? You know, do with that you would wear and do with maybe that your that your daughter, your son oh, would yeah. wear. <gasps> oh. Ah, twinning, twinning. Oh, isn't that funny? I love it. Oh, yeah. That would be so gorgeous, wouldn't it? I love a bit of twinning. I love a bit of twinning. Okay, here we go. 60 second clock. All the way down. Here we go. Oh, it's going to be brill. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. Gorgeous. Well done. Okay, 0800 644 We're at 99.99. How low are you thinking of going with these, Neri Nunu? No, no. Oh, gosh, no. Really? Absolutely amazing. Oh, we've got the head pins to come. We've got spacer beads as well. All of it's coming up. It's coming up. It's there. I love the roundness of that. It's been yeah. polished so beautifully, oh, hasn't perfect, it? Isn't it? It really is. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. Here we go. 99.99. Not your deal today. Okay. I love that lavender colour. It's definitely a lavender quality, isn't it, there? And it's a really nice thickness as well, isn't it? It's not... It's not paper thin or anything. It's, it's a good thickness. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's not like a sliver. Mm. It's not like a little, a little sliver of it. A little cut. It's just got... <sighs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> if you want to get this on split pay, which I'm not being funny, you'd struggle to get a sandwich, a packet of crisps, a drink, and a chocolate bar for $7.49. Oh, my gosh. That's a joke. Seven, seven forty nine on your split pay. What is going on? Suja, well done to you, Pauline, Christine, Leslie. I am, I, what can you actually buy for seven forty nine, Monica? Oh, hmm, not very much. So I'm, okay, so I'm, so it's my, so it's my six year old's daughter on, um, on um, Saturday. She's going to be seven. And uh, one of the things that she wants, oh, she just wants junk. But one of the things that she wants, she wants a squish mallow, which is basically like a squishy teddy thing. And I'm looking on Amazon. Sorry, other websites are available. I'm looking on Amazon. They're like 12 quid. I'm like, for a top, for a little, a, a top. You can get a Taipei Lavender Jadeite Hey You symbol for £7.49 as your first split payment. That should put it into context at the price of a few birthday cupcakes isn't it <laughs> don't even go there i've literally been lying awake at night she really wants to uh, uh, she, she, she'd love me to make her a birthday cake and i yeah. really want to make her a birthday cake. i'm making her an acdc birthday cake oh, well. so it's going to be black icing and i'm going to do pippa with like uh, the the yellow background uh, pippa the eye i'm going to make into a bolt of lightning yeah <laughs> and then red on top of it and I might put a stick of firecracker in the top of it. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, there we go. $29.99. <laughs> Amazing. Well done. Well done. Tracy's got to Elaine, Gabrielle, Heather, Helen. Oh, just anyone who's anyone. But look at the, I know we're going on about the split payment. 
It's 30 quid. <laughs> I just, that sounds laughable. Oh, man. Right, maybe not, Neary. Right, which one are we doing? Are we doing the spacers or the head pins? Ooh. Now, Monica, thinking back to those incredible lucite flowers that you were making. Yes. If you want to make the necklace that Monica made last week out of the lucite flowers, you're going to need a lot of these. These are your head pins. Yep. These are th probably one of the most essential findings you can get. Um, they're your featherweight head pins. Yep. So it's quite a fine gauge wire that you get here. They are, uh, they are, it doesn't say what gauge the wire is. I think it's about a point six, maybe, maybe a point six millimeter gauge wire. Yeah, they're the feather, they're yep. kind of, are they featherweight? What, they're, they're, they are the featherweight. Yeah. Ones, yeah. Yeah, which are brilliant because they'll go through your pearls, they'll go through anything with a small drill hole. So it's, it's brilliant. Uh, so these uh, head pins you're going to be getting here, they've got like a little ball on the end of them, which has been soldered up. It's literally balling up the end of your head pin. The reason why this is so fantastic, it's a very, very fine um, a ball that you get on the end of them. So they're absolutely perfect, as um, Monica was saying, for using with your pearls anything with a finer drill hole going through and um, these are absolutely perfect okay you're getting a pack here of 100 now 100 sounds like a lot it looks like a lot but if you consider this lovely pair of earrings that monica's made here she's used three in each earring yeah, so the, okay. fe the featherweight headpin will go through your size 15 seed bead oh, oh 15. brilliant yep. so are those size 15s yep that, they're <laughs> tiny oh I suppose, well, I've never thought about using head pins with size 15s. You just instantly think, oh, it's only a thread that can go through there. But actually, the featherweight head pins will go they through will. there. Yeah. That's fantastic. So if you're going to be making bubble star necklaces or bracelets, or you've bought the gorgeous Lucite flower kit that we bought to air last week with Monica, you want to make that gorgeous big kind of confetti star necklace, you're going to need a lot of head pins. These are amazing. Definitely with the diamond nuggets we bought you earlier on with the black and uh, the red ones. Gorgeous. Anjum, Gwenifer, Lorraine, Michelle. 32.97. That's a weird, I'm not going to lie to you, that's a weird price, isn't it? If you bought them all individually, that's what you should be paying. Hang on, you're not getting 100, are you? Uh, how many are we getting here? It says 100. Is it actually 300 you're getting? You're actually getting 300. Wow. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, near it. Oh, gosh, he's priced it as if you're getting 100, right? Uh, right. Uh, uh. Near he has priced these as if you're getting 100. You're actually getting 300 <laughs> for 24.99. The world has gone mad. Stop, I want to get off. That's less than 1p each, is it? <gasps> is it? Oh, it's eight. Okay, less than 10p each, yep. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Lynn, Gwenefer, Anjum's got two. Sandy, Ann, uh, I'm not sure about anybody else here, but that is, I am, that, I think you are going to really wow. struggle to find anything anywhere else in the entire world that even remotely, remotely comes closer. That is, a, this is 100 here. That's 100. Yeah, for 24.99. That's amazing. There's so much silver in this. Can we just, oh, here we go. What's 40? What's a four, three, six, nine, three, six, nine, twelve. I'm trying to work out how many meters worth of silver wire that is. So, each pack so 12, but then you need to times it by 12. That's 12 meters. No, 12 yeah. meters worth of yeah. sterling silver wire. And then don't forget the extra for the ball in the end. Yes. So it's over 12 meters, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's over 12 meters of sterling silver wire here. Linda, Marjorie, make it's gone very quiet there. Is that right? Basically 40 times 300. Oh, no, it's four times 300. Four centimeters. Yeah, four meters. Oh, gosh. Do you, know, I, do you know what? I need to lie down. I need to lie down. It's 12 metres, yeah. My brain hurts. I'm sure it's 12 metres. 
12 meters, not including the ball. So there you go. If you include the ball, I mean, what, what's that adding on to it? It's always, you've always got to take the ball into consideration. Maker, Noreen, Maker, Georgina, Margaret, Irene, Robert, Diane, Corinne, Sandy, Maker. Never ignore the ball. This ball here, that is sterling silver wire, which has been soldered up. It's been... But you're absolutely right. The, the, this ball is the difference between you having a bead on there and the bead falling off. Never ignore the ball. That, that ball there, that's worth its weight in silver. Okay, balls to one side. Let's do a star by. A star by? Star by. Right. Okay. <laughs> no one noticed that little joke I made there. I'm not going to repeat it because it was very, very rude. Oh, was it my fault? Okay. Just rewind the show. Just watch it back. Oh, look, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Is this right? Yes. Ooh, oh, oh, hang on, there's so much I want to talk about here. They're seed bead sizes. Yes. Oh, Monica. <laughs> hang on, hang on. 11 O's, 50 of them. Yeah. Eight O's. Are these, hang on, they're not precious metal, are they? Oh, no, they're uh, plated, uh, uh, plated um, uh, base metal. Okay, hang on. 11 O's, 8 O's, 6 O's. And in three different colours as well. Oh, so 150, 150 of your precious metal plated base metal. Oh. What are they on today, Michael? Honestly, they're literally goading each other in there. You see, I could are have you all right? Is everything all right in there? I could have used one of those earlier. Sorry, Monica. I could have used one of those earlier because earlier on I made um, from the kids' oh. I made a stretchy bracelet, and I've got the oh. knot. I've got the knot in there. It's I've got a silver, a silver ato bead after that. So if I'd had one of those metal ones, which have got slightly larger holes, oh, and yes. the knot would have slid into the uh, into the metal bead. I haven't cut the, the elastic off yet because I just made it recently. That's a great shout, Monica. Yeah. That's a great shout. I have to say as well, I mean, don't get, don't get kind of too bogged down with the fact that these are seed bead sizes. If you're not a seed beader, obviously you can still use them. They are, they, you know, they're going to be incredibly useful for you. And what Monica says, just to, just to kind of echo that, yeah, your larger ones in particular are going to be really useful because, of course, the knots in your elastic will hide inside those beads. Yeah. So don't get too bogged down with the fact that they're seed bead sizes. The fact that they are seed bead sizes is going to make it even easier for seed beaders to use these because you know instantly, right, that's an 8 that's an 11 that's a 6 -o. So you know what size they are. Andrew's already bought three packs of these. They are just great. Julia, Alison, there's loads of people there. And they come to you in this little plastic box as well, which is really lovely. Really lovely. Okay. Here we go. Loads of people through. Oh, this is so good. Base metal spacer beads with your precious metal plating on top. £17.99. Well done. 150. Oh, did you just say that, Neary? Oh, hit me, baby, one more time. Gee whiz, bring on the clock, he means. Uh, Julia, Allison, well done to you. Lots of people coming through. This is great. Isn't it? I love all these. And just including that little flash of precious metal in your jewellery sometimes is all you need just to it lighten up a piece. It's sort of accentuated, it? especially with the uh, coloured elastics that we had earlier. Ooh. Yeah, it would be fabulous for that. Yes, it would, wouldn't it? Come on, Neri No No. Lots of people getting involved. 150 of your. Uh, Spacer beads. Here we go. Northampton shears through. Well done to you, my lovely. £12.99. pence. K in Cambridgeshire. Well done to you. Maker coming through. Another maker now. Maker in Devon. Fantastic. Well done to you. And in Kent. Well done. Brilliant at £12.99. pence. Just gorgeous. 
It's a go, go, go. Well done, everybody. Check out your baskets. Loving this. Well done. What an incredible... Joe in Yorkshire, well done to you as well, my lovely. We're literally down to the last few chances. We always love bringing you kind of, you know, best of birthday, best of the weekend, you know, things like that. We love bringing you those kind of shows. But do understand that these are all really limited. None of these are new. They're all really, really limited. A lot of them are new to me, to be fair, but um, <clears throat> they're all really, really limited quantities that we've got today. So get them as soon as you can. Check out your baskets as soon as you can. Well done. They are just gorgeous, aren't they? Well done. 0800 644 Coming up, the ultimate masterclass. Monica is going to individually count every bead she's made, uh, she's used in the making of this necklace during the break. You know, we'll be back in seven days. Work it out. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. The ultimate kits, the ultimate masterclass coming up after the break. Jewelrymaker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelrymaker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelrymaker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry maker, create, wear, share. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. I just want, oh. I just want you 
to look at these gorgeous kits and just think to yourself, if I was given these kits, what would I make? Now, Monica was sent these kits, you know, a little, you know, a few, a few days ago. What would I make in my wildest dreams? <laughs> Where on earth did you get this idea from? Well, you know, actually, before I got the kits, Alice uh, sent me a breakdown of what's going to be in the kits. And she said, uh, she said to me, I need a technique that you're going to use, that you're going to be demoing, because we need to call the show something. Um, so I looked at the kits and I saw there were three sizes of seed beads and then I saw the stars and I thought, ooh, falling stars. Coraling was the first thing that came to mind. Oh, yes. So I wrote back to her in like five minutes and I said, can we do coraling? <laughs> what you have done here is, is so beautiful. So textured. It's, ju it's just gorgeous. I love all of these beads. I love the gorgeous um, star-shaped beads. I love the gorgeous crescent moon with the star, which yeah. is the star of Islam. And it's the most beautiful depiction. These are, these are such beautiful standout beads. Just in that bracelet, they are yeah. gorgeous individual pieces, aren't they? It, it's just gorgeous. Those little stars, I'm thinking they make wonderful little stud earrings. Yes. Beautiful little uh, centerpiece to a ring. Yeah. Or do you remember we used to do um, with the monofilament, you just have a strand of monofilament and one star in the middle. Absolutely. It's like a floating, uh, floating necklace. And it's so cool. I love these earrings because the earrings look, I mean, obviously by comparison to the, um, to the, um, to the necklace look, you know, quite simple and quite sparse, don't they? But actually you can kind of, the beauty of that necklace is all of the individual components, which on their yeah. own are quite sparse, but you collect them yeah. together and you connect them and it creates texture and movement and it's just great. You're going to be wearing these, aren't you? Uh, of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's brilliant. Now, we've got two kits. Which kit should we start with, Neri? I mean, these are all going to fly, aren't they? These, these are... Let's do this one here. Okay, so two different sizes of seed beads here. You've got your 11 O's and you've also, sorry, I beg your pardon. You've got your 15 O's and you've, no, you've got your 11 O's and you've got your 8 O's. Gee whiz, Carol. So you've got your 11 O's and 8 O's. Uh, you don't need me to tell you this, but you, obviously you've got two of the most popular colors here uh, with that gorgeous kind of almost precious metal quality to them. They are brilliant as spaces. I mean, yes, as your seed beads, yes, in your seed bead designs, but brilliant as spaces, okay? So great in your weaves, but also great just on their own as spaces. You're then going to be getting three strands of these gorgeous hematite stars. Look at that. They are properly three-dimensional. You've got them in rose gold color, This greeny, uh, greeny, uh, bluey colour. And then this gorgeous exotic purple with uh, bronzes coming through. It's gorgeous, isn't it, Monica? Do you know, the interesting thing with this kit is uh, the first one I picked out, obviously, was the purple strand. Of course. And then I thought, well, for the coralling necklace, I only need two of the strands, really. So I took out the purple. I thought I'd do something else with the purple. Yes. But actually, the colours that are left, I think they work so brilliantly together. So actually, it worked out really well that I, I took the purple and used it separately. It, 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 it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, when you start to take out these and then you put in these beautiful... Look at these. The most beautiful coins. These are some of the biggest individual hematite beads I've ever seen. And you've got this gorgeous crescent moon with a star on there, which is the star of Islam. And you've got this beautiful, beautiful, crisp crescent moon on there. It's absolutely gorgeous. Those colours together in that necklace with the seed beads look absolutely beautiful. And I agree with you, Monica. I think it was right to take the purple out and use the purple separately. Not to mention which, she'll probably have loads of the purple left over, which she's gonna keep for herself. Uh, I did make a necklace with the purple. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, it's so funny. I didn't, I didn't use the purple. <laughs> she did use the purple, sorry, I take that back. Um, 
Yeah, the necklace you've made with the purple is absolutely gorgeous. These are gorgeous kits. I mean, it's quite heavy, obviously, because, of course, you've got all the hematite there, but absolutely, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous quality there. It's stunning, isn't it? I love the seed beads. I love the gorgeous stars. I love the beautiful crescent moons. I love the way that they edge that design. That looks so, that's beautiful, the way it borders yeah. it, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's what I thought would be nice yeah. as well. I mean, you could mix it in mm. and not have such a defined border. That would work well as well. Yes, absolutely. Just gorgeous. Right, price point for this kit, incredible. Absolutely beautiful. The, to my knowledge, <clears throat> these beautiful crescent moon coins, they are brand new. To my knowledge, the stars are brand new. I've never bought these to wear before. I, I, I just love the way they look. I love the luster that they've got. I adore the range of colors that we've got here. Price point is going to be absolutely superb this afternoon, just to let you know. Okay, are you ready, Neri Nunu? Oh, he's on the phone. Oh, gosh. Oh dear. Oh dear. He's been told. Uh, okay. So, oh, right. Okay. So this is the price point that. Hang on. So you've been given permission to go a bit lower with this one. Okay. So this is okay. So this is what's written on my sheet. Although I've dropped my sheets on the floor, but this is this is the price point that's written on my sheet. Forty nine ninety nine. These stars are brand new. The beautiful crescent moons with that gorgeous, they're brand new. Love that necklace. Love that necklace. <laughs> oh, that's such, that's such a Monica piece of jewelry. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I did cheat a little because I used a mixture of the two kits to make that necklace. That's all right. We'll <laughs> let you. Oh, MG, so lovely. I promised myself to be good today. That's out the window. Must have, says Julie. I know Julie, right? Okay. 49.99. Not your price. Neri's been given permission to go lower. We've been having issues with our web feed, we believe, over the last couple of hours, which I didn't know about. Uh, so because of that, we're going to be rewarding you with a low price point. Oh, dear me. Okay, get involved when you can. What are you going to be making? Now, obviously, what Monica's made here is very, very beautiful. It's really kind of uh, big, very, very statementy. I like the idea. What am I doing? Wrong hand. Here we go. I love the idea of just literally, look, little oh, bracelets. Nice. Little bracelets. My kids would love these. I would love these. They're so pretty, aren't they? Again, with the coloured elastic we had earlier. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. Monica. Or just use one in the middle of a wish bracelet. You don't need yeah. to use loads of them. Well, you can do, but you don't need to. Use one for each member of your family. Great for Father's Day. They're so cool. $49.99. Absolutely amazing. Not your deal today. Here we go, everyone. 0800 6 4. Look at the shininess of these. They're gorgeous, aren't they? And then, oh, then look. Look at these coins. They're beautiful. All the way down, everyone. Here we go. Enjoy. $29.99. That is way too low. Goodness me. There we go, everyone. Go, 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 go. Lots and lots and lots of people interested. That's wonderful. Well done. At £29 and £99, loving those colours together. There's your uh, 8Os. There's your 11Os as well. They're all absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous. Go, go, go. Well done, everyone. That's stunning. Well done at just 29 90 And the movement in that necklace, I bet, is gorgeous, isn't it? Should I, should I jiggle it? <laughs> yeah, give it a jiggle, Monica. <laughs> Jiggly, jiggly, jiggle. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> like a lion's mane. $29.99, well done to you. Gorgeous, well done. 0800 644 Go, 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 go. Now, we're in a quandary. We've still got quantity left. Neary would like to take a couple of pounds off. Ooh. I mean, you've got 20 pounds worth of seed beads in that kit already. Not your price. Neary, don't do 27.95. Oh, sorry, don't do 27.99. Don't do that. Forget that. Go 20. I don't know if we can do this, by the way. Go 24.99. <laughs> I don't think we can do this. Oh, gosh, he's really. Just do it. Go on. Go on, love. Go on. Oh, look at him. He's not, he's not happy about this. Do it. Yes. Is he going to do it? Uh, 
No way I could resist that price. Nice treat for me as I'm on long-term sick leave. Oh, sweetheart, oh, wow. Priscilla. Oh, have some fun. You're going to have fun. Twenty-four ninety-nine. That's a special little. Uh, we, we definitely can't do that. And Neri's not very happy with me. But anyway, I don't my stuff it. I mean, as I say, those seed beads, especially the metallic colours. Yes. They would be twenty pounds just for the seed beads, and then you have got your full. Um, yeah. Are you, are you missing a tube there? No. Yes. Yes. You're oh missing gosh. A I can give you. Oh give no. Them. There you go. <laughs> ah! Uh oh! Hang on, Neri. You get three tubes. You get three tubes of seed beads. Yep. <laughs> Fifteen O's. Oh, he is not happy. The web feed is back up. Refresh your feed. Although they won't be able to hear that. Oh, gosh. Well, you know, just, just, just get involved. Well done. <laughs> I can't believe that. Three tubes of seed beads. Because I thought you said you, yeah. you made those earrings with 15 nose. I thought, well, I did, yeah. She added them in. Yeah. Sneaky moniker. <laughs> no, they were in the kit. Right, well, well done. Notice how Monica told us that after we'd taken the price point down. Well, I didn't notice oh, you were missing it. Oh, <laughs> Monica, don't give me that. <laughs> That's fine, darling. We all believe you. Whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Silver. Gold. And blue. Oh. I'm going to move these to this side. Here you go. Look. Oh, they are so shiny, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Seed beads. Oh, same again. Silver, gold, galvanized, yeah. and you're all oh, 50 nose in like a lovely silvery yeah. colour. They're all Woo! Metallic, all metallic colours, isn't it? Oh yeah, that is a great combo, isn't it? That is just gorgeous. Hang on, let's move you there. That is just gorgeous. Yeah, there's your 50 nose. You're definitely getting 50 nose with this one as well. There you go. Okay, eight o's and eleven o's. Uh, sorry, eight o's and. Uh, 15, no. <laughs> Gee whiz. 8 O's and 15 O's in silver galvanized, and then your 11 O's in your um, gold galvanized color. Yeah, there you go. Well done. Okay. Very, very, very popular coming through to get this kit. Well done, everybody. Here we go. Loving the, yeah, come on, Neri. Matchy Moo Moo. <laughs> Matchy Moo Moo the pricey way, see? Yeah. Ooh. You blame me, blame me. Yeah, blame me. I don't care. <laughs> Just blame me. I don't care. That's great. Yeah. It's my fault. My fault. You can thank me for it. Nicolette, makeup. Oh, my gosh. Look at everyone coming through. Patricia's got two. Corinne, Tracy, Julia. Barbara, well done to you. Shirley, it's working now, says Collector in Greater London. That's fantastic. Well done, Jeanette. And, uh, Shirley, Dawn, Susan, you're making lots of friends. Be happy, says Susan. <laughs> All right, Susan, I will be happy. <laughs> Well done to you, Ali. I'm watching on YouTube because the feed isn't working, says Mandy. Oh, it is now. It is now, lovely. Well done, Susan. Well done, Hazel. And Jim Stella. Refresh your feed. Gorgeous. Oh, we need to announce the winner for the competition, don't we? Oh, yeah. So basically, we launched a little competition this morning, which I was telling you about on the Facebook Live, which was anybody... Uh, and it was on the Jewelry Maker Facebook page. Anybody who liked, uh, shared, and tagged a friend on the Facebook Live that I did before the show this morning on the Jewelry Maker Facebook page would be entered into a prize draw, and we would pick a winner at random. Someone who managed to do all three of those things, and that person we pick at random is going to win £50 credited to their Jewelry Maker account. We will announce it um, in this hour, I think, but, uh, but yeah, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be a good one. I'm going to do it tomorrow as well. So make sure you join me tomorrow morning at some point. If you get, set your notifications so you're always notified when Jewelry Maker are going live. But yeah, gorgeous. Well done. Okay, right. $24.99. Well done. Okay. Okay. Monica, what are you going to be demoing for us, Well, it's going love? to have to be that necklace. The entire <laughs> necklace, please, in five minutes. Thank you. <laughs> Go. Right. Yay. So, um, 
It's a, it's a seed beading technique called coralling, but it's really just a case of threading the beads on. It's not, it's not anything particularly complicated. And actually, when I was on last time, when we had the Lucite flowers, I said that one of the necklaces I did using the same technique. So ah. if you bought those kits and you're waiting for that technique, well, this is it. <laughs> yes, OK, perfect. So I'm going to start off with uh, some of the beading wire that we have in the, in the kits. So just a normal silver beading, yeah. beading thread. And I've cut a length that is a little bit longer than what you would need for a necklace. So, I mean, you've got plenty on that spool, so just cut a, quite a generous length. Uh, and then I've threaded on the HO beads, because that's going to be kind of the base of my necklace, um, which goes around the neckline. Um, and I haven't counted how many beads I added on there. I just kind of added them on randomly, because afterwards, when I've finished with the, all the coralling, then I can adjust the length uh, however long I want it to be. And then I've put on these bead stoppers on the ends just to uh, stop them from falling off. Okay. Then I'm going to take a beading needle. So a size 10 should do fine. You can use 12 if you only have 12. And I've taken a long piece of um, fire, uh, fire line or wildfire thread. I've used the eight pound fire line, but again, you can use uh, eight pound, six pound. Uh, it's not a particularly um, sort of fussy design, if you know what I mean. So it doesn't have to be a specific thickness of your fire line. And then I've cut a length which is twice as long what I, as what I would normally work with. Um, so normally I would work with sort of two arm lengths. So you can actually cut four arm lengths with this because obviously uh, you will still have to join in the thread because you do need quite a lot of thread for this. But obviously the less number of times you need to join in, the easier it makes your job. Okay. And then I've threaded on my needle towards the end. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the fire line into the middle of the, of the um, eight toes that I've threaded on. And I'm going to tie a knot in the middle of my fire line. Now, obviously here I'm just using a shorter length, so I'm going to go more towards the end so I still have enough to work with. But you would take your sort of forearm length of, of fire line, you would double it, well, you would fold it in half so that your necklace lies in the middle of your fire line, and then you tie a double knot. Now, this doesn't have to hold too much, this knot, because um, you're going to use both ends of that thread. Uh, so it just needs to be strong enough to keep your fire line in place while you're working with the, the one end of your thread. Okay, so just a double knot, just like that. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go through one of the ATO beads, just so that you're not coming straight out of the knot. So take your thread through there. Right, now for the coralling section. So what I did on the necklace is I started with 70 of the 11 o beads. Now, obviously, I'm not going to do 70 beads now because uh, I'll still be working on this necklace in tomorrow's masterclass. <laughs> so I'm just going to do, let's say, 30. So pick up 30 of your seed beads. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, you don't have to do 70 beads like I've done. Uh, one, two, three, five, Gorgeous. Seven, eight, nine. So that's 30. You can start with however many you want. If you bring them down to your necklace here, um, the number of beads that you start with is going to determine the sort of the depth of your necklace. So if you want to make it longer than I have, you can make it a really super long feature necklace and you can start with more than 70 or you can start with uh, just 30 if you want a sort of a narrower looking necklace as well. Um, so I've just got 30 beads on here and then I threaded on one of the round hematites. Okay. And then as a stopper bead, I threaded on one of the eight o's again. Now for the stopper bead, you could use one of your 11 o's or you could use uh, sort of three of your 15 o's if you okay. want to. The, the single 15 o would probably go back through this bead. Um, so you might not want to use that, but um, you could put three on and have like a little peek at the bottom. The reason I use the eight o beads as a stopper bead is because I wanted something gold at the bottom as well to sort of connect the, the bottom and the top of the necklace. So I just used one of the gold at the bottom and then go back through the hematite bead. Okay, so that holds everything there in place. Okay, and then I also went through the first five of my 11 O's. So go up through five. So every five beads on this little um, strand here. So it needs to be a multiple of five. So I, I did 70 there, I've got 30 here. So whatever you want, as long as it's a multiple of five. So I've come up the first five beads because every five beads we're going to put a little sort of arm of your, um, of your 
uh, coral ring, I suppose you could say. Mm -hmm. So for the first one, what I did was I picked up four of my 11 O's. One, two, three, four. Okay, then I picked up three of my size 15s. One, two, three. Okay, and then bring them all back down. And they're going to skip over the three 15 O's and go back through the four 11 O's. Okay, so that creates your first little sort of branch. Okay, just like that. Just jiggle your 15s around so they sit like an, they kind of want to sit in a row like that, but you want to jiggle them around so they sit more like a pico at the end. And pull it tight. Don't go too tight because you don't want it to sort of crump, crumple up. Um, so don't go too tight with it. Just make sure you haven't got much thread showing. So you've got your three little 15 O's at the bottom there. And then you're going to go up the next five of your 11 O's. So this is where my thread is coming out of now, here. So I'm going to go back in the same place, but go upwards. So go up five more beads. Okay, pull your thread through. Okay, so now we're going to do sort of like a double branch. Take your other, the other end of your thread and just put it out the way. You can also wind it onto a spool if you don't want it to be in the way um, of your, of, while you're working with the one end of your thread. Because obviously afterwards you're going to come back, you're going to go this way with the current thread that you're working with, and then with the other thread you're going to go the other way. Okay. So uh, now we're going to do sort of a double branch. So now I'm going to pick up six of my 11 O's. Three, four, five, six. Okay. Then I'm going to pick up one of my stars. So let's go with a rose gold. Uh -huh. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up a 15 -o. Now the holes in the stars are slightly smaller, so you can use a 15 -o as a stopper at the end of it. Okay, and then you're going to go back through the star and back through three of those 11 -os. So I'm going to go back halfway down that branch that I made there. Okay, so back through three beads, just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm going to put one of these little branches over there. So I'm going to pick up four of my 11 O's again. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then I'm going to pick up three of my 15s. Three, bring them down again. Okay, then I'm going to skip over the 15s, go back up through the four 11 O's that are sort of this branch. Then I'm going to carry on going back through that branch. So I'm going to go through that next three in this yeah. bigger branch. Okay, and then you can pull your thread through there. So there you've got your little branch again. Again, jiggle Good. your 15s just so that they sit like a nice little pico. You don't have to. I mean, if you want to leave them in a row, that's fine too. I mean, you'd have to look at the necklace really closely to see that, but I'm a bit of a perfectionist. so <laughs> Right? And then we're going to go up five beads again. So go back in again where your thread is coming out. Go up five beads again. Okay, then we're going to do a small branch again. So what I've done, now these numbers that I'm using here, the six and the five and the four, they're not sort of set in stone. You can use, uh, you can make your branches longer. You can ha have uh, sort of three arms to your, to your little branches. You can yeah. use less beads. So it's just a matter of playing around. So I just took these numbers randomly out of thin air, to be honest with you. Um, the fives and the fours and the threes. I just sort of wanted them to be short-ish. So I thought this would look nice. But as I say, you can use three instead of the four beads. Um, if you want it to be fuller and more flowy, you could use more to make your branches longer. Uh, so you can play around with that, get a slightly different look. It'll look more or less the same because it's the same sort of uh, technique, but you can play around with the number of beads. So now I want to put a small branch again. So I'm picking up yeah. four of my silver and three of my 15s. So basically what I did was every five beads along this main branch, I put a little branch, okay? I used four beads, four 11 O's, every time I had a little size 15 pico. So that those little branches there use four beads. And then I used three beads, so three beads and three beads to make the star branches. Okay, so I start with six there. Okay, so I'm going to skip back over the 15 again, go back through the four. Now it doesn't matter, because I'm trying to go backwards here, it doesn't matter if it sits that side or it sits that side because once it's all done, it's all gonna sort of twist around and, and jiggle around. So don't worry too much about you've got too many beads on one side or the other side. It's not gonna stay like that once it's hanging. It's gonna kind of find its own comfortable space. Okay, so again, I'm gonna go back in in the same place where I came out, go up five beads again. 
Okay, and then I'm going to do a double branch again. So again, I'm going to pick up six. One, two, three, three, four, five, six. Then I'm going to pick up one of the other stars. So I'm going to pick up one of the green stars. And a size 15 as my little stopper. Okay, then go back through the star. And then remember back through, halfway back, so th back through three of the yeah. nodes. Okay. Then I'm going to do a little branch again because my star branches are all double like that. And I've used the same branches throughout the whole necklace. Again, you don't have mm. to do the same thing on the whole necklace. You can vary it. You can make your branches shorter as you go towards the outside if you wanted to. Oh, ah, yeah. Um, so you can vary, uh, vary the size of the branches as well. You can make a really short one. So just use two beads for each branch and put them more, uh, more closer to each other if you want it to be sort of more full. Um, and of course, if you use uh, any larger beads for, for the ends of your branches, like I did with the lucite flowers, then it will completely hide the seed bead work and you'll just see the larger beads. Ah. So uh, you can use this technique on all sorts of different, uh, different beads. And I'm going through them all at the same time. So I'm going back through the four yeah. that make up my little tiny branch with the 15 O's. Yeah. I'm going back through the three, which is the second half of the long, of the long branch. Uh -huh. And I'm going along the next five beads. So you can actually do that all in one go. One go. Monica, you're so talented. Have bought the silver one. Can't wait to have a go. Brilliant show. That's oh. from Susan. How lovely. <laughs> Just okay. lovely. This is a real labour of love, this necklace, isn't it? It is, but it's at the same time, it's kind of... Um, you don't have to think about it too much. If you yes, like yes, <laughs> you're right. Really, really lovely. So now I'm doing a little branch again, and then I'll show you how I worked out the rest of the branch lengths. Okay, so go skip over my three again, go back into the four and back up through. So I've only got five beads left now until I get to the, to the necklace part. So I'm going to go back up through those five beads and now I'm back to the gold beads. Okay, jiggle the 15s. There we go. So that's one branch completed. Uh -huh. Okay, you would do the same thing if it was longer, if you started with the 70 beads. Then I would do uh, another double branch with the rose gold and then I would do another little branch, and then another long branch. So basically, I would repeat this whole sequence. Okay. Again, to do uh, a longer length. So when you get to the top, you want to move along, and you want to move along three size eight beads. Okay, so I'm just going to go through. So your needle will fit through the size eight beads quite comfortably next to the beading wire that you've already got in there. Okay. Now, you don't... You don't um, Are we make up? <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> <laughs> so, so you don't necessarily have to have um, the beading wire pre-threaded into there. The, the reason I like to do it like that because it helps to hold the shape. So you could just thread on your ATOs and leave the beading wire out altogether. Uh -huh. It will still hold. But I like to have, first of all, it's easy to finish off the back of the necklace because you just use your crimps and your crimp covers and then you uh, attach a jump ring. Um, and I, I find that it's probably a little bit more secure as well if you have a, like a, a, a stronger wire across the top. Okay, so we're going to move across three of my eight toes. Okay. And then just push them up like that. Make sure that your, your stoppers are, are holding your eight toes quite tight because you kind of want them to be close together. Okay, you don't want your 11 note to pop in between your eight toes. Okay. And then again, you'd start the same process all over again. So what I did on the main necklace is that it's three lengths with 70 beads on. Right. Okay, so I did the same process, except, uh, actually, can I bring it over? Yeah, go for it, Explain the numbers easier if we can look at the whole thing. Just get that out of the way for a second. Right, so oh, if we look at movement. this on the overhead, so you'll see in the middle, I've got three that are the same length, which they're not going to look the same length when you hang them up because obviously your necklace is curving. Okay, but I did three in the ah. middle, which were 70 beads each. Okay, and then if I show you just one branch, so you can see I did the same thing. So I did a small branch, then a longer branch, a small branch, a longer branch, small branch. So the same pattern all the way up to the top. Uh -huh. Then I did 70 beads again on either side of that. Okay, and then after that, I reduced the length of each of my branches by five beads. Okay, so this one I started with 65 beads, and then I did the same process again. I just alternated the star that I started with at the bottom. So you see in the middle one, I started with a green. Uh, in the two on either side, I started with the rose gold, and then this one I started with the green again. That's just to sort of mix them up a little bit, a little bit more. 
So I had three in the 70, then I had 65, 60, 55, and so on and so on. And if you lose your place, if you forget how many you had in the previous one, don't panic, you don't need to count them all one by one, because you know that you've got uh, your, your branches at every five beads. So yeah. if you look at this branch here, it's easy enough to count, because you just count along the main section, and you know you've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. So I've got 70 beads on that branch there. So I know that the next one needs to have 65, and then 60, and then 55, and so on and so on. Um, and that's basically it, to be honest with you. And then what I did actually, what I still want to explain, what I did afterwards is... I didn't know how many beads uh, I was going to do when I first threaded these on. So as you can see in my, in my demo piece, I've just threaded on a whole lot of the gold. So what I did when I got to the ed edge and I thought I had a wide enough section in the middle, uh, as wide as I wanted, I could have carried on because obviously here I stopped at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 beads was the last one. I could have done 20 and then 15, but I thought it looked wide enough as it was because then they just start bunching up too much on the sides when you, ha when you have them around your neck. So then I, what I did was I left 10 of the gold after my last branch, okay, and then I took the rest off, and then I threaded on one of the bronze beads again because that kind of ties in nicely with the bottom edge, and the same thing on the other side. And then after that, I just threaded on. Then you can thread on however many beads you need after that. Just count them so that you have the same on both sides uh, for whatever length necklace you want. I mean, my fail-safe way of testing how many beads I want is I'll just put it around my neck and see if I want it to be longer or not. Yeah. So just thread on whatever you need and then just finish it off with a crimp and your crimp covers and your jump rings. And that's basically it. It's a really simple technique, but it can have such different uh, effects depending on um, what beads that you're using and the length of your branches and that sort of thing. So you can make it really full. You could space them out more, so you could put one every five beads if you wanted to, if you wanted to make it less full. So you can, you can play around with the, with the numbers if you wanted it to. It just makes such a beautiful full piece of jewellery. It does, gorgeous. it really does. It really does. And I like to have this sort of necklace really <laughs> short around my neck. Um, uh, so quite high up, obviously, because it yes. hangs down quite low. So this section is, is quite short. It just fits around my neck and then it hangs down from there. Isn't that gorgeous? Because obviously I make it to fit myself. <laughs> <laughs> she's got to, yeah, she's got to have them all. I just love it. It's so, I just imagine that in, in a bridal, you know, for a, for a bride oh, yes. to wear as well. Just gorgeous. Was it? Was it just um, fire line? It's the fire line. Yeah, you can use pretty much any thickness of your fire line because mm. um, you've got quite a lot of weight on here. So with the hematite, so um, even if you use sort of the eight pound or the heavier wildfires, it'll still it'll still hang quite nicely because, mm. as I say, you've got quite enough weight oh, on there for the whole so um, for the branches to hang nicely. Plus, because the branches are sort of inherently sort of wonky and all over the place, it doesn't yes. matter, uh, especially if you hang it on the bus crooked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that, no, you've done a great job there. Um, that is just it stunning. doesn't matter if your thread is a little bit wonky or if you pull too tight, so it's a really forgiving technique as well. But it's so nice that, as, as you say, you can completely scale that back yeah. and go quite sparse, or yeah. you can have it as full as you like. You don't I mean, have to use five beads in between each one of your sections. You could do it even less. Exactly. I mean, for the earrings, if you look at the earrings, I started with the, um, oh, yeah, these are, with the eight toes again. So sweet. Uh, as sort of yeah. the main branch in the middle. And yeah. then I did the same branches as I did, as I did on the necklace, but I just did them um, sort of every three beads. Yeah. So instead of the five 11 O's on the necklace, I, I did uh, every three 8 O's. I did a, a little branch. Nice. To make the earrings. So sweet, so pretty. Well done. Lovely design, Monica. Such a statement. Yeah. Thank you, says Petra. <laughs> you. That's really, really pretty, isn't it? It's just, and the movement is just gorgeous. Oh, it's so striking. I love it. Beautiful. Right. Okay, got a gorgeous celestial star pendant now. Um, this is absolutely gorgeous. Are we going to do it as a star buy? Yeah, come on, let's do it as a star buy. It's coming up now. <laughs> Sterling silver celestial star pendant. This is just. Oh. Gorgeous. Isn't that a beautiful piece? Um, I, I, I'll tell you what I love about this. The star you've got here, slightly offset, slightly, it reminds me very much of kind of the North Star when you get Christmas cards with kind of the Star of Bethlehem in there. 
um, uh, it, 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 it's, it's always like this. It's like the North Star, isn't it? It's it just, is, it's yeah. got that longer yeah. bit on the bottom normally. It's just so pretty. It reminds me as well of a compass. Yeah. Kind of the four kind of um, uh, kind of points of a compass. And then, of course, you've got your um, uh, north, uh, northeast, east, east, west, and, you know, yeah, yeah, south, southeast, and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Right, so set into 925 sterling silver with one of the largest cubic zirconias set in the centre. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. This, I think, would be a really beautiful gift for, you know, someone's christening, maybe someone's confirmation, maybe someone's, um, uh, you know, their wedding, you know, anything where, you know, that, you know, it's a really special moment in their lives. I think this is uh, this has got something really special about it. Is it too big to be made into earrings? I don't think it is. I no, think you get a couple not, and make no, them into earrings. I think they'd look yeah. really, really striking. Um, also, I mean, you've got a lot of scope here to kind of, uh, to kind of um, uh, to use these apertures as that kind of almost anchor points, haven't you? You could, you could. I mean, you could hang some danglies. Again, I'm going to show you these earrings that I had earlier. I mean, obviously they are so to, sweet. Though. You don't have to use the same beads, but you could hang sort of tasselly uh, tasselly bits off the bottom of it like that. Yeah, so with your, you... with your featherweight head pins. See, that's nice. I like that. Oh yeah, it's charm on a bracelet maybe. Yeah. Because you've got so many anchor points there, I think yeah. it's you're missing a trick sometimes if you don't if you don't use them. Use them if you, you don't have to, but you use them if you want to because it's such a lovely. Oh, that looks lovely like that. Such a lovely piece. Oh, oh, that's a nice idea. So using it as part of your lariat as well. I mean, it's a lovely idea. I don't. I'd, I'd hate the thought of this being kind of covered up there. But if you used it with a fine, you know, a fine chain lariat, much yeah. like the uh, the star one we did yeah. earlier on, that would really work beautifully, wouldn't it? Also, maybe the middle of a bracelet. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you wanted to have it, maybe if I just turn it this way, if you want to have it this way around and you use that loop there mm -hmm. and then you maybe put a loop on the other, turn it around that way, I think. Yeah. And then well, actually, no, you wouldn't need to put another loop there. Just put some, um, you know, you've got your, um, you've got your cord ring. there. Jump. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. A jump ring there. And you've got your loop there. I mean, that just, just, just give it some thought. This is going to be. And this is a really, really, really low price point for this. I don't know how we can actually do this, but it is absolutely fantastic. Add it to your order when you can. It is all 92. Yeah, I'm just double checking. It is 925 sterling silver, isn't it, Neary? It's hard to believe, really. Hard to believe when we are down to this price. Have a little looky. Okay. £19.99. pence. Great. Amazing. Yeah, brilliant. Not your price. Now, just put it in your basket. This is going to. This is another one of those really gorgeous kind of yes, commercial pieces, which is going to suit so many people. Which so many people are going to love the idea of. They're going to love wearing it. They're going to love the kind of um, designer um, um, inspiration. They love the symbol of the star. The fact that it's sterling silver is great as well. Come on, Neri, all the way down. Here we go. Thirty second clock. Lots of people with this in their baskets. Get this as soon as you can, my lovelies. Well done, everyone. Maker in Wrexham. Lynn's got two in her basket. Elizabeth, Brenda, Brenda in Surrey's checked out. Well done, my lovely. That's great to see. Well done. Go, go, go. Okay, literally twenty seconds, and then the price point's going to come in as soon as you can, everybody. Well done. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. More people there. That's great. Well done, Barbara in Greater London's now through. That's great. Well done to you, my love. Okay, all the way down. This is really, really low. Considering it's sterling silver, and I had to double check that it was actually sterling silver because it is, I think, way too low, but enjoy. Jules today, 9 99 oh, <laughs> That's brilliant, isn't it? Sterling silver star pen. You imagine, you know, that is a baby's christening gift oh. or that's a confirmation gift or something kind of maybe with a slightly religious connotation. That is absolutely, or, or maybe it's a, for, for a, um, a, a god. Uh, father or godmother to give to their godchild. I mean, this is this is just this is just lovely. It's gorgeous. Lisa, Catherine, Cherry, well done to you, my lovely. Lots and lots of people coming through. Lots of people saying, yeah, that's great, isn't it? Well done, Lynn Northamptonshire. You still got two there. Elizabeth's got two in her basket as well. Check out my loves. I mean, Azira, can I pop it up to my ear, please? Can I pop it up to my ear? Mind the uh, mind the sideburns. Oh. There you go. See, as an earring, I think that looks great. It's pretty, isn't it? Great for graduation presents again. Oh, yes. Yeah. Anyone who's passed it, who's, who's kind of taking GCSEs, A-levels, driving tests. Yes. Graduation gifts as well. Yeah. Goodness me. They say it's harder now to pass your A-levels and GCSEs than it ever has been. Really? It worries me. 
I found it almost impossible. Goodness knows how I'm going to be helping my children through theirs. I've got no idea. Olivia's got two. Well done to you. Cherry's got four. God love you. Well done. Um, just superb. Well done. 9.99. See, told you. Told you. Right. Let's do... I have not done this. I... Ooh. That looks interesting. Oh. Right. You get a little box, which I've been messing with. A little box. Nice. Good, okay. Good start. Yep. Good start. <laughs> you then get a load of... Neary, can I just check the price on this? Ooh. Okay. I looked at this and I thought, right, because I, I thought you said it was going to go down to that price. This is all sterling silver. This is all sterling silver. Sterling silver one meter cable chain. Wow. <laughs> that's a Rolo chain. That's gorgeous. That is a one meter chain. Sterling silver jump rings. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Okay. Sterling silver bezels. Ooh. Now, these fit the stones. You have got mercury, which is labradorite. Oh. Picture jasper, which is Venus. Azurite, which is the earth. Okay. Red jasper which is Mars, okay, you've got here, uh, that's, uh, is it a Mars, J uh, Tiger's Eye, which is Jupiter, oh my gosh, that's wow. beautiful, look at that, no, it's fine, don't worry about it, Yellow Aventurine, which is the sun, that's going to be that one, there we go, which is uh, yellow inventory, which is the sun. Gorgeous. You've then got Amazonite, which is Uranus. There it is. Beautiful. You've then got Neptune, which is a blue, uh, what looks like blue lace agate, <laughs> which is incredibly rare. These will all fit in these gorgeous cabochons. And then this gorgeous yellow chalcedony, which is, of course, the sun. That is... That's awesome. I love that. Mm. So you've got the jump rings, which of course, you know, you, you're going to use with the connectors. And these, and, these, and these connectors, by the way, they will fit the gemstones. So there we go. There's, there's Earth in its cab. Oh my gosh, that would have been amazing if Monica had made it. But then she would just walk off with it. Red <laughs> Jasper, <laughs> which is absolutely fine. Tiger's eye right there. I mean, I'm literally just popping them in. They're not, they're not adhered in properly. There's your, there's your yellow, whatever it's called, aventurine. Uranus, there's your Amazonite. This, this all fits in perfectly. Look at this. Am I missing one? I might be missing one. I don't know. There you go. There you go. I feel like I might be missing one. Anyway, there we go. Okay. Just incredible. Isn't that amazing? And you've got a spare. <laughs> and you've got a spare, you've got a spare bezel as well. I don't know why we've got a spare bezel. That's all sterling silver. That is amazing. Maker in London, here, um, Heather. Maker, another maker in London, another maker, Janice, Gillian, Celia in Bridgen. Can you imagine being able to make a planetary oh, wow. rosary linked necklace? Beautiful. And it's all precious metal. The price is obscene on this. And the reason why. I had to double check to see if this was sterling silver. It's because it's 50 quid. <laughs> that is, I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even expect to be lucky enough to get just the bezels, the chain and the jump rings for 50 pounds, wow. let alone all of the gemstones. I mean, glue each one of these in. Uh, yeah, sell them for a tenner. That is amazing. Alison, well done to you in Cheshire. I am absolutely blown away by that. This is going to be one of the easiest, easiest introductions to gem setting that yeah. there's ever been. 
Yeah. Oh, it would be a really nice and really long line necklace, as you yes. say, with the sort of the well, it's not the rosary linking because you just have to do the. No, you, well, well, that's it. So you literally just between, get your yeah. yeah, you just get your jump ring. You literally open your. Mm, hang on, if if I just do, I'm, I mean, got any? Well, nah, nah, nah. It, oh gosh, yeah, you literally just get your jump ring, add you know, add your jump ring onto your connector, add that onto the chain, done. I mean, you're literally talking about opening and closing a few jump rings. That is ridiculous. Uh, I'm a jewellery making physics teacher. How could I not get this, says Heather? Absolutely. It's the, it's the law of attraction. There you go. And well done to you, Shalini Maker in London. That is amazing. That is absolutely fantastic. Well done. That is amazing. So I did a Facebook Live before the show today on the Jewellery Maker Facebook page. If you want to join me tomorrow morning, I will be doing another one there. And we ran a competition, which we're going to be running tomorrow as well. Uh, basically, anybody who um, saw the post, liked it, shared it and tagged a friend, you're entered into a prize draw automatically. And we pick a winner at random and whoever wins gets £50 credited to their Jewelry Maker account. We have picked the winner at random today and I can reveal mm -hmm. that the winner of the £50 credit today is... Who is it lovely again? Helen Wilson! Oh. Fantastic, my darling. You can expect £50 credited to your Jewelry Maker nice. account. Well done. Awesome. Well done to you, my lovely. Uh, so, yeah, if you do want to do that, then uh, I will carry on doing Facebook Lives on my own presenter page, which is Carol Roach, R-O-A-C-H-E. Um, and uh, Tom will continue making, doing, uh, making, doing, uh, doing his TikToks on JM Producer Tom. You can also join me on TikTok, which is carolroach.tv. And on Instagram, carolroach.tv. But amazing. Well done. So well done. Congratulations. Um, that is absolutely, I'm amazed at that. I'm amazed that's oh, 50 pounds. Brilliant. brilliant. You would imagine that that would be silver plated base metal, wouldn't How you, at that price? It would have to go into putting that together, you know? Yeah! The, the sizes and the... And the it's just, wow. in, just incredible. Should we do the bracelet version? Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Let me just do this. Oh, this is so good. Yes, I've got it here, lovely. I got it here, baby. I love that. I think that's absolutely brilliant. Solar system bracelet. Can I say I love the box this comes in? Oh, that's pretty. It's adorable, isn't it? It's absolutely adorable. Okay. <gasps> foamy, foamy. Ooh. This is so cool. You ready for this? This is so cool. Ah! Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Here you go. So, you've got your, you've got your different gemstones here for you to put in your little... Thing. Hang on, the cord, spacer beads. Ah, come on, mate, come on. And the idea is, is you get your beads out. There we go. There we go. That's Earth, Mars, another planet. That one's Jupiter, I think. Uranus, and there's another planet there as well. I don't know which one that is. It's just another. There we go. So we have a look. Here we go. There you go. Aww. Ah, how lovely. Isn't that gorgeous? So you've got your little plinths to put them on if you want to. And of course, you've got the cord and you've got the spacer beads as well. These are just, that is absolutely stunning. What a lovely little gift for somebody. Isn't that Aww. just great? I love it. All the way down, Heather. Well done to you, my lovely gorgeous. Is that, is that the physics teacher, Heather? I think it is. I think it is. Well done, Anne Jim. 14 99 Ah, <laughs> my son would like that. Actually. Oh, see, that's <laughs> nice. Isn't it? And it's yeah. most definitely unisex, isn't it? Well done, Gillian. Well done, Lisa, Celia. Well done, Patricia. Lots of interest there. Oh, that's great. Well done, everybody. I love the fact you've got the little plinth there. Love the gemstones. Love the little spaces. They're all sterling silver as well. And, of course, the gorgeous cord as well. Amazing. Brenda, Anne, well done to you. Anne in London. Anne in Worcestershire, well done to you. I just think that's absolutely gorgeous. What a lovely thing to own. Yes, I have the earrings. Here we go. Let's do the earrings. Very. Two and a half minutes left. Oh, gee whiz. Okay. <laughs> okay. Eerie, 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 eerie earrings. Now, this goes to your kind of little idea earlier on with the star necklace, does, yes. doesn't it? With the lariat. I actually, I, I bought these earrings. <laughs> <laughs> Love. Love what we're looking at here. A pair of gorgeous uh, silver, sterling silver chain long line earrings. If I 
Do that. There you go. You can see. I love that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. There's your chain. There's your back. So you're never going to lose your earring backs, which, of course, is absolutely brilliant. But also, if you wanted to hang something on the chain, you yeah. could do, couldn't you, Monica? Yeah, I bought these earrings because I love that idea with the chain on the... Why am I having so much trouble today? There you go. Oh, there My go. fine motor skills today are all <laughs> over the shop. I do beg your pardon. I think, yeah, it's because I went to see the drag racing yesterday. I think maybe it's altered the... Uh, oh, did you go in the end? It's upset the balance. Oh, yeah, Santa Pod. It was amazing. It was great. Oh. Jet cars are the way forward. They're amazing. <laughs> but uh, 9 99 well done to you, Bernadette. Alison Maker coming through. Well done to you. Absolutely superb. Well done, everybody, with your gorgeous, genuine freshwater culture pearl in the in the beautiful star design as well. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. And that, again, it's that lovely northern star yeah. kind of design with that kind of longer spoke, if you like, on the bottom, longer point, I should say, on the bottom of the earring. It's just gorgeous. Beautiful. Well done. Isn't that lovely? Keep coming through for that. Well done. Congratulations. It was uh, Helen Wilson, I believe her name is, uh, who won the competition today. Well done. Join me tomorrow morning. Uh, on a Jewelry Maker Facebook page for another Facebook Live and a chance to win £50. Um, Monica, when are you back with us, sweetie? Friday. Ah, <laughs> there she is. Back with us on Friday. Fantastic. But it's Jubilee. Jubilee. Oh, yes, of course. Jubilee. Yes, of the course, Jubilee weekend. Be brilliant. Well, everything red, white and blue. It's going to be absolutely yeah. superb. So do make sure you join us on Friday. Join us tomorrow. We've got some gorgeous um, uh, black opal as well, which is going to be amazing. That's going to be superb. Brand new strands uh, with Dave Troth. That's going to be awesome. Thank you very much for joining us today. Make sure you tune in this afternoon for Hobby Maker as well. Also, can I just say as well, with all of the items, because I know we've been missing the web feed um, uh, for a little while today. So if you do want to go to our website, see what we've been playing, add anything to your order that you can if there's any quantity left. But best of luck to everybody. Um, don't go anywhere. Make sure you join Dave and the team after the break for a brilliant afternoon on Hobby Maker. Thank you very much. <laughs> see you in a bit, guys.